It's your girl back again. I know you're like, bitch, she's doing a lot on a Wednesday. That's what I said to myself. But guess what? It's what to have Wednesday. I am giving you the best that I got, baby. I'm giving you the best that I got because when I go out for my surgery next month, I'm going to be out. Out like a light. Like a light. I'm going to be out. Now, I wanted to wait. Y'all, shout out to the baddest, the coldest, uh, uh, the, she's doing the mostest. With a with a thing of moose, give it up for Isha hair fetish. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the reveal. Y'all know I go get my hair done every Wednesday. Hold on, y'all. I hope that you're the one. Bop bop. If not, you are the prototype. Don't get sick. Don't get sick. We just off to the sun. I'm gonna let y'all get oh get into it and do things. Ooh, I know you like. Don't get sick. I think I'm in love again. Mm. I told her I was going to see him. Listen, no, I can't get curls. My hair is too fragile for that. My hair will fall off right in the curling iron. Can't get curls with this blind pixie. Listen, don't worry about it. Y'all always hate me. I thought you was getting curls. Guess what? I still got curls for the girls. Do you see this? If we happen to part, God knows I don't like that, baby. So I thought she was getting curled. I thought she was getting curled. Half of y'all sitting up with ponytail. Leave it alone with handmade ones. Okay? I got ways for days. Okay? Mmm. If you get sick, get a barf bag. Anywho, up here, talking that I thought you was getting kind of like an ass. I thought I was too. I don't think I ever had a fork. I don't need a fork. I'm a grown man. I don't need a fork. I'm a grown ass man, and I don't eat ham with a fork. Damn. All right, God. Kai, I would knock all this shit over. For some hell. Yes. And then look, you needed that shit up more than 10 seconds, bro. It was 15. Why did you need it up? This shit didn't got cooked. Now it's like Easter all over again. Now I got to let it get cold again. Woo! I took her out on a date and everything today. And this is what you do? Um, y'all want to see where I don't see the date I took Kyle on today? You see? Look, that shit hot. That's that industrial. No. No. I don't even let it cool off. I'll let it cool off. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Let me show y'all what I did for Kai today. Hold on. Okay. When do we get a call for the oil order? You don't. When did you order it? Kai, come and make your announcement. Come and get your come and make your announcement, Kai. You get a text message. If you did not provide your phone number, you won't be getting a text message because I'm not hunting for you. Now, Coach May send you a uh, request for a dollar for you to send your number, but if not, it's above me now. Everybody else that has placed their order. She said she did send her number. Oh. Her name is Hillary. Did you get a text? She thought she was waiting on the call. When did you order, Stink? Did you order last night? Everybody's been getting confirmation text messages from me when their orders go out. If you receive one today, can you say something in the comments so they don't think I'm making it up? As your order is Girl, she ordered order today. today. They ain't went out yet. We had to work the ones from last night. All right, y'all. So y'all ain't about to get um no Kai, I need you. I need the all I need thee. Thank you, Lord. Every hour. I need thee. Well, how the song go? How does the song go, y'all? Because y'all not going to piss Kai off. Y'all not going to get it. The line's still open. So here's the deal. I'm going to give y'all five minutes to do open donation. I'm going to give y'all five minutes to do open donation. And then you'll have to get in line through my website. Um, bless me now. My Savior. Is it I come to thee? Okay. Wait, let's start from the beginning. 
I need thee, oh, I need thee. What's the word? Every hour, I need thee. What's the next word? She said they don't know. They said stay. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. All right, y'all. We got five minutes. I had to just get a little Jesus in the room, okay? Okay? I had to get a little Jesus in the room because, baby, y'all done work Kai's nerves, okay? Yes, y'all done work Kai's nerves. Yes, yes, yes. We got to get a little Jesus in this room, okay? Mmm. Yeah, you little Jesus in the room. Okay. Bless me now, my Savior. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Yes, you got the little Jesus in the room. Let me put my head scarf back on. Five five fight one of goes. Yes. I go. Kai, are you feeling Jesus in the room? To to be. Huh? Yes. Because I'm going to hit it again if you don't feel it. Okay, you don't want me to hit it again? That's no, fine. No, I need... No, don't no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> The oh, I need thee. Some of y'all need them. Huh? Every hour. Thank you, Lord. I need thee. You got a confirmation? Well, let's get the phone in. Yeah. Now, first of all, who goes from that... Who goes from that to let me get the phone in? Shit. Okay. Open donation is over. Okay, so open donation has two more minutes. Okay. Open donation has two more minutes. Kai is sick of y'all shit. Is somebody calling me? Hold on, friend. Let me get my let me get my stuff together. Hold on, honey bun. Hold on. Okay. Listen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all, some of y'all need Jesus. And I'm going to call them for you. Y'all, this is the line. The line from last night was pretty long. Uh, the call back. But we're going to get into it. Hold on. Let me use this over here. You have a confirmation with a dilemma. What the hell is that? What, what, what Girl, what's the day? The third? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, friend. Go. Go. What's What's the confirmation? Let's get this party started, right? Let's get it started quickly. Go. Okay. I asked you a question. I asked you about a couple, about two weeks ago. I said, Coach, when I'm moving? You said about April the 3rd. So I asked you a question a couple of days ago. I said, is I moving an apartment? You said no. Now, remind you, I hadn't even been looking, and I did bless my bill, too. I did a bless my bill. You put it in the bag for me, but I signed an apartment, right? But I hadn't really looked. But let me give you the confirmation. So... Today, I called the lady who I used to, who helped me found my last home, and today is the third, and when I called her, she said, yes, and she remembered me, she said, yes, I got the perfect townhome for you, oh, it's beautiful, you're going to love it, I know your taste, she said, uh, I said, okay, I'm finna get ready to meet you over there, so I made sure I went by, I liked it, and we confirmed it today, on the third, remind you, this just happened today on the third, I wasn't even looking and no, it was an apartment like you said. And yes, it's on April the 3rd, like you said, April the 3rd. And guess what? It's seven minutes from my new job that I told you that I got. I started my new job yesterday. Everything you told me is confirmation. I got it all. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. And not only that, whew, I'm trying to calm down because, Lord, I ordered your oils. I've been using the um, money oil. I've been using my anointed oil, and within the last three weeks, so much done transfer. I've been calling in my confirmation, but Lord knows I've been so blessed since I got your items and been using, playing, manifesting, believing God, trusting God, not worrying, not stressing, and everything. You say I watch your live every day, every night you on. I go to sleep on your live, but God, you know, I just want to tell you, keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome, and, and I just thank God for you and everything that you have told me, and I believe God for it has came to pass within Less than three weeks. Maybe. And I don't have so many jobs come to me because I believe God. You told me I was going to get in so many jobs. I had to start turning jobs down. Good jobs. Nothing was under $20 an hour for me. And 
God is good. I just want to let you know your oils. I got the oils. I've been praying with so much. I told you about the money and it's just everything. It's just so much. And I'm just so thankful. And I just had to let you know, yeah, it's April the 3rd. Wasn't even really looking. I'm going to be honest with you. But this morning I woke up and I prayed. And God told me to call her. I called her. She said, yes, ma'am. Went to the place seven minutes from my new job right around the corner. Beautiful place, town home. Yes, ma'am. She said, not only that, she said, I got two, but I'm going to give you first offer. Pick which one you want. And I let the other lady get the other one. Yes, ma'am. And she had already talked to the other lady. So that's my confirmation. Thank you. Friend, that is an amazing confirmation. Yes, I want you, before I put the end time down, I want you to go back and say something because I don't think people understand it. You said you believed it and you did what? You gave it to who? Gave it to God because faith without works is dead. Not only, did, even with using the oil, you still got to trust God. You had already gave me confirmation. I didn't worry. I didn't stress. I believe what you told me and also I trusted God. And as I pray every day, I manifest God. This is mine. And I didn't even have to do the work to get the place. I just made a call. The Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning and said, call her. Everything you told me I was led by God to do and God put me right where I needed to be. And everything you told me, it happened. It dropped right in my hands, right in my hands, everything, because I trusted God. And I had faith. Like you said, we got to have faith where that works. It's dead. I, that's all I keep trying to tell people. That's all I say. Friend, when I tell you, that is the yes. best confirmation, the best way to start this live off. You yes, hear me? Yes, oh. I ran around my job today. I cried. I prayed. I kept saying, Lord, Coach Miss, I said, I can't wait to get on her live tonight. She said, April the 3rd. Today is April the 3rd. You don't understand. I wasn't even looking when you told me that. I just said, believe God. God, you're going to do it. But when you told me that April the 3rd, and then when I woke up this morning, and I just made that phone call, and when she told me, yes, I got you, and when I went and seen it, she said, I'm going to give you first deal. And not only that, it's the payments. It's phenomenal. I'm talking my, it's everything that I ask God for, brand new, nice, affordable. I'm to my beautiful place. And I said, seven minutes from my new job, God, you already had this lined up because how did you know I was going to be right here at this job? I didn't know that. So everything was already, God had already lined it up for me. I just had to trust and believe it. And I just want to say, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Listening to you have encouraged me. I have, my faith was already strong, but it's even stronger now. So I walk with my, I'm a high stepper now. I trust God in everything I do. I've been trusting, but I trust him even more now. So I just want to say, I thank you. 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 Friend, you're about to give me emotional. No, thank you. Listen, so thank yes. you so much. What is there anything else you need to know? No, ma'am. Just keep, I'm keep trusting God. Keep trusting God. Listen, thank you. Y'all, I'm about to get emotional. Girl, get off my phone. I can't be crying in the first 13 minutes. Mm. Listen, what? Come on, somebody. Listen, that confirmation is going to call Keep Trusting. Now, Rocky, I know I sent you a lot of confirmations, but I need that. I need that cut up tonight. I need that. That need that thing cut up today or in the morning. I need to post that. Keep trusting God. Let me tell you something, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. I, I, I'm not gonna preach because we got so many people. So listen, y'all. The open donation line is closed. But I'm gonna tell y'all about something. First, let me say this to say that, and I'm gonna let y'all know before we get everybody else on here. First, let me say this to say that anything you want, you can have it. Anything you want, you can have it, and anything that you declare, you touch is yours. Anything that you can touch is yours. You understand me? Anything that you can touch is yours. I need y'all to start going somewhere and touching on stuff. I need you to go and touch the house that you want. I need you to go touch the man that you want. Anything you want, you can touch is yours. Let me tell you something. I was talking to Kai about something. We were talking about a certain somebody. And I told her, I said, I don't worry about people. Uh, if it's something I want, I told y'all I'm going to get married next year, right? I told you I'm getting married to somebody's son. I'm getting married. To let the auditions at the games begin when I tell you, baby, I ain't been quartered this month since seventh grade Valentine's Day. You understand what I'm saying? Anything when you declare it and decree it, right? When you declare it and there's nothing else, 
There's no other options. I didn't say, well, if I don't get married in 2025, I get married in 2026. Or if I don't meet the man I'm supposed to be with, then maybe I'll just hold on. No, I told you what I said. Anything that I want, I can have. Anything you can see it, believe it. You see it, believe it, and you know it. It's yours. When I tell you I've been manifesting on a whole nother level, on a whole nother level, on a whole nother level. Anything I got in the car today and I said, Lord, I'm ready for somebody's son to send me some flowers. Right hand to God. This is my right hand. I don't like to put stuff on people, but y'all know how much I love Zen and food. Maybe I put that on Zen. I was in my car today driving to the thing and God gave me something else. I was in my car today driving to get my hair done and I said, you know what, Lord, I'm ready for some flowers. I, I, I want somebody's son to send me some flowers. You understand what I'm saying? I want that. Listen, I got to the beauty. I, I arrived at the beauty shop no no less than an hour as I was sitting in the salon waiting my turn patiently. If Isha's watching this, I was I was waiting patiently as I was sitting in the salon waiting on my turn. A number kept calling my phone, and I didn't know what number it was, and I ignored it. And it called again, and God said, uh, uh, "Look at the text message. Answer that phone number." There was a man at my door with flowers. He's going, there was a man saying, hey, I'm trying to get inside. I don't know the gate code. How can I get in? I have flowers. I said, what? I have flowers for you. Sure enough, the man had flowers. He said, here they go, right here. I'm trying to deliver these flowers to you. I said, my God, I just, I just said that I wanted flowers an hour ago. And you are to understand, God, I woke up, I woke up. I woke up this morning with my mind, two, three, four, what stain on Jesus. I woke up and I said, this is what I'm ready for. See, I made a decision a couple weeks ago to say I'm ready for the real thing. Uh, Mary J. Blige said, I'm searching for a real love. I'm ready for something real, right? And when God has been sending me people my way, men, men of good nature, Right, men of good stature, they've been sitting in my way and they've been with everything that I'm talking about. They said, I'm ready. You hear what I'm saying? And I woke up this morning and I say, Lord, I'm ready for some flowers. And not only not one dozen, but two dozen showed up. Not one, but two dozen showed up. You understand me? Everything I said I wanted, it came today. I thought about my clothes. I said, Lord, I really could use my clothes today. I don't want to wait till Thursday. I really use them today. My clothes showed up. Anything that, listen, listen, as long as I, and I you say, well, well, coach, I want a million dollars, but I can't touch a million dollars. You may not be able to touch a million dollars physically, but you can touch a million dollars. Huh? Huh? You can touch a million dollars. This is this, this my $70,000 notebook for this month. I'm touching on 70,000. See, I can see it, believe it. I'm touching a minimum of 70,000 right here. See it, believe it, and know it. And as long as I said I could touch it, right? I believe God to give me the plan. I believe his word to be true. Then it's already mine. It's already mine. And I don't, I don't walk around stressed and depressed. I don't walk around wishing of talking about the things I don't have because everything I said I wanted, I have it. It's already here. Faith without works is dead. You hear me? Faith without works is dead. You understand me now? Let's talk about something before I take the cash app down. Last night, last night, a woman said in the comments, she said, I don't know if y'all was with me, it was kind of late. She said, do you have anything that will stop my husband from cheating? And Kai had brought it to my attention. So Kai said, no, we don't do, she don't do stuff like that, right? She don't do stuff like that. Do She said, you have anything that will stop my husband from cheating? And Kai said, no. And I saw it, I said, well, I said, here's the deal. I said, I don't want to, I don't want to affect anybody's free will. However, I said, you can use the eat them up on you and, and, and buy some blessed oil for him. And I, and I read the woman. I don't know if y'all was hearing me last night. I, I think I wrote it down. I told her what to do. I said, you, you anoint his back in his sleep with the blessed oil and you put the eat them up on you just down on your back. Just make sure he can catch a, or catch a whip of your back because he passes behind you, not in front of you. And that has a lot to do with the shame that he is feeling because he cheats on her. He walks a lot behind her. So, and she confirmed these things as we were sitting on here, right? And she said, I can't go to jail behind because I got two infants, right? And I told her what to do. And as I was driving today, Kai said, well, do you think that you could create something, right? Could you create something to help with that problem? And I said, no, because I want to make sure that I'm on the right side of the light. You hear me? I want to make sure I'm on the right side of the line. I, I, I know what I could do on the other side, right? I know that I could be 10 times bigger, 10 times richer on the other side. But once I cross that side, I can't come back. So I always, I try to make, now I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'll be walking on that thin rope. I'll be, I'll be walking on a tight rope for y'all sometime, Okay. I be rocking on a tightrope for y'all sometime, but I don't ever want to jump onto that other side. And as I was driving to, to go get my hair done, 
God gave me the vision and that's how I make any of my products. God gives me a vision and God gave me a vision of a black spray bottle that looks like favor mist. God said, this is not supposed to go on the person. This is supposed to go in the atmosphere. We want to create, we want to, we want to create a situation where they want to stay. I said, my God, I said, if I can create, eat them up, which will change the way people feel about you, the way they look at you, the way they react to you. God said, you can create, stay. They said, you got to create, you got to spray the sheets, spray the room, spray the stuff, but you create, stay. And, and he said, this is not just about mere extramarital affairs. This is for people, right? It's something for the atmosphere. See, I'm not controlling. I'm not trying to control your free. I'm not trying to take away your free will, but we create an atmosphere that makes you want to stay. And this is not just, listen, this, 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 this is not just for the women who are trying to get their men to stay home and not cheat or men trying to get their wives not to go out or boyfriends or girlfriends. This is for the mothers of the runaway children. Hmm? This is for the mothers of the, of, of, of the kids that are out here in games, right? This is like a spiritual, thank you. This is like a spiritual fence, right? To get them to stay. Yeah. Yeah. And K, yeah, K, you hold on, y'all. You right, K K vibing with K. K said, can you make a miss like eat them up? You did, K. You did. K said that to me last night. She said, Can you make a miss like eat them up? So I have everything I need. God showed me what I needed to do to create stay. And of course, what we gonna do? You say my sister needs this. Yeah, it's called stay. It's like a spiritual fence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So a lot of you all are dealing with family members who 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 are in the streets and stuff like that. Listen, listen, some crazy stay. So Kyle, how do you think we should do this? Because tomorrow we'll have the actual bottles to sell. Do you think I should give out samples tonight? Hey mom. You think I should do samples with every purchase or what? Sample to 10 people. Huh? Yeah. We still got the little sample bottles up there? Yes. It's not sprayed out there, though. No, we should have some clear. Oh, we do. We do. So here's the deal. No, it's, it's not going to be 10 people. This is what we're going to do. We got them little clear ones, right? We got we a lot of those. All right. So if you order an oil tonight, if you order an oil tonight, and it would have to be through Cash App, not tonight. on the site. Tonight. April 3rd. The list, no, y'all have to go online and get on the list. The list ain't open right now, I'll tell you. If you order an oil tonight to be a Cash App, I need somebody to go ahead and put it on the thing. You'll get a sample. You'll get a sample of Stay. Now, Stay is not going to be $25. It ain't twenty five dollars. Is there a list of oils? Lit stay will not be twenty. Stay is listen. Stay is going towards my. Stay is going towards my. Kind of towards my cover me. Stay is not going to be the twenty five dollars. So here's it. So it's free samples of stay on tonight's orders only, but it has to be through Cash App. So what it is is if you want to order oils, if you order it because Kai's gonna have your name. You'll get stay. Now, I will have the full bottle tomorrow on the website on sale. But if you want to get stay in a sample and try it out, right? Because I need y'all, I need y'all confirmations on stay. Then that's what we're doing. Order oils on the Cash App. Okay. So can somebody put, so Kai, I need you to put the prices for the oils. So y'all, we still got eat them up. You can get favor miss. You can get eat them up favor miss. Lord, I shouldn't even say this. Now I ain't gonna put love to lymph in there. That's too much. Oh, like five. oh we, only, we only got four to lymphs left. left. Yeah, people have ordered in, and we have got some four bottles on account. We only got four love to lymph left. Yes. Okay. All right. So remember, one oil is twenty five. You can get blessed oil. You can get. Uh, we gonna do rise and shine oil. We can do those. 
we got different oils and Kai will give you one oil is 25. I mean, one oil is 32 with shipping, two oils is 57, three is 82, and you can get five for 107. That's only on Cash App. You have to thank you, uh, K Bay. Can, you have to put your phone number. Did K Bay come get her stuff today? No, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Friday, Friday. Okay, you have to put your phone number in the Cash App. Put oils and your phone number. Oils and your phone number. So if you order on the Cash App, you get a free sample of stay. And I want y'all to try it. If you don't have an issue with somebody in your home that likes to leave, then give it to somebody who does and tell them. I'm going to tell you right now with stay, you don't spray it on yourself. It do smell. It smells amazing. But you don't spray it on yourself and you don't spray it on another person. You spray it in the air. You spray it in the, on the bed sheets. You spray it on a bed sheet. Oh. What? I'm sorry. You spray it on their bed sheets. You spray it in the air. You might spray it on the couch or a blanket or something like that. You don't spray it on you. Now, if you spray it on you, that's on you, but that's not what we want to do. We don't want it's for the atmosphere. It ain't for your body. We don't want them holding on to you. Okay? That's how that works. Call stay. So I want to thank that young lady. I want to thank that young lady for asking the question. I want to thank Kai and Kay. Because Kay said it. Kay said, why don't you create something that is like a favor miss, right? So it's 32 for one, 57 for two. That's all that we have. And then it is 107. You can get five of them and you get a sample of stay. Well, you know what? I'm going to make it even better. If you get the one, if you get the five for 107, if you get the five for 107, you can get a full bottle of stay. And you get a full bottle of stay back. Tomorrow, stay is going to come out and stay is going to be $40. Kai, write that down. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Sale. Tomorrow, so here's the deal. If you get the five oils for 107, I'll let you get a full bottle of stay. This month, because I'm just bringing it out this month by itself, tomorrow it'll be $40 by itself. So you won't be able to buy it in the oil bundle. You have to purchase it online. And then come uh, May 1st, it'll be its regular price of 50. So I'm going to do, if you do the five for 107, you can get a full bottle of stay and we'll still give you a sample. I'll still give you a sample to get to somebody else. So I know that was a lot to take in. If y'all need help, let somebody know. You say, what oils do you have available? I have all of them. Would this be good for using that a business? Who do you want to stay at your business? Who do you want to stay at your business? I would, so here's the deal. This is for people who are suffering from people leaving the home. Like when my son, do we ship to Hawaii? Yes. When my son, when my oldest son, Ian, used to like to run away. This is something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This is something. Yes. Yeah, shipping is included. Yep. Hold on. This is something, pen her comment, I'll do it. No, I got it over here on Instagram. This is something that I would have stayed to, to get my son to stay in the house. Stay. I wanted to attract them to their rooms, attract them in the house. Stay. Okay, so you get the five or 107, like clientele for my boss, you don't want them to stay like that. So if I was you, I would do money, ship or money. You can get you can get money you can get money ship or money and as an oil if you have any issues at a business and your boss needs clients they need the money you can do money ship which is a spray or you can get money oil and you can put the money oil certain places put a little money oil at the in the corner of the contract put a little money oil put some I would get the money ship to be honest I would get the money ship and I would spray the doors of it. I did pin it, Allison. I will get money ship if that's the thing with business. Real quick, does anybody need to know what, if y'all want to tell me their situation and what you need help with, what products I can tell you now. So y'all want to ask me in the comments and then we about to go ahead and get to calling people. Y'all can call them with confirmations too. If y'all want to tell me in the comments, yeah, tell me in the comments and we'll let you know what I can tell you what you got going on. What should I use for the house that I want? You can use my uh, OD. You can use my regular blessed oil to manifest the house that you want or money. You say love, love to length, love to. You can get a love to length box for sixty dollars. We only got four of them left. Love to length box is sixty dollars. Cash app to sixty dollars. Put oil, put hair oil, and put your phone number. Love to length is sixty dollars. Your son is lacking motivation. If your son is lacking motivation, 
you are going to get um you can you actually can put eat them up on your son eat them up is just not for females and it's actually to do confidence if your son is like a motivation i would get the regular oil my og blessed oil i would get some eat them up and money what else i can't see it can you make an oil to make someone hold a job i'm not i don't try to change free will you get money oil for that money or blessed oil um for healing my og blessed oil my regular blessed oil what else what else y'all need for love me and blessings so love money and blessings if i was you i would get the five pack you will get some ps i love you that self-love ps i love you money and then the regular og blessed oil what do you mean for invitations confidence that's eat them up for new job money oil or og oil if you need a car it's going to be money oil or my og blessed oil if you want to help your son's behavior change for the better they have been putting a blessed oil. I have confirmation on my on my page right now of a lady's son. A lot of people, kids are autistic or they have ADHD and they've been using the blessed oil on them. And we still giving y'all sweet baby Jesus. If it's a child, put sweet baby Jesus on them. P.S. I love you oil is $25. It's one, one oil is, well, one oil is 32, two is 57, three is 82, and five is 107. If you need motivation, you will get eat them up. You just want a money increase, you get money oil. Money oil, you don't have to use it. Money oil you don't use on your face, you can use on your on your pulse point. I will put money oil right here on my hand before I leave out. Some people put a dot in their hand. Also, I want you to put money oil at the bottom of your feet before you put your socks on. Does eat them up come in a variety pack? Yes, it does. If you want to get a house, you're going to get my OG blessed oil. You can get OG blessed oil, eat them up, money oil. What else? If you get the five oils, you get a full bottle of stay. For protection from spells, you need to talk to me. You need deliverance. She. <laughs> if you want to feel, I do have a protection oil, but that's not on the site. And you might want to leave me a message. Go click the link in my bio. Go leave me a message. What do you mean for nursing school? You just need some regular OG blessed oil. You say your your grandson had the confidence to live on his own. Um, you would need some uh, OG blessed oil. And then in Jan in June, I don't know if you want to wait that long. Bless him. How many blessed oil can you put in your tea? I'll put half a dropper. What else? All right, y'all. I'm going to answer questions for three more minutes or two more minutes, and then we're going to go on. If you got a court case, um, I would do the OG blessed oil. Protection against demonic spirits. I have a protection oil that's not on the site, not just yet. You might, you can leave me a message, click the link in my bio, and we can tell you how to order it. If you, a lot of y'all just need my regular blessed oil. Cash app is right here on the screen. It don't have to be in the bio. Cash app is right there nausea you sick friend you might some og blessed oil thank you uh what else what other questions y'all have we got still got like 90 more seconds i'm gonna answer questions you say oh my god if you use two drops it's okay friend it's okay yeah blessed oil thank you is multi-purpose um how do you order if you want somebody put the prices up you haven't mentioned Waymaker because nobody asked about peace if you want love, you do PS I love you. Somebody, you didn't mention way back because nobody asked about peace. What's up, Buttercup? You're on Coach Missy. I can help you. Hello? Hello? Yes, you're on the Missy. Coach Missy, I can help you. Hey, Coach. All right, I got a confirmation. Okay, hold on one second. Let me go ahead and put that up. Mm -hmm. Y'all, my moderators will help y'all. All you have to do is cash app the phone, your phone number, and the amount, and Kyle will ask you what kind of oils you want. All right, friend, what's going on? Okay, so I had did a 90 day. You told me I was going to get a small increase, a small lump sum on my job. I did get that. And then I've been using both the blessed oil and the favor. And it's like everything I speak is kind of coming. Like I wanted to reconnect with a friend. I got in touch with him. We've been kind of communicating. That's been good. Um, I put the blessed oil. I had to take a trip, six hours. I was like, Lord, give me peace. Guide me. Put it in my car, got there, had to drive by myself, got there. Um, also, I had got an eye exam. She told me my glasses were going to be back in time because I needed them to get on the road. And then I ended up getting an email saying my glasses was ready in two, three days. And I had, you know, used the um, favor list as well to say, Lord, send my glasses back because I need my glasses back early. And, and she called me within two, three days and they were there. Friend, and what you and what are you using? What oils you have? I got the favorite and the blessed oil. Listen, I'm and gonna, it's like I put it on the bottom of my shoe. I asked the Lord 
the gap, my steps during the day. You know, it's, and it's like everything is just coming into fruition. Friend, I love it. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. What, what, what would you like to know? So I do want to know about a relationship um, or in a job. Am I going to get a new job? You are going to I get a new for that. You are going to get a new job. It's going to start within five weeks, and that relationship is a go. All right. I just need you to come on out and say what it is that you want. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Cause I'm well, I don't, I'm not gonna say relationship, but right now I'm just. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been dating, so I'm just ready to have some fun and get back into it. Um, cause that's why I was, you know, again I had spoken like, okay, let me reconnect, cause I hadn't been, you know, dating or talking to anyone, so that was good for me. It's like, you know, so I don't know. I'm just open to whatever happens. But I need you to tell him that, and he'll take the lead. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Bye, y'all. That's okay, an amazing bye. confirmation. All right, y'all. So listen, um, if you have any questions, my moderators can all tell you, hey, let's go ahead and send. Um, if you are a moderator, y'all know who y'all are, and y'all want a full bottle of stay, I love you, um, text Kai, and we will give you a full bottle of stay. We'll ship it out to you. So if you are a moderator and you need stay, if you need stay, we'll send it to you free of charge. I love you. Thank you so much. Text me. Okay, just text Kai, and we will go ahead and uh, get stay out there. Okay? All right. See? That's how that works. All right, y'all. Yeah. Shout out to my moderators. Malika said, Malika said, I use blessed oil and favor, miss. Hold on, y'all. What's up, buttercup? You got my coach, Missy. I'm trying to help you. Real quick. Okay, hold on, friend. No problem. This one cannot be a moderator. Don't get Kai started tonight. All right, friend. What's your confirmation? Okay, so I called in about court last weekend. You said I was gonna come home, and I'm free. <laughs> Congratulations, friend. Yeah. So it's real quick confirmation, but I have to let y'all know. So I'm here. Good job. You sound amazing. What would you like to know? Oh no, nothing. No, she said I don't want no nothing. I'm free. I know that's right. Tell me. I don't know if there's something I need to know. Let me know. But I don't know. I'm happy. Okay, friend. I I want you to uh get you a new group of friends. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right, you got that, okay? And sit yeah. your ass in the house. Get off my phone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You said, is there all for discipline? If you need discipline, I would do eat them up. So here's the deal, y'all. If you need to feel, so let me tell you what each oil do, and then we, and we'll go on with the get on, okay? Remember, the cash app is only up for oils, and it's not up for questions. If you want to, or you want to get in line for questions, and I'm gonna leave the live, I'm gonna leave the line open until 30 minutes after the hour, so we got 12 minutes. You go to I am Coach Missy, click the link that says get in line for tonight's live. It's called What the F Wednesdays. WTF Wednesday live readings, click the link in my bio or go to IamCoachMissy.com. Click on the link that say what the F Wednesdays and get in line. Y'all got 20, uh, 10 minutes to do that. And then I'm going to close the line down for tonight. So all orders is only in the cash app. Do not see me no more questions because we got people to call from last night. And I got people that got in line today and we got a lot of folks. We got a lot of stuff going on. OK, so. With that being said, um, <laughs> with that being said, uh, what was I? Oh, let me see. let me go down to oils, okay? So first, let's talk about Waymaker. Somebody brought that up. Waymakers for peace and tranquility, huh? Waymaker, Waymaker is unisex, and Waymaker is used to manifest peace and tranquility. Not only for yourself, you can use Waymaker as you would use any type of cologne or perfume. You can also use it on your children. I would suggest you using Waymaker on you. If you have boys at home that are in middle school, put a little Waymaker on them. Okay? Jesus be a fence all around them every day. Put a little Waymaker on them. Let them become peaceful. Okay? Do not use Waymaker on your face. It's like you would do any perfume or cologne. You can use it. It is unisex. Okay? That's Waymaker. All right, number two. So we did Waymaker. Number two, I'm gonna talk about Favor Mist. Okay, let's talk about Favor Mist. Favor Mist is that it is a mist. You can use it on your body, you can use it on your face, on your body. A lot of people like to spray Favor over their head and let it come down. 
Now, I'm not saying this because I make it. I'm saying this is what people told me. Favor me smells like God. It smell like a, it smell like a favor. It smell like God's favor over your life. Right. We also offer some other favorite products. I'm not going to get into that right now, but favor mist smells like God's favor. And a lot of people like to go ahead and boop, spray it over their heads and let it go ahead and rain down on them. Hold their face up and let it hit them. OK, they tell us. So thank you. They said it smells like oranges and Jesus. It smells fresh. That's favor. Uh, God's favor. It smells like somebody said it smells like clouds. Right. You can say favor mist. Now, for me, I look, I use favor mist on my face okay i spray favor mist on my face in the mornings before i put my og best oil on i spray you can spray favor mist in your car you can spray favor mist in your house you can say favor mist on your body okay it's a mist okay that's that so we did way maker we did favor mist let's go to that og blessed oil right a triple og so the blessed oil the blessed oil is when people are like well can i put it in my tea yes you can even use it to help you get over to help remedy a cold or sinus infection, okay? So you have, okay, hold on. Pause for the cause. Hold on, okay? All right, hold on. Wait, how can I help you? Yeah, what's going on? Nothing. I was just drawn to you. I, I need some help with some things. I need to figure out some things with a relationship. I've been dealing with for four years. She's like, she's probably about a year two years older than me and uh okay well friend you gotta get in line i know i know i know i know but just a couple things i wanted you to help me with uh my business need to go in another direction i think i need to cut some people off okay so what we gonna do is did you get in line for the night no i didn't no this i just I just started watching you like this week, and I, I uh, and I was just drawn to 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 reach out to you. Okay. Well, yeah, you, I'm here. I'm here in Dallas. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't know you was here in Dallas. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, I was just led to reach out to you because I did DM you. Somebody's using your DM. No, it's not my DMs. It's a fake page. They, there's a oh, lot of okay. fake pages of me. Okay. 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 Yeah. So what you can do, honey bun, is you can go ahead. My number on my website. How do, they they like? How do you get the number in? Mm -hmm. With that, it, it doesn't matter. So what you can do is you can go in on. You can go to IamCoachMisty.com. Uh -huh. If you click the link in my bio, if you watch you watch me on TikTok. Where you watching me at? TikTok. Okay, you can click the link on my bio and you can schedule a phone call or a, or an in person at my okay. office, okay? Okay. What do I need to bring? You going to pay online, honey bun. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, I'll okay. see you I soon. Do okay, I'll do that. Okay. All right, I'll see I'll you see. soon, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. One more time for the one time. Mm. You say stupid. This is what people say. He said, F that line. I'm calling her right now. Um. Okay, where were I at? With all my OG blessed oil, let me explain that to y'all. Y'all got uh, six more minutes to get in line and we're going to get this party uh, started. So we got the OG oh, blessed <laughs> Lord, I said I wanted a husband. I didn't say how it was coming. Jesus. Okay. So let's talk to the OG blessed oil. My OG blessed oil is just that it's an all purpose manifestation oil, okay? OG blessed oil. You can put it on your hair. It's, it's helping people grow their hair back. It's growing hair back. It's clearing up acne. Is, is getting people what they want. You can put it everywhere on your elbows, your ankles, where you can bathe in it. You can put a couple drops in your tea. You can do, uh, hey, listen, let me tell you something. I, it, I'm i here to help. I don't, you know, I, listen, if somebody want to wink at me, it's okay. I'm here to help. Okay. Listen, they say I need to be that bold. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here to help. Okay. They want to. 
Wink at your girl. It's all right. Anywho, my OG Blessed Oil is just that. It's for everything, OG Blessed Oil. You can use it to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. It's an all-purpose blessed oil, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the one, the only, the infamous, eat them up. The one, the only, the infamous, eat them up. Oh, shit. Y'all like that eat them up. Maybe that eat them up gets you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even listen. I don't even wear eat them up. I don't even wear eat them up. I don't have a cut. Hold on. What's up, Buttercup? You're on coach. Missy, how can I help you? Hey, good evening, y'all. Good evening. What you got for me? So the other night you um you had a caller that called in and she was doing lottery. And the, the point of the phone call, you were telling her, it was um it was some numbers that you gave her, one, two, three, and four, five, six. And you said the message from God was like, it's just that simple. Mm -hmm. Ask for what you want. The very next day that one, two, three fell mm -hmm. in Georgia. Did you play it? Uh, uh -uh. I'm in Florida right now. And I called somebody and they couldn't follow the instructions. But anyway, this eat them up. Coach, I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. I am going to get you. This It comes like, if you put it on to attract um, like a, a man or a, a spouse, oh my goodness, this Coach, that oil had me wetter than a river. I had to go lock up in the bedroom and lay my blue ass down. Because somebody was going to be in trouble. And I had a friend that I was involved in a little throuple. She was like, you want me to home? You can come over and see my husband. I said, uh-uh. I ain't coming. I'm not coming. No, no, in that kind of way, I will not do it. Mm-mm. Yeah, I wanted to give you those confirmations. Oh, uh, and then you told me I was going to move back to Florida. I did. And everything you said I was going to do when I got here, I did. Okay, I love y'all. Good night. I can't even. Hello? I, oh, I wrote it down. I, Jesus. I, I don't. Mm. So, eat them up. <laughs> Eat them up. Uh, clearly, you have you wetter than the river. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't even know if we can say that. Like a bridge over troubled water. Okay. I don't even know if we can say that on the air today. I don't know, but eat them up. Eat them up is basically the law of attraction, as I tell y'all. Is listen, eat them up. Is the essence of 10,000 bad bitches. I'm not talking about Trina bad, Beyonce bad. I'm talking about uh, 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 Nikki Giovanni bad. I'm talking about uh, Felicia Rashad bad. It's clear hopeful bad. I'm talking about, uh, listen, I'm talking about Demi Moore bad. Okay, Demi Moore was bad. I don't care what y'all talking about. Okay, Charlie's Angels. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about Harriet Tubman bad. Okay, I'm talking about uh, Mary and Martha in the Bible bad. That type of deal. Okay, so. Yeah, this is eat them up. As I was saying is, I don't even wear eat them up outside. I don't. I don't. Thank you. I don't even wear it. They tell my where is the website. Uh, eat them up is not on the website yet. You have to order through Cash App. Somebody please help the people in line. Uh, listen, I, I, I don't even wear eat them up outside. I don't. I don't. I don't. When I said it was 10,000 bad bitches, I was one of them. I don't wear it outside. I don't. I have some downstairs. Um, the last time I put it on, I got it up. For real. Mama, don't watch this. So, um, everybody that buys Eat em Up, whether you have a person or not, if you're looking for a person, if you want a person, whatever it is that you want to attract to you, even if you're going for a job interview, put Eat em Up on. I have men who buy Eat em Up. I have men. I got. I had a man who bought some Eat em Up, wore the Eat em Up, flirted with a woman at the club, got caught cheating on this girl. Eat em Up is a eat, eat em Up is a bad motherfucker. Eat em Up is bad. <laughs> okay. Eat em Up is bad. Okay. 
Eat them up is bad. So uh, that's eat them up oil. It's basically the law of attraction in the bottle. So we did it. We did Waymaker, Favor Miss, OG Blessed Oil, Eat Them Up. What else we got? P.S. I Love You. P.S. I Love You. So here's the deal. A lot of y'all need some self-love. So Eat Them Up is to attract is the love of others. P.S. I Love You is the love of yourself. P.S. I Love You smells like God's hug. Now, P.S. I Love You is on the website, or you cannot. If you order it on the website, it's going to be the regular 25. You can't get it part of a value pack. But the P.S. I Love You. You can also get a, le a love letter from God. You can get the P.S. I love you by itself. And you can also get the P.S. I love you with a love letter from God with a personalized note. So it's just like I do just a word from him. You can get that with the P.S. I love you. So the website is you can go to this is CME .com, OK, listen, this is CME .com. Uh You said I ain't had none this year and got some out the blue the other day. Portia, what did you have? The P.S. I love you or the M up? You say, can you get someone you always want them to eat them up? So here's the deal. Eat them up is not about, oh, I'm going to make this person want me. So you can't sit at home and put the eat them up on and say, oh, I'm going to make this person want me. You have to feel desirable. Eat them up. You have to have the confidence to know you can get anybody that you want. Anybody. Anybody that you want. But you can't just sit there and think they're going to come and kick your door in. No, nope. it's not that. You have to go out. You have to be, the eat them up gives you confidence. And you put it on and vow. This is what it is. You're going to look at me. Right. And then the P.S. I love you. You've had a love in favor, Miss. The P.S. I love you is about self-love. It smells like a hug from God. It makes you feel good about you. The P.S. I love you. OK. The P.S. I love you is, is intent to refill your cup. Right. Refill your energy. Restore you. That's the P.S. I love you. Y'all, the line is closed. The only thing you can do is order product at this time or order the oils through my cash app. We close the line. I'm going to start calling people in a minute. Once I start calling people and clearing out stuff, I'll see where we at. And I might open up. I might open the line up. Might. But right now the line is closed. OK, so that's the P.S. I love you. We had Waymaker, Favor Miss, OG Blessed Oil, P.S. I love you. Eat them up. Moneyship. Money. Let's talk about money ship and the difference between money and money ship. And then we're going to go ahead and start calling people. The difference between money and money ship. So I have a money oil. Money oil is just that to attract money. Is to bring money to you. We had one lady called in. She put the money all on. She literally money. She said she was literally in her car and a $20 bill flew over to her on the ground. The wind brought the $20 bill over to her. She had put the money on and she literally was attracting money. Like she said, I never seen nothing like this in my life. You can put the money all on. You can put the money all. You can wear it at like a cologne or perfume, but I would put the money all on my hands. And I would also put the money oil on my bills. I would take uh, take the money oil and just rub a little bit across your rub a little bit across your wallet, rub a little bit across one of your bills or all of your bills, whatever it is. I have a lot of people that have got the money oil. Bless him, we'll be back in June. I have a lot of people who've gotten the money oil, and they say, "Hey, these bills was paid." Didn't one lady say she called in and her neighbors? Didn't her neighbors mm -hmm. pay her utilities for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, you still need to know where to place the oils on the body on the body. It's actually on, on my website now. Uh unless it's OG oil, you put them on like you put anything else on. It's a regular oil. Do you ask the Arab, you ask the Muslim man at the gas station where to put put on his fake ass white diamonds? It's y'all, it still smell good. Okay, I want you to be I want you to manifest in my, what? Who called a straight the Muslim? No, I'm just saying, I just don't understand because people be like, listen, I, I just don't understand. People are like, where I put the oil at? On your body. Like, what? Like, if you got night night, you can put the night night on your forehead. That's a little different. Like, some of them are different. You can still put the night night on your pulse points and take your ass to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Huh? No, I'm, I'm going to bring lifted out on a different line. We're going to make a whole line and lift it. I just don't be, I don't know. Yeah, like, where do I put it? So that's money oil, right? This is to attract money. But let's talk about money ship. Money ship a little different. Money ship is a spray. You can spray money ship on you or you can spray money ship around you. I would do the same thing. Money ship is the, is the place where money and relationships collide, right? Someone said, does money ship have a nice smell? Deacon said money ship is his favorite. Money ship smell like a rich man. Money ship smells like a rich man. Money, listen, money ship smells like a rich man. When I created it, God told me exactly what to do. 
I envisioned a man, a black man, maybe six foot two, a slim to muscular build. He goes, he works out in the gym. He works on Wall Street. He lives in a $10 million apartment uh, 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 down in, in New York. He has clean fingernails because he's nicely manicured. I couldn't see his face, but I smelt him. And God told me what to do. And this is the deal. So when you have money ship, if you are attracting the wrong type of people, a lot of y'all attract people who need help because you are you are a giver and your energy attracts people. We need to we need to that's this is a, a repellent. OK, money spray. Listen, listen, I, I want you to spray for what you want and listen and the rest flee. Listen, you spray for the man that you need and the rest of them will go away. We want to keep the ray rays away from you. You go out somewhere, you want to go ahead and you want to spray. You want to spray money ship around you. You're going out to a lounge, a cigar bar, spray money ship around you. Men, men with money will recognize money ship. They will like it. Men who, men of, men of good nature, men with a little coin, they like money ship. They tell my Kai, send it. <laughs> men with money recognize money ship. It's a smell that they are attracted to. You hear me? It's money ship. It's the difference between money. Listen, it's the difference between money and relationships collide. It's money ship. So that's the difference between money, oil, and money ship. They both smell. Money oil smells like money. I want, I want you to attract money so it smells like money. But money ship, money ship is a man with money. You hear me? Spray money ship around you. Okay? You said the broke one, the broke one ain't even going, it's a broken repellent. Okay. Well, listen, we're not thinking about that. When you spray money ship, and I got to tell these people, when you spray money ship, you're not trying to say I'm spraying this because I want the broke people to stay away from me because now you got broke people on your mind. You saying I'm saying I'm spraying this to attract the man with money. I'm spraying this to be in a money. I want to be in a relationship with money. I want to be in love with someone who got a little coin. Money ship. That's where money ship came from. OK. So I explained the oils that we have. We I'm going to put some more stuff on the site. We're going to sell out some things that we got like the love, love to length. Oh, love to length. Y'all love to length is the uh, hair growth oil. And we only got four boxes of love to length. We only got two boxes of love to length left. Kai just told me, no, we got two. Love to length comes with love. It comes with uh. Love to Limb comes with the, the hair growth oil. It's specifically designed for hair growth. Hair growth oil, the shampoo and conditioner, the Love to Limb box is $60. And Kai said, we only got two left. So if you want to get that, and I mean, Kai, tell me, if you want to get that, you would go to Missy D. Scott, I mean, Lord, Missy D216, my cash app, send $60. No, it's 67 Oh, I forgot. It's, so it's 67. I'm sorry. It's 67 with the shipping. If someone did it and they only sent the 60, I'll cover the shipping on that one. But it's 67 with shipping. Yes. Only one person did that because hers wasn't filled yet. Okay. So it's 67 if you want the love to lend. Thank you. We we only got two boxes left. Okay. And so I am so I won't be putting the conditioner and stuff on sale then because we that's it? That's it. Oh, okay. After these two. All right. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and start calling these people back. Thank y'all for being patient. Um, as I'm putting new things on the site, if you look at if you look in the stuff with the products, as I'm putting new stuff on the site, if you look at it with the products, you'll it'll say item, uh, purpose, usage. So it's in the descriptions down on the new site. Item, purpose, and usage. Okay. Um, no, the boxes are not still available. I just have, I'm a, I'm a sell love to lend as a love to lend box. You say, can you be, create a be gone spray? What do you mean? What do you mean? Can you create a be gone spray? You want to, what you want somebody to leave you alone? Okay, babe, you've been doing such an awesome job. We'll give you a free favor miss tomorrow. Don't worry about it. We'll give you, I mean, we'll give you a free favor miss on thing. You've been, you've been amazing in these comments. You will give your free favor miss. So if your favor miss is low, I'll give you favor miss. That's not a problem. What's the new site? The new site is this is cme.com. I'm about to put it up. I'm about to take this cash app down. How many of y'all? How many of y'all need to? Oh, I know this whole line. This bitch is crazy. Mm.
All right. Let's get this show on the road. All right, y'all. I'm going to start calling people. Oh, the line ain't that long. Thank you. That is the new website. Do y'all see it pinned up? Huh? What? I think once you call him, I don't know. I'll figure it out. What, Kai? Al said he said sent too much, uh, too much money. What? He sent too much. I think it was supposed to be for oil and, and question. So it's all in one. So you get to, so you can know that it's a question. I sent, I see one thing for Al for $10 and then another one for $120. So what do he want? He want five oils and a question? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I call him, we'll just figure it. We'll just, okay, I ain't even there yet, so don't worry about it. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into what we had to do from last night. Do you have a spell out the dot or no on your site? No, you don't spell out the dot. That's the only way we can put it up here. So here's the deal. If you want to order oils, if you want to order oils and you need to cash app, I'll let people put it in the comments for you. I'm about to just put up my site right here. Hold on, y'all. Huh? The people say you got them more inhale. Huh? Okay, you said do you have oils that have sort of strawberry scent? I'm allergic to anything strawberry. No. My oils don't smell like thank you, friend. That's how your site gonna look. Wink wink, stink, stink. No. I don't, I don't have like, no, I don't use strawberry. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. So if you all go to, if you're watching me on um, Facebook, you're welcome. No, I'm not. I don't have any strawberry, but thank you for asking that. All right, y'all. So we're going to call Stephanie. She needed a 90 day in a lotto. We, I've been trying to get this number. I've been fighting for my life for this number. No, you can. The app is no good, so we're not using the app no more because I don't. I don't do that anymore. So y'all, we still working on the. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's for the oils. If y'all want to get oils, it's sent up there with my cash app. Hello, hey Stephanie. Hey, how are you? Good, friend. You had a 90-day in Lotto. Let's do this Lotto first, and then we'll do the 90-day, okay? Okay. All right. Um, What do you play? Um, pick three, pick four. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the pick three first. You ready? Okay. Yes. All right. So with the pick three. So the pick three is going to be three, seven, two, three, seven, one, nine, nine, six. And seven seven eight. Okay. All right. You said you pick pick four too? Yes. Okay. Pick four is gonna be thirteen seven one. Thirteen seventy one. Also thirteen eleven. Twenty five twenty six. Thirty two twenty seven. And forty four eighteen. Okay, what else you play? Um, I do some scratch outs. All right. And I do um, Mega Millions and um, Powerball. Buy one Mega Million and four Powerballs on Sunday. On Sunday, okay. Okay. Also, you said scratch offs? Yes. Okay, scratch off is going to be 7, 3, 11, and 12. Also, if the, if the gas station you go to has up to 15 tickets, buy number 14 as well. Okay. You said the app is taking you. Oh, it, the app is not taking you to the new website. I think the app is taking you. If you got my app, my app is taking you to my link tree. So if you click on the app, it's going to take you to my link tree, y'all. And you can still use my link tree to do certain things. You're still going to take you to my link tree. Or you can go to thisiscoachmisty.com. So um anything else for a uh, lottery ma'am 
Uh, no, just do it, Coach. Thank you. All right, cool. Let's get into it. All right. So, Doyle, you can play those numbers anytime for the next seven days, okay? Seven days. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I do have a confirmation. Too. Okay. Well, let me get the confirmation, and then we'll do your 90-day, okay? Okay. Okay. Go ahead with your confirmation. Okay. I did ask um, before my son was uh, starting. Um, he went to his short driving uh, license, CDLs. Yes, ma'am. And he was like, yes, don't pass by the hell his chin to chin chin. And by God, he passed. And thank you, coach. I knew it. And um, now he's in the driving school and he almost done. So he's doing good. Good. Tell him to pay attention. When, don't let nobody tell him to pay attention when somebody is talking to him. Don't be mm -hmm. distracted because he's going to be doing some driving. They're going to have other people on the truck. And he's okay. gonna bump into another trailer. So tell him don't don't get distracted, okay? okay? Okay. All right, friend. You ready for this 90 day? Yes. All right, for the month of April, he's going to make you proud. When does he graduate? He graduates the end of this month? Um, yes, it's supposed to be in um a couple of weeks by the end of April. Yes, I just said he's gonna make you proud this month, okay? He has to see him graduating, all right. How okay. many oils for 107? You get five of them, and one of them will be a full thing to say. All right. Or you can get a full one to say. All right, y'all. So for the month of May, for the month of May, um, he's going to you're going to be there to see him pull off on his first run. Um, he's doing he's going to do team driving before he go by by himself. It's going to be close to Mother's Day. OK. OK. okay. All right. But that but so on Mother's Day, I want you to find you something to do because he will be he'll be out doing his thing. All right. And in the, and in the month of June, he's going to send you a couple of dollars. Oh, okay, man. Yeah. Okay, man, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to send you a couple of dollars. I love it. What questions do you want to ask me? Um, okay. Honestly, Coach, I just want to thank you. Uh, I feel the same sentiment that the young lady said before. I watch you uh, daily. You help a lot. You really help a lot. I didn't get to sign up for the um, coaching. Um, but open donation I, coaching, you can, it's fine. I can still you can just okay. send send okay. the cash app, it's okay. Okay, yeah, okay. you got my cash app, yes, yes, because I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, like, we still scheduling people, and okay. I have 45 days to, to rock rock with y'all. So, even if okay. somebody sign up this week or the top of next week, I can still fit you your four sessions in before I have my surgery. Okay. Um, okay. I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, so you can still do that. Just send a cash app, and then, like I said, we'll get y'all scheduled before Sunday, and okay. then everybody will start next week. Okay. 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 Um, I think the only question I want to ask is my younger son and my daughter. I just want to make sure that they're gonna be they're gonna be okay with everything. Yes, they'll be fine. Okay. 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 All Thank right, you, friend. Thank you so much. Y'all give it up for her. Bye. All right, y'all. So I got a Roslyn Goodwin. I don't see a phone number for you, Roslyn. You send me some number, but I don't see a phone number. So I might be might be shooting myself in the foot by saying this. I did a thing, open donation coaching for this month. And I know I really haven't talked about it that much. I know I haven't, right? Um and people are asking me, can I still send in my donation for open donation coaching? Kai is saying no. Kai, we ain't got that many people. I just ain't wrote the names out. What? what is you it going to end on the 31st? No, it's going to end right before my surgery. Some people are in right before my surgery. My surgery is on the 15th. I Anywho, like I said. If you would like, so we had a thing called Open Donation Coaching. You can actually go on the website and do it. You can just hit the donate button on the website. You can hit the donate button on the website. Or you can send me a cash app, whatever God place on your heart. Some people talk to me for 30 minutes a week. I coach them on personal things. Some people talk to me for five minutes a week. Right? It's Open Donation Coaching. Okay. So, if you'd like me to coach you, please put in your donation thing that is for coaching or mentorship. Don't just send me no damn money. I need your phone number. 
and I'll and I'll get with you. And that's what we'll do. Some people are gonna start next week, and the ladies will start the week after next. As long as I'm done by May 15th, that's all that matter. Can you give me the website, please? It's right up here. It's open donation. That's it. Open donation coaching. Open donation, whatever God leads you to do. Here's the deal. You determine how much time you get with me. Mm -hmm. You determine what this coaching is worth. That's that. Now, this is the last month I'm doing it. I will not be doing it after this. God told me to do it last month and this month. That's it. That's all. I won't be doing it. I'll roll out some other programs after my birthday. My birthday is July 15th. So after I finish open donation coaching, y'all will have me. We'll do readings and stuff like that. But I won't. I may do a budget bay class or hoology or something like that. But I won't do any type of coaching. And it won't be open donation. I won't be back to coaching people until in August. So Kai is ready to lose it. What, what Kai? What is it? No, Kai, say what you're going to say. Mm. All right, y'all, let's get it. Let's go. Let me call the next person. What, Kai? Girl, it's liposuction. They ain't cut my ass. Ew. I'll be fine. I, I I coach people in the bed while I'm in the bed. I'm I'm okay. We had no, we didn't. What deal we have? There was no coaching on calls during your, your recovery. I won't have none. If I so all the coaching I'm doing going in by May 15th. When I'm recovering, I'm not doing nothing. I'm lying. I'm gonna be going live from the bed. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I'm not coaching no. I'm not taking no things. I'm closing my books for the last two weeks of the year. I'll be going out from the bed <laughs> with my faha on. <laughs> What's up? Y'all know I didn't do that shit when I had weight loss surgery, okay? When I had weight loss surgery, what I was off what was off for about a week? What what happened when I did weight loss surgery? Huh? I was off for a week. I was lost my damn mind. Looking at looking at y'all, looking at me. Mm. Okay. I was barely off for a week. They tell my Kai, you're going to have to move to... No, she's not. Kai, do not have to move here. I will lock my door and keep Kai in my room and go live. I'm going to be live from the bed with my thing. Listen, with my thing around my chin and everything. You can't talk like that when you have it. I'm going to whisper to you, hoes. You didn't even whisper with your lips. You almost cracked your lips one night. Oh yeah, they fine now. Y'all say we getting on flights. I don't get a damn. All right, y'all, let's see who we got next. Come on, let's get it. Let's do five calls back to back. All right, Carla, Carla had two questions. Let's get it, let's go. This is from the other night. Let's go, Carla. So there's a lady named Janelle. Janelle C, I don't have no phone number for you. Honey, I wish you would give me a phone number. So after Carla, I got April, Jay, Yolanda, and then Athena, I, I need a phone number. I don't have no phone number for Athena. So Janelle and Athena, I'm missing a phone number. Cash at me a dollar. What's up, Buttercup? You on Coach Misty? How can I help you? Hello there. Uh -oh. What's up, Buttercup? What's up, friend? You got two questions. What you want to know? Okay, I want to know if my finances is going to be better this year. Define better. Uh, more money? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, that ain't gonna be better because you haven't picked out a number. You haven't picked out a number. You ain't stood on business on a number. That's why your money gonna fluctuate because you really don't know. You just know you need to improve, but you don't know where. That's why you don't have direction on how to get it. It's a number now. Pick a number and stand on it. Something that you know you can do. 11. 11 what? Oh, talking about how much money I want? She can picked out a number just like, girl, yes. Oh, honey, I need about, I need about. No, 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 how much, listen, how much can you make and stand on it? What are you, listen, I tell people, don't put nothing out there that you're not willing to work for and that you're not deserving of and you don't have a plan for it. So have you even thought about, do you even know how much money you need every month? Not really, no. That's why, that's why your money fucked up. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. 
How my love life looking? Girl, don't ask about loving your money, Stank. Mm. Oh, We're going out the world backwards, ain't we? Yeah. We backpedaling. Don't you dare ask me about no love. Okay? The only love you should be for the love of money. You gotta get that money, man. That's the only love we need to be talking about. That's Listen. Money, you don't need no you don't need no broke love. Because right now it's giving broke love. Okay? You don't need no listen. Stop dating when your money fucked up. Because yo, 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 listen. The people you date, you the people you date when your money messed up is not the same people you date when you on top. I promise you that. And I'm, I'm talking about when you when you in your right mind. Okay, when you got peace, okay? So the same people, so listen, you don't want no broke love because cause cause broke attract broke. You don't want to be on a struggle bus with nobody. Baby, ain't nothing like that. Holding the hands. We two grown people on the bus type of love. Okay, that love right. gets you nowhere. But with a with, but right. with a 40 ounce and 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 and, and sleepless nights. No ma'am. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, I'm trying to get a plan. Okay, I'm gonna get a plan. Get a plan. I'm gonna coach you. Get your plan together, write your number down, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to take that number. Let's just say it's four thousand a month. I'm just throwing a number out there. I need you to take okay. that number and I need you to budget it down to zero. When you when listen, when you pick a number and you stand on business and you budget it down to zero, you are telling yourself and God that I am ready for this and I have allocated every penny of this money. Right? This Lord, this is what I truly need. This is what I truly desire, and this is what I'm ready for. So when so so when you budget that money down to zero. Then while you're doing it, God is going to start giving you ideas. Once you see you paying, once you see yourself paying these bills or buying whatever it is you need to buy, God is going to start giving you um, ideas on how to get the money and how where the money going to come from. Okay? Okay. So that's what I need you to do for that. Now, when it comes to love, I want you to operate within, I want you to be in an overflow before you start thinking about love. I want you to be able to get this, this whatever number you pick for this month or for the next 30 days. I need you to consistently hit that for 90 days. Once you do that, that means you already have a plan in place. You built yourself a foundation. Then you can start looking for love. I promise you the same thing. Listen, and don't be out here. Well, I'm looking for somebody. I ain't not my shoes. Some people are like, oh, I want somebody to help me pay my bills. Girl, somebody wants your broke ass. Okay, listen, people only give to people who already have it. Mm. Mm. Already know I got you. Okay, now I what other question you, you want to ask me? Um, how my mom doing? Your mama, right? Doing better than your ass. Get off my phone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hang up. Jesus. Mm. All right, Janelle. I need your lottery. April, you next. Okay. Better than your ass. Kai, whenever you get up, if, um, can you give me some water? Because this shit is uh, liquid diabetes. I put lemonade in here, too. Kool-Aid and lemonade. La, 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 la. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to put a circle around April. Jay, you up next. Now, y'all know tomorrow is mediumship and more. I will put the flyer up tonight. If you know you if you know you know want to do something tomorrow and you want to put it on my cash app, thank you. If you know you want to do something tomorrow, you want to get into the cash app. Oh, let me hold on before I say that. Let me close. Let me see where I'm closing this cash, lab, cash app line at. I thought you closed on. No, I need to see what time. So, people. Forwarded to automatic voice message system. All right, so that was Jay. Y'all will be on the list for tomorrow. Don't be like, oh, coach, I missed your call. Can you call me back looking asses? Mm -mm. And if I don't get y'all tomorrow, it'll be a refund. The line closed at 8.30 my time? Okay, let me put that on here. So anything over 8? Uh -huh. Hey, it's Coach Missy. How you doing? Good, Coach. How are you tonight? I'm just blessed and highly favored. You ready for this 90 day? I am. Mm, I was looking for someone to let. Friend, you on the prowl? Yeah, it is. <laughs> God, God be speaking to me through song. As soon as she came on the phone, as soon as she came on the phone, that song, 
See, I was looking for someone to love me. Hey, oh, I, 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 I. listen. That song came right up. It's soon. The 90 day is $30. You can use the cash app and get in line for tomorrow. Listen, the thank you. That is it's $30 for the 90 day. Listen. That's right. Miss Caban, I'm about to go ahead and send you that money back, Miss Kitty. Listen, oh. baby. Listen, I see you out here looking for someone to love me. And you ain't desperate, though. Don't get it twisted. Ain't nothing desperate about you. No, no, that's nothing desperate about you, Fred. No, no. Listen, listen. So this month, you still going to be there. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mighty Joe Young going to come like a thief in the night. Mm. He coming, so here's the deal. April, you out here, you looking. I need you to I need you to step it up a little bit about how you're going out. I need you to be seen a little bit more. In the month of May, you're gonna spend time with family, spend time doing a Mother's Day thing, you know, smelling the May flowers. But on June, baby, June 1st. Listen, listen, he coming. Mm. Okay. Baby, listen. Who is the man? Uh, what was the man? They, what was the what was the thing back in the day about the man on the railroad? What was his name, Henry? Uh, you know, it was a fable, baby. He's coming. Mm. Mm. You said I sent. I just sent my number in my cash app. Okay, friend. Yeah, he's coming. Yes. No, she ain't on no Snow White. She's on that. Okay, baby. She on that. Yeah, a a, a thief in the night. She ain't on Snow White. Baby, we 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 the thief in the night when it comes to this thing. Listen, this person that's coming, that's your end all to be all. He'll be here doing first. You hear me? Strong, rugged, very very strong hands, very uh thick hands. Mm, he can fix a lot of stuff. Come on now. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Right at six feet even. Right at six feet even. He wears a size. 12 and a half, sometimes a 13 shoe, 13 if it's a boot. Remember what the verse that I'm telling you, because he's going to tell you that. Y'all going to be talking about shoe size, you'll know him. Okay? He's a, he's a quiet yet strong man. Ain't got no little babies or nothing like that. Okay? It's Come on, to I promise you, when I pray, I be saying, Lord, I don't want no man with no little kids. Because my children are quiet. Okay, friend, so, that's what I'm telling you. God is, listen. Lord, thank you. Listen. As I be telling you, God be showing it to me. So he, I'm telling the reason why God tell me certain things today. My style is Isha. We were talking about. I got the reading women in the in the beauty shop today, right? And we were talking about, you know, what it is that I do. And she was like, "Well, I just feel like, you know, like maybe you just be confirming stuff for people that they." I said, "No." I said, "It's two parts." I said, "God allows me to see things that only you know." How would I know that? I said, so it's not about me backing you up and saying, yeah, girl, this. And you're like, I thought I should. It's things that you've only talked to God about. Things that you've written down in your journal, your Bible, your notebook, wherever it is. Right? Your innermost thoughts and secrets. And I'll say that on here. Things that you have said yourself. And that, that's to let you know that this is really coming from God. This is what you asked for. That no little kids is definitely one thing I asked for. Yeah. You want to make him fix a lot of things. He's going to fix you, too. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Friend, what questions you got for me? Um, I have to, um, to, only two. I have to have a procedure in the morning. I've been having an uh, issue. I just want to get to the root of the problem. They will. It's going to take a little longer than what they said it would, but they'll, they'll be in there 45 minutes longer, but they'll get it. What's the second one? Second question is a friend of mine has her her cancer has come back and I just want to know if she's gonna be okay. She'll be okay this time. It's gonna come back again. Has she had a mastectomy? No ma'am. Okay. And they she they said it wasn't a mask. She didn't have a mask, she didn't have it somewhere, but it was a lot of cancer cells. And where are they at? Her spine, her arm, wasn't her breast, but the ones on her breast is gone now. But I think it's just the spine, the arm, the spine and the arm now. The breast will come back. 
Okay, but this time should be okay. Okay. All right. All right, friend. I want to thank you so thank much. You. Hey, I can't wait to hear that confirmation. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, have a good night. You Bye. too. Bye. All right, y'all give it up for her. All right, so I need to, I didn't have a phone number for Athena. Mm. Okay, so I didn't have a phone number for Athena. So we got Velda, uh, Tania, Rashonda, Shania. Y'all got some hell of a name. Velda, you up next. I can't be reading all that. This shit made my head hurt. You sent your number in? Okay, well, let me look for it. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, is this Velda? Yes, it is. Hi, hey, Miss Velda, I'm, a, I'm amazing. You ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. What did you have for me? Let me see. You signed up for, uh, you did you want to... A 90 day or a five day? Did you just send me some money? Uh, the 90. The 90 day? All right, let's get into it. So, with your 90 day for this month, for the month of April, you need to be making some improvements on the on the base level of the house. You need okay. to spend time making improvements on the base level of the house. Okay? Um, that's for the month of April. For the month of May, I see you doing a lot of cooking. And the cooking is actually to help a friend or to make sure they're going to be coming home from the hospital. And they're, they have been in the hospital. They're going to be uh, on bed rest for about six weeks or in the house for six weeks. So you're not necessarily cooking for Mother's Day, but you're cooking to help these people have something to eat. The person lives by themselves as a female. So that's what your man going to be consuming with helping others. And in June, someone is going to come and help you. Not that you are in need or in distress and you're not going to be sick or anything like that. And your money not going to be funny. But somebody is just going to come and help you. Not the person that you helped that was sick, but it's just you kind of like the universe or God just repaying the favor. What questions do you have for me? You can ask me up to two. Um, finances or what about your to, What about your finances? Is it going to increase? Or? Uh, your finances are going to stay about the same, but you're not going to be hurting for anything. Okay. Okay, what else? And uh, a home based business, will I be able to find something in that field? In what business? I couldn't hear you. Home based, home based business. Home based business? What do you mean? Uh-huh. Working from home. Working from home, yes, ma'am, you will be able to find some working from home and it's not going to be on the phone all the time. I know you really ain't, you really don't like to, you're not really a phone person. I got it, Athena. Um, it will be some phone work and, and some uh, some stuff with email, and they will be patient with you learning the system, okay? Okay. All right, friend. Well, listen, I want to thank you so much. You have an amazing day, okay? Thank All you. right. You're welcome. You're Bye. Good. Who is that talking about I put my thing in a number? Did I ask you for your number, friend? Probably not. All right. So, Janelle, okay, I found it. Athena, I just got your number. I'm about to call you. Hey, Coach. What's up, Buttercup? You need two truths and a lie? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Listen, y'all, if y'all want to get in line for two truths and a lie for tomorrow, um, ask one of my moms for my cash app. It's $35. You ready? Mm-hmm. Number one, someone is super sweet on you. Um, This is, some, this is somebody that is uh, not even a friend. Um, it's someone that you worked with, someone that was actually like a boss or a supervisor, super sweet on you. Okay. They when they see you, when they see you, they little heart melt. But they can't really say it. You want number two? Mm-hmm. A stray dog is gonna show up at your door out of nowhere. <laughs> and yet why are you laughing? Because the last two days I've been going to patients' homes and their dogs keep keep coming to me. Every last one of them, the dog just is like attached to me the whole time I'm at their house. A stray dog is going to show up at your door and you're not going to be able to turn it away. 
Oh God, okay. I know you're even a dog person. And the third one, and the third one, there's a baby that's gonna enter into your home. A cute little baby at that. A baby, <laughs> a little boy is gonna enter into your home within the next seven months. Which one is a lie? The last one. <laughs> You're saying it's not that one. I'm asking you, why do you think that's a lie? Uh, because I have a, unless God has a way, I still have the next one on in my, in my body. So there's, again, I know anything is possible. Um, you said you're pregnant now? No, no, no. I have, I have a, uh, one, like one of those IUD things. I said the baby the was going to enter. I said you was going to have one. I said the baby was going oh. to in your home. I didn't say you was going to okay. have it. Gotcha, gotcha. A little cute okay. little baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So which one do you think is a lie? Do you think it's a person that's sweet on you, that you work with, that sees you? It's a male that's in a like a supervisor position. Do you think it's that one? Do you think it's a dog? Do you think it's a baby? Uh, maybe it's the first one. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Do, do, do. Do you have, do okay, you, so it's the dog. No, no. Why now you just now you just guess enough. Do you have do you have like a male manager? No. Um no. All of my managers that I've had that I've worked with have been female. So I'm like, nope, that's definitely not the case. Um the only thing person I can think of is not necessarily somebody I work with. Um, there's a, I guess, somebody that I volunteer with at church um, that is like over complimentary sometimes, like um, a little scary. When they look at you, do they, you see the moons and the moon and the stars in their eyes? They look at you dreamy. You look at the phone, can you look at me? They look at you like this? I can't see you. Damn. It's, my screen's frozen. <laughs> Are you on the phone? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. All of them is true. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the dog isn't going to hurt you. It's there to protect you. The person really, really likes you, and they're going to come out and tell you. And the baby that's entering into your home is mm -hmm. it's a baby of a family member. Aww. And the family member has to come stay with you. And it's a beautiful little boy. The little boy is very... It's a fair skinned baby. So I don't know if this baby is white or mixed with like some is real fair skinned baby. I don't think he's black. Okay. 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 What question do you want to ask me? Um actually don't even I can't even think right ah. now. <laughs> I was thinking yesterday I need to think of a question and I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't have one right now. That's all right, friend. Well, listen, get you some doggy toys or something for the house. You got it, okay? Oh, Lord. Okay. All right, y'all give it up for Thank her. You. Bye. If you want two truths and a lie, listen, what kind of dog? It's a mutt. It's not an, even a little cute one. It's like a mutt, but it's a good dog. And the dog, she said dogs are, are coming up to her at her client's houses and they're connecting with her. This dog is going to show the F up. What's up, Buttercup? You want my coach, Missy? Can I help you? Hey, friend, turn me down. Who is this? This is this is Amira. Not confirmation. Okay, hold on. Let me get the time down. Give me one second. Damn, I forgot to write that lady, other lady's confirmation down with the time. Yikes. All right. Well, I know when it started. Okay, friend, what's the confirmation? Okay, so back in January, you gave me a narrative reading, and um, you told me. For the dates of January 20th through February 20th, that uh, I'll be letting on myself. And I have been, I received my um, my package with the um, Love Me um, butter and the oil, and I've been just letting on myself. That is true. And, and on February 20th to March 20th, he said, Someone's gonna um, come and try to take my joy. And he did try, but I had to get rid of him. Um, so I did do that. And as you had March 20th through April 20th, of course, it's not over yet, but I'm waiting to see what that's going to come about. Also, um, the questions you asked me, you asked me, told, asked me that I have any questions after that, and I said yes. 
And you mentioned, um, I asked about my love life, and you told me about my dad. I don't know we received it. You know, I'm going to get on in September. Cool, I'm waiting for that. Also, you told me I'm going to join the gym, and my uh, trainer will be white. I did join the gym, and my trainer is white. Yeah. Ren, congratulations <laughs> on everything. The, my, one of the um, things you said in the beginning, so you had ordered the PS, I love you, and I told yes. you that you would get that, and you would start loving on yourself, and you said you have been. Oh my God. How does it feel, friend? Real quick, just explain to them it when you put feels, the PS I love you on, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel sexy. I feel real sexy and I just adore myself. <laughs> I give myself compliments. Um, I'm trying, I also have, have uh, been researching on getting this uh, liposuction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about that too. Um, I'm working on that. I'm just loving me, you know. I'm feeling good about myself. I'm having, I have confidence. Um, yeah. Can't nobody tell me I'm not fine and sexy, honey. Period. Yes. Period. I, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Free, um, you're more than welcome. And I'm going to continue to um, watch you and purchase your oils and I have one more confirmation as well. So, okay, all right. Um, let me put that time. Hold on. Let me let me let me um put that time. Go ahead. What's the second one? Okay, so I got I, I got your um, blessed oil. Okay, mm -hmm. and my girlfriend's husband was going through some really bad um. He was sick. Mm -hmm. Really sick. Mm -hmm. Um, some really bad things. So she always gave me oils and stuff. So this particular day, some told me just go take her some oils. Mind you, I didn't know that he was sick or anything. She hadn't reached out to me and let me know about this. So I just decided to go see her this day and gave her these oils, this oil. So she was like, thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. Make a long story short. A couple of days after I gave her the oil, she said she rubbed the oil on her husband. And mind you, the, the doctor told him that his liver was failing and that he would need a, a transplant. So he had lost all his weight. He was um, sitting in the living room. They had a hospital bed in the living room. Everything. He couldn't, you know, he was weak. He couldn't do anything. So she put this oil on this man, and she called me last week and told me, she said, my husband is, is walking, he's gotten up, he's doing stuff. Um, she said that, um, he asked her, what, is, what, what oil you put on me? I need some more of that oil. And I told her, she said, man, I don't know what you, what kind of oil you, I said, that's, that's the oil, baby. And she said, but that oil, has really done wonders on my husband. Yes, ma'am. And I said, I'm going to let the coach miss know. And I, I told her, I gave her the information and told her to follow you as well and to also go on your site and buy her some of, some of your products because it really works. And you got to, you know, you got to manifest, you know, you got to pray for what you want to manifest it and mm -hmm. God will make it happen for you. And um, so, your friend, I, I am excited about it. I'm sharing your oils. Thank you. Um, with, with, with my family and my friends, when I know they need it, you know, need prayers and stuff like that. I said, rub it on you and pray about it and let it go and let God see how God work it out for you. And um, I, I just thank you so much. Yeah, my, listen, thank, listen, first of all, thank you. Uh, I'm like, yikes. Thank you. You said they said that man had kidney failure. His liver. His liver. liver. Just, just, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm, and he up walking around. Yes, and try to go back to work. Lord, tell him to sit down. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, tell him to sit down. Yeah. Friend, thank you so much for both confirmations. You have a couple questions. What would you like to know? One of them, I, um, I've been out of work since we have a and I failed picking up a fight because I'm a correctional officer and mm -hmm. the kids. And so I feel I hurt myself. So now, um, I was supposed to back to work on the nineteenth. Um, I just want to know what, what are you gonna do because you know with work with con working as time and stuff and um, I'm, I'm having restrictions now when I go back. I can't be involved with the residents. So I don't know what they're gonna do. I wanna be on my back on my regular shift, twelve hour shift. You're not gonna be back on a regular twelve hour shift. They're gonna try to put you on an eight and they're gonna try to put you in some type of control board, to be honest with you, friend. Whatever payout you got coming from them, you need to take it and then figure out what you want to do from you with your life from there on. This ain't it. That's not it. 
And you know, the thing about that coach is, I've been doing this for like 20, I only have like three more years that start to get my partial retirement from the people. So, I, I, and I hear what you're saying. You're not going to make those three years. Not, not that anything's going to happen to you health wise. You're not going to be able to do it mentally. They're not going to keep you on like duty. That foot was messed up. If you get injured like that again, if you get into another altercation like that again, you ain't going to be able to bounce back from it. Yeah, that's what my doctor said. She said you can't go back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, you, you know what? And you say eight hours, and I just received an email today from the HR, and it was put, trying to put me on the eight hour shift, like you just said. And um, they want me to use my time. To put it to cover for the other four? Yes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Confirmation station, two, two. No. Yes, man. I was like, no, but I don't go back until the night. They was trying to make me go back Monday. Well, she didn't know because I just I just gave her that, that, that uh, doctor's note after I read the text. I mean, mm-hmm. after I read the message. So she, um, once she see that, I guess, I don't know what they're going to do. So they got to make a decision on where they're going to put me down. So, yeah, like you said, if, like you said, I control one. Yeah, there it is. So, no, ma'am, we're not doing none of that. Don't even worry about it. Okay. okay. Another, go the, ahead. The other question I want is, um, man, what else did I ask? Oh, it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh, okay. I know it was. Okay. So you also mentioned to me about um, me doing an interior decorating course. Okay. I'm going to do that. I also um, was thinking about investing in becoming a travel agent. As yes. Well. Do you think that's good? Yep. For me. So God told me to tell you after this, after you get off of here or if you get off the live, to go ahead and write down everything it is that you want to do. Okay. Regardless of how you know how much money you're gonna make, know that He will provide. He's been providing for you. He's never stopped. He's never, that, yes. That's that. That's that's not even a not. That's not even a thing to think about. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. He always for me. Yeah. Yes, he always. I always, even if it's not the 20, 50, 10 dollars. Yep. He always. When, when, when I'm all when I'm down, my bank account is name, he always could make make a way, like, because I, I, I do stuff, I make stuff and I you know, I'm very I'm good with my hands and I'm I'm a crafty person. And he always, somebody always called me, I need you to make this for me. I need you to decorate this for me. And that's the money. That's money every time. He never failed me. That's right. So, so God told me to tell you that. So write down what it is that you want to do. It's your time. You hear me? Yeah. He didn't, he didn't put you on this earth to be a slave to the system, to the job, or to be a puncher back for them kids. None of that. It's your time. You understand me? Yes. Okay, friend. Anything else? Thank you so much. Oh, you are more than welcome. Thank you. Y'all give it up for her. Yes. Bye. Listen. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for the people who are sending their phone numbers. You guys are what? A uh, freaking amazing. All right. Let's get into it. Who is next? Uh, we got another uh, two truths and a lie. I'm glad I cut this line off. Yeah, 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 yeah. The line is off. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, ham, no, Sam. No, ma'am. So even if you ordered on my website to get in line for today, if it's after 8.30, it'll be for tomorrow. Hi, it's uh-huh. Coach Misty, friend. Go ahead and um, turn me down on whatever you're watching, okay? Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. So before we get into truth and a lie, I'm going to say this. You're going to lose somebody close to you within the next six months. This ain't even part of this. They ain't even part of that. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? It's someone very close to you, and it's gonna be all of a sudden. It's a male, not an older male. It's a younger male, like your age or a couple years older than you. All right, that's in the next six months. Um, this time I want you to have a blast. You hear me? Okay. Have a good time. <laughs> all right, I had to tell you that. I'm sorry. I need to know because I've been like stuck in this house, like um, all right, in depression. Like I need to. 
So okay. get out. I right. told my mama the other day that I need to get out and live life. You do. You ready? Let's do this two truths and a lie. Statement number one. You're going to go on a cruise and you're going to get locked out your room overnight. <laughs> That's number one. Crazy <laughs> tale. Number two, your mama got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Number three, number three, you will be on a Mardi Gras float next year. Which one is the okay. truth? Which one is the lie? Number two. That your mama got a boyfriend? Yes, well, she already got a boyfriend. She'll be having it for years. So I already know that's, that's true. You said that's true? Yeah. So that is a truth. Your mama got a boyfriend. So that's not the lie then. And that's the truth. I said your mama got well, a boyfriend. But how do well, I know I your mama had a boyfriend? <laughs> I think it's number one though, for real. Because I ain't going on no cruise anyway. Why you ain't going on a cruise? I don't do water. Mm. I'm going to be scared to fly. I fly one time, but I, honey, I'm, I'm scared of water. Do you go to Mardi Gras parades? No, never been. So it's not. The Mardi Gras one is the lie. Uh -huh. I already said, I already, you already said, boom. What do you say? You say, my mama got a boyfriend. How would I know that, right? Right. Boom. And the second one, baby, you're going to have a, a time on this thing. You're going to okay. be able to hold it. You're going to have that little liquor card. What is it when they give you a little liquor card? <laughs> yeah, you're going to forget where you is, okay? <laughs> okay. You're going to have a good time, friend. This is part of you living out loud. What question you want to ask me? Oh, uh, well, I help them uh, get to live my own life. It's like I'm always babysitting or I always get, you know, it's always me doing stuff for other people, but I don't have any kids. I've never, like, get that time for but so, But that's the question you got to ask yourself because it could be right now, 2024. So when you said that, God said 2024. It's right now. That's you choose to do this. You choose to keep putting yourself as a helpmate to other people. That ain't going to help you. You put yourself in that. So right. so when do you, are you are you ready to live today? Is it going to be tomorrow, next week? What are we doing? No, today. Today. So, home. so, yes. what, what, what's the problem with saying no? Because, because it's my sister, it's my twin sister. She really don't have nobody to watch her child. So, it's always just me. And I, I hate Well, did you ever thought that maybe she don't she want to find nobody to watch her child because she's dependent on you? You like her baby daddy. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So understand that if I know that my sister is going to be there for me, why would I seek anyone else? Right. So start saying no. You had that right okay. to do that. All okay. right. What other question you want to ask me before I let you go? Well, I have me a good man. Will a good man find you? Absolutely. It'll be okay. after the summertime, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Y'all give it up for her. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Let's see who next. That was a good one. All right. We got Rashonda, Shania, Veronica, Quinn, Davina, and Shondell. And then that'll be, we're going to go ahead and rock these out. And then we're going to turn the page. Remember, if you bought something on my website, if you bought a question after 8.30, that's when we cut the line off. You will be called tomorrow. Thank you, friend. Baby, when I tell you, she be wet. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Friend, you ready? Hey, hey, what you need? You need a, what forecast you need? Is this a 90-day, you want questions, a 90-day forecast, or a five-day forecast? What is it? Well, um, and this is my first time. I'm kind of new to your, your your page and everything. But um, two, I guess, questions. Okay, you can ask me. I'm going to let you ask me three because I'm in a good mood tonight. What's up? <laughs> okay. Um, I am really interested in finding out if my love life is going to to get a do over at my love life. What do you mean and, a do over? Um, meaning that, you know, I, I went through a divorce <coughs> and uh, recently done that. Within those, I've been single for about four or five years, almost five years now. So I'm kind of, I've been like ready to get back in. So what's, not, what's stopping you from doing it? I've been dating, but it's just had things just haven't progressed. Like I, I actually been. Do you, you tell know, people like, what you're looking for? Back. Absolutely. And what do you say? Thing. Tell me what you're looking for. Hit it. Um, I am looking for someone that is intentional about me and ready. You know, um, not only are they saying that they're ready, but definitely demonstrating that they're ready. So let me say this. How long were you married? I was married 10 years. You was married 10 years. How long you been divorced? Uh, for four years now. Okay. And this, this, I want somebody that's intentional. It sounds like to me, and stop me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. It sounds like you're looking for the opposite of your husband. 
actually, um, there are some attributes that I admired about him, but we just we weren't right for each other. Two good people, but just weren't right for each other. So for somebody no, to just say, so who are you looking for the opposite of then? Because the things that you're saying I want, it's a, it's a science to this thing. You can't say, so let me give you an example. I'm going to coach you real quick. If that's okay, and I'm going to let you ask some that's other questions. Right. Yeah. So I don't want to date a man with small children. But if I only say I don't want a man with small children, the only thing that's really going to come to me because my energy is really feeding off of men with small children. So I started saying, well, for me, small would be anything under 10. Mm -hmm. So I say, you know what? I want. I only want to date men with children 10 and up. And now my energy is sending out this, that the kids got to be over 10. Because when I say I don't want to date with a man with small children, you would think he's saying that will let the world know I don't I don't want. But no, I only want to date a man, date, date a man with children with 10 and up. Or I don't want to date a man with any young kids, any kids under 18. Right. OK, I want all his kids instead of saying I don't want him, his kids to be under 18. I want all his kids to be 18 plus. It's the way right. you say this. You got to spin it. You got to you got to take the negative. It's still the same statement, but you got to say it in a positive way. So you attract what you want. Now you saying for you saying I want a man that's ready and intentional about me. Can't nobody be intentional about you day one? They just met you. Right. You have to determine how much time you're gonna give this sit or a situation before you decide whether or not they're gonna be intentional about you. If I if I meet you day one, I can't be intentional about you. I can't be serious about you. Now I could say that I do. I am open to having a relationship. That don't mean I'm open to having a relationship with you. Right. So you need to figure out how much time that you are willing to give a situation before before you determine whether or not this person is intentional about you. So these are things that you need to sit down and really ask yourself and even write them out if you can. I've definitely been doing that. I really have been doing So what's the time frame? Uh, I'm looking for this year, hopefully, to be able to. No, no, no. What's the time? You could have been with somebody. What's the time frame? You was here, so be honest with you, you're just looking for somebody to do what the next last one didn't. And it keeps and it gets worse out and worse out every time yeah. you meet somebody else. And it's not nobody, your expectations are too tough. Nobody's gonna live up to that. Yeah. yeah. That's what that is. You're looking for somebody to live up. You you can't. And so the pressure, the pressure is on. Mm -hmm. You need to learn how to date. Here's a shameless plug. I'm doing hoology class. Hoology is back May 1st. I'll be live from Detroit. I'll be live in Detroit. Hoology, we're going to sell 25 tickets for the in-person class. And then we will have the uh, online class. I have 100 slots in it. So hoology is back May 1st, live from Detroit. I'll be in Southfield, Michigan. Okay, hoology. Um, uh, uh, Duke, you should come see me in Michigan. Come see me in Detroit, stink. If I were three hours, okay, I'm sorry. I'm flirting with somebody online. My bad. I'm flirting with the man on I'm flirting with the man on YouTube. <laughs> wink, wink, stink, stink. I'll be in Detroit. Come see me. All right. Yeah, I'll be in Detroit. May 1st. We're doing hoology. All right, friends. So that's that. So you need to go ahead and you need to really learn how to date freely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your expectations are wow. Expectations of what they should be when they first meet. What's your next question? If you learn how to do that, you'll have somebody by Christmas. You'll be in matching pajamas with somebody's son. <laughs> uh, my next question is, the, am I on the right path? Am I just on what path? The, right the path, path to what? I'm a, you right. You knew I ain't gonna cuss you out. So that's a whole. That's a whole load of questions. Not specific. The right path it to what? Right path. Why did you question yourself? Why you don't even know how to have fun? You be Worried about shit. Be worried about the worrying. I, 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 you know, well, how about anything that you, that you feel like you need to share? Girl, fuck you. A refund. No, okay. I can't. No. So here's the deal. If anybody do anything, you need to sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's open donation. You donate what you want. Matter of fact, this is what we going to do. If you want to take what you gave tonight, you can do that open donation. You'll get about three minutes a week. And I know that don't sound like much or you can add more to it and get more time. Okay. And that way I can help you with some personal coaching. Okay. Yeah, that might be best. Okay. okay. So let me know. Text me. Let me know what you want to do. I'm just going gonna, gonna to convert this to a personal coaching donation. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay. So right, right now with this, you'll have three minutes a week. And we'll schedule that. You'll get a, a, a text message from uh, me or Kai um, before the end of the week. If you want to add more.
more money to it, you just send another cash app and we'll increase the time, okay? Okay, so just text you uh, personal coaching. Yeah, text me personal coaching. And I'm I'm putting this down here for personal coaching. And like I said, you got three minutes a week with what you donated, okay? Okay. All right. You're welcome, friend. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay. 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 All right, y'all. Listen. Um, no, for real though. Like, uh, you gonna come see me in Detroit or not? All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the party. It ain't too late. We're gonna go ahead and keep the party rolling. If you have a confirmation, it better be a good ass confirmation. Go ahead and call in. If not, we're gonna knock these out because I still got people that signed up online and I can't wait to do that damn um I did a thing called a, a, a pep talk. <laughs> I offer something tonight called a pep talk and the pep talk is a 30 second pep talk and it was on the website <clears throat> and the pep talk is when you the pep talk happens when I call you and you tell me what you need a pep talk and I essentially tell you off. Hello. What's up buttercup you on coach Misty what did you need from me. I love you coach I was just here texting you trying to get ready to go back to work. I don't slid you down. Um. Confirmation was I talked to you back in November. Well, hey, no, wait a damn minute. Let me get the time. Um, <laughs> you been talking to somebody, so many people giving them confirmation. Shit. Come on, what's the time? Go now, hit it. November, what happened? Okay, so you told me that he was gonna find somebody else, and I was like, Are we gonna get a divorce? And you was like, Yep. Yeah. So I served his ass on Gobble Gobble Day, them papers, and we will be divorced June 11th. You know how I much of a dirty mind. bitch you got to be to serve somebody on Thanksgiving? Bitch, I want him every time he eat motherfucking turkey, he think about me. <laughs> you know what type of dirty hoe you got to be? November the 13th. He had met somebody on November 13th. Don't move with her to Atlanta. But that's neither nor here nor, nor, nor there. We're getting divorced. It's final. I don't lost too much money. What is my 90-day forecast? <laughs> my money situation? I asked you about the IRS, and I still got his mama here. Is she leaving too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning the fucking house. Baby! You, baby, you I'm gonna sit me on live right now with you. Baby, you <laughs> gonna have to ship his mama special delivery, huh? Well, she going in May to visit him. Right? And you better, you, you, listen, listen, when she going in May, you better send her shit the next day. You hear me? Oh. Okay, okay, what else? My finances. Because ever since I invested in this nigga, my, my, my shit has been in shambles for a whole year. Girl, hold on. Let me, let me take a sip. One second. Mm. Oh, because my finances has been in shambles. And you're, I already got to every fucking rate. Oh, okay. Everything will, come, everything will change July 1st. Everything. You just got okay. to let it go. What else, friend? What, what else you want to know? Okay, in my business, as far as live, um, I run an ILF where I take care of people. Missy, do you see me getting a house in the next three years? Because I'm going to do some hustling shit and give up some rooms and so I can bring in about 15000 a month. It will be in the next two and a half. I'll get another house? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. And do you see anything with my love life? What's going on with my love life? Nothing. My, you was a man and a woman. Ain't nothing going on with your love life. No. You gonna be a real you about to listen, ho, let me tell you. I wanna put some of that sexy shit on. Thank you, thank you, Nate. Because I was about to ask her, but she sure answered a lot of questions in the comment. <laughs> no, that's a lady in here. It is. No, you are you don't need none because you the lock Miss Monster your damn self. You don't need no eat me up. Your energy is crazy. You don't need no eat me up. So let me tell let me tell you something. Damn, shut up. Let me say you something. Baby, listen. You about to get a whole live ass hustler coming your way. Now, he ain't in no illegal. Look, technically, he ain't in no illegal shit. He ain't going to tell you about. He got some legal shit going on. But, baby, when I tell you King Kong ain't got nothing on me, okay. I love that's it. what you need. I know. I know. I love it. I know. Can I give him that three-minute coaching shit every week? I'm going to send you a donation. I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Because, baby, yes, you is. Yes. yes, you is good. Send me, it can be more than three minutes. That's just what she had because it can be five right, minutes. Minute. I had it, 50 questions in one, one sentence. I love you. <laughs> hang up. Just hang the fuck up. Click off. Just click off. <laughs> click off. <sighs> That's how you know it's going to be some bullshit. I just belched. Oh my God. Veronica, you up next. 
This hoe said, gobble, gobble. She said, gobble, go hello, oh. girl, this is Coach Misty. How are you? I'm fine, how are you, Coach? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hanging on, eating ham. Uh, yeah. You ready for your 90 day? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get into it. So the month of April, friend, listen. Do not allow any new people into your circle from April 20th to the end of the month. That's because there's going to be a, a synergy between the people that you deal with every day that you don't want nobody new to come in and have that energy. It's going to be something amazing. The energy between the people that you normally do on the regular is going to be amazing. You guys are going to come up with some great ideas. You're literally going to help build a mastermind group, whether you know it or not, even was looking for one, right? You're going to help. You're going to help build a mastermind group, okay? Okay. All right. So in the month of May, you guys will start meeting at least once a week, whether it's on Zoom or on the phone, because everybody's going to sense that synergy, okay? You also need to go out and have a group dinner towards the end of May, right before Memorial Day, the weekend before Memorial Day. I need to go ahead and have on um, a group dinner, okay? Then okay. in the month of June, in the month of June, you'll have an opportunity presented to you to make an additional $10,000 per month. I need you to take it. Now, they're not going to tell you it's an additional $10,000 a month. I'm telling you that's how much it's going to be, an additional $10,000 a month. What two questions do you want to ask me? No lottery, no mediumship, no fertility. What are we know? Okay, let me ask you about this $10,000 a month in June. I'm on disability. Would that affect that? No, not the way they're going to give it to you. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay. And my next question is, am I going to buy me a car anytime soon? I'm huh? sorry, I'm whispering so he can't hear me. Will my husband buy me a car anytime soon? Yes. It won't be till September. Ask Al how much money this is. Al, I see two cash apps. It won't be till September. Ask, ask Al which one he wants me to refund him. Okay, friend, what else? That's all, Coach. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. You got it. Love you. Bye. Ask Al which one he wants me to refund. I see what you mean. Okay. Hold on for me one second, y'all. I cannot wait for this pep talk. So listen, if you are online and you go to, if you go to thisiscme.com and you click on shop, or if you're on I'm Coach Misty, you can click on a thing that says what the F Wednesdays. If there's a reading that's offered tonight and you didn't get a chance to get online, you can go ahead and pay for it. It'll just be for tomorrow. I am going to offer mediumship. There's only seven mediumships offered tomorrow. And then we'll have our regular readings as well, okay? I just want to let y'all know that. The mediumship is not up. Hold on, that's it. Monique Murray. Who is Monique Murray? Did I need her phone number? Mm. I know she lying. She said for two questions. Monique, how, brown cow? Girl, I'm about to call you now because I'm confused, bewildered, and fucking concerned. Hold on. Did she, did she, did you get in line on, I got to call you now because I'm confused. So y'all, the line for tomorrow is open. You can either do it on Cash App or you can do it. Hey, friend. Every time I go on your, on your site and pay for, I pay for the two questions. I put the two questions. Oh, you didn't put your number in? It won't let me. Every time I go, it'll ask me for my email address. Okay, some people get their number. Okay, let me just put this here. Two questions with, all right, what's your two questions? Um, my first question is, will my community-based day program and body for touring business be successful? Will your who and the what? The community-based day program and my body for touring business, will they be successful? The body for touring business won't do as good as you think it will, but the other one, the other one will. It'll go hard. What else? Okay. And then, I'm supposed to be going to bike week this weekend. Should I go and should I leave on Thursday? Friday or Saturday, if I could. You should go, and you should leave on. Okay. You should leave on Thursday. Okay. okay. All right. Thank Anything you. else? All right. No All problem. right. No problem, friend. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. No, that you hear people. So I did leave the door unlocked. Ryan said he's not coming. He's talking about he um he chilling. I'm about to fire Ryan ass up. Hey, y'all, some of y'all didn't send enough money for shipping. I want to let y'all know. Um, okay, we got one for coaching. All right, Tierra, hold on. Some of y'all did not send enough money for shipping. So when Kai get at you, when Kai texts you, she'll let you know if you need to send another cash app. Some of y'all missed the shipping. Some of y'all 
only sent 100 and not 107, but Kai will get y'all together, okay? Kai, mm -hmm. that door is on lockdown there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you to be in here. Yeah, he said he not coming tomorrow. He chilling tonight. I'm done with his ass. Trust and believe. Mm. Mm. Hold on, y'all. We got some people who signed up for open donation coaching. Tierra, you got three minutes a week, and your mom has three minutes a week as well, okay? All right, and we will be contacting y'all by Sunday to get you on a schedule for next week, okay? Who is asking questions about whether or not they in the line? I got a whole list of people on this back. I'm just calling the next couple people as I go. I'm not going to Ryan inspired, y'all, period, point blank. It's locked. All right, yeah, so ain't nobody else coming over here. And Ryan asked is fired. Trust and believe, period, pool. Charity, y'all got uh, three minutes. Yeah, so we done with that. I'm not going to keep inviting somebody into my home like a goddamn vampire. And then they always got something to say, but you're going to talk about I'm a bad friend. Boy, fuck you. Mm. Okay, I ain't about to keep doing that. Janelle, I'm about to call you because I really want to find out. Let's look all you and see what, what this money is for. I ain't about to keep playing with him. I thought I gave it to you. Oh, you did. I'm not going to keep playing with nobody like that. Hello. Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Misty. How can I help you? Hi, yes. I'm Great. just wanting to get scratch-off numbers. Okay, you ready? Uh, yes, I am. And also uh, location, time, and that sort of thing. I'm and, give it. and whatever else you think. I got, oh, okay, friend. You ready? Yes, no, but you sent me some other money. What was the other money for, Janelle? Um, because I forgot to send you my phone number when I sent you the thirty dollars like two nights ago. Okay. So that ten dollars was just to get the to get you my phone number because I didn't want to miss you. Okay. We um well, let me give you some other stuff too. Okay. Okay. You wait for lottery. You said you said just scratch offs. Scratch offs, the lottery, and the time to play and the location. All right. So the location is going to be south of you. Right, it's gonna be. I want you to travel three miles south of you. Okay, you're gonna go into a gas station and you're gonna be greeted by the best person. This person has a personality like yours, it's a lady, and you guys are gonna chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter, da, 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 da. and that's when you're gonna buy your tickets from for the rest of the summer. You ready for these ticket numbers? Sweet, yes, yes, it's going to be three, four, seven, eleven, and twelve. Three, four, seven, eleven, and twelve. Three, four, seven, eleven, and twelve. Yes, three, four, seven, eleven, and twelve, and that okay. you can you can get that for the rest of the summer from the same lady. Chitter, chatter, chitter, chatter. And when I okay. tell you, listen, one day you're gonna go into that store and you're gonna ask somebody where's such and such, and they're gonna ask you who you're talking about. Now that's gonna be the freaky shit. What? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in there and they're gonna, I'm going to ask them about somebody. Listen, you're going to meet this lady in the gas station. And every time you go, this will become one of your one of your favorite gas stations. And every okay. time that you go in, you're going to have a conversation with this woman. Every time you go, she's going to be working. And one day, one day after the summer is over, you're going to go in there and you're going to ask, where's, where's Suzanne or whoever? And they're going to say, who? Who are you talking about? Mm. And you'll know that you met somebody amazing. That's, I think that's better than the lottery itself. That's dope. What other questions you want to ask me? Erica, go to IamCoachMeeson.com and look and see what was on the list for tonight for Wednesday. Is reading. All right, friend. What, what else you want to know? Uh, lottery numbers. When do I do that? The lottery. You can play those numbers, those those scratch numbers all summer until until August 31st. You want to okay, know. You want to. Anytime. Anytime. Anytime of the day. Okay. And that's pretty much it then. Okay, you good? Thank you. Thank you, Coach. All right, I love you. Where, I love I'm, you. I'm having to come back to you. I'm going to have to come up to Florida. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Let, bye. let me look at the tickets. So, look, I, I, I'm, about to be, I'm about to be platinum on spirit, so I'm going to have to come back. Mm. I don't want to stack it. We got to get, I don't think I got to get Janelle. She on that list to get her coaching schedule. Oh, she going to go on there. The lady is a, the lady is an angel. Chitter, 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 chitter. Isn't that amazing? 
<clears throat> the lady is an angel. Ooh, I cannot wait. Ah, <sighs> good time. All right, y'all. Let's see who uh where we at with it. So April and Jay didn't answer the phone. We got a call. Did we call a queen? No. That's last night's listio. That's last night's listio. Okay. I just made a post. I just want to make sure. Yeah. So we're going to do five straight calls. I'm going to boom, boom, Hello. boom. What's up, Buttercup? This is Coach Missy. You ready for your 90 day? Yes, ma'am. Okay. April going to be shitty. Okay. Oh. With a capital T. Start on the fifth. Okay. Mm. Shitty. Okay. All right. Uh, yikes. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's going to be times you just want to hide. Hey, how you doing? It's going to be times you just want to hide up under your cover. And it's okay. So if you, you don't have a couple of days like that, don't make it. And if you just want to put your covers over your head and just hide that day, just do that. All right? Okay. All right. So in the month of May, you're going to have a friend come in around the first week of May, between May 1st through the 4th. And they are going to get you out of your funk. And say, come on, we're going to do some things. And they're going to kind of drag you along, go around with them for a minute. And then, mm -hmm. and then you're going to start feeling yourself again in the month of May. In June, okay. in June, you're going to double down on this money. On June, you're going to double down on what you need the money for and how you're going to get the money. And then money going to start coming to you. Just going to start coming to you because you're going to mean square business about this coin. You're not going to play about it. You ain't going to have no problem telling nobody what it is that you need and how to get it. Okay, you're gonna become your own little Nino Brown. What questions you want? What questions you have? Two of them. Um, my daughter, she's going away from high school and she's kind of confused about what she wants to do with herself. So I'm trying to figure, I want to know if she's gonna figure that out. Yes. I around at house. Yeah, you say what? I don't around at my house. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, she's gonna figure okay. out. She she gonna figure out exactly what it is that she want to do. You got it. Don't worry about it. She'll have, baby. She'll okay. have that figured. She had that shit figured out by June. She don't want to. Okay. Uh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. What else? <laughs> okay, I'm in this kind of situation. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with myself. Like, I don't know what I want to do with myself. Friend, I need you to cut that off before your baby graduate. Cut it off. Okay. That's not even a good example. Um, and I'm not speaking that because I feel because I like a good situation ship. Okay. <laughs> I was about to I was about to call. I ain't gonna call him out on my Instagram. I don't want to embarrass him. I'm look, <laughs> let me talk to him real quick. I'm up for a good situation ship. Okay, however. Okay. <laughs> anywho. Uh I just wanted to make sure he saw that. Anyway, that's not setting a good example for what you got going on. I need you to go ahead and cut that loose, okay? Okay. What else you want to know? Thank you. Okay. All right, friend. You got it. And bye. Look, I hope you watch. Lord, now the people that's coming on, they don't know what I said. The people, the people that came on here, they don't know what I said. You said it's sincere faces for you. I'm good. I'm up for a good situation. Okay. I just have to look back. Okay. Look. Can somebody, <clears throat> I'm just going to say it. God instructed me to create a spray to help people stay. It's a spray. So we got a lot of more people on here watching. How many people don't know what stay is? If you need to know what stay is, it's a new, it's a new anointing, anointed spray I have. Huh? Stay. So anybody want to know what stay is? If y'all already heard what stay was, then I can just go ahead and make these phone calls. Anybody need new product information about stay? I'm making out the list for tomorrow. We got Hillary is getting a call tomorrow. They can you say, I want to know. Anybody on here is suffering from a cheating spouse. If you have a child that runs away, if you have a if you have a grown child that stays out in the street, huh? Somebody want a personalized note, Monique. Is it money for a personalized note? What the hell is that? What the hell? All right. Um, I don't know what this is. 
Hold on, y'all. Monique sent for a personalized note. I don't know what the hell that is. Do she want? How much is the? No, this must. This this gotta be for uh. That gotta be for um uh, oil. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one for you. Erica Haddon. Okay, she had two questions online. Um, if you are dealing, so this stay is not for everybody. Stay is like a spiritual fence around your home. Stay, stay is to help keep the people in that need to be in. If you have, if you have um, a uh, family member or loved one that keeps leaving, right? Putting themselves in harm's way. That's, you would put spray. You don't, you don't spray it on them. You stay does not go on them. It goes on the sheets. It goes on the covers. It goes in the atmosphere. It goes in the room, right? It's not stay. Who is this that didn't um, hit me up? Dude, you watching me on Instagram too? Mm, listen, I see you think. I see you. Baby, it is. Let me tell y'all something. When y'all have somebody that don't play about y'all, that fat Erica about to call you now. When you got somebody that don't play about you, hmm. What, Ty? Are you taking my shit yet? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. Ryan, don't. No, right. Sir. No, sir. Nah, nah. He gonna hear tomorrow. Don't be on there acting a fool either. What's up, baby girl? What's your question? Okay, so my question is, right now, <clears throat> I kind of, and and I'm in a loop right now, but you what? I'm in a low place, just like I feel like in life a little bit, just kind of got knocked down with some of the stuff that I've been through. But I feel like I'm confused as to I have a good job. If I should get certified in what I'm doing or continue to do my get certified in what you're doing get certified in what I'm doing. Uh huh. Okay. Because I, I wanna make ten thousand a month. I, okay. I'm a really good cook. <laughs> and that's what I love to do. Like I'm passionate about that. But I just my stability is everything for me and my kids. So I'm just like I don't know which way to go. Where's the so, deal? How can you be stable if you fight yourself? So the hardest thing for people to do the hardest thing for people to do is to compromise with themselves. Right. You fighting, you fighting with what you want to do versus what you feel like you have to do, and you'll never, you'll never be stable because if you're working somewhere that you don't want to work just to earn money, and I know you have kids and things of that nature, and then I'm not telling you. Here's the deal: if you're not whole, nobody else is whole. Right. Your energy, your energy directs all of the energy in the house. Right. Okay. Yeah. What other question you want to ask me? So. This question is more about, I've been through like stuff where it affects my trust in people and I never kind of felt this way before. And it's like hard for me to let people in and I push people away because I've been done wrong and I have a good heart. So my intentions are always pure. So it's just like, I want new people with good intentions but I don't know, like, I don't know where to find these people or how to open up enough to let some people in. You want people with good intentions. Well, here's the deal. The reason that you said you had a problem with what repeated one more time. I had a problem just like being in bad relationships and family, just, you know, my intentions being good and their intentions not being good. So here's the deal. You can't control what a person's intentions are when it comes to you. You can't control that. You can't. But you can, but you can walk away. Right. So it's not about putting yourself. Here's the deal. It's about setting boundaries. So your problem is not, oh, I'm around people who don't have my best intentions at heart. No, it's because you don't have boundaries. Right. I run into, I run into crazy folks all day long. I run into users all day long. I run into manipulated manipulators, men and women, all day long. But because I have boundaries and because I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not operating in a deficit because I don't feel like I need to have somebody around me. I don't deal with these jokers. You hear me? Right. Mm-hmm. I don't deal with them. I don't have to. Once I realize who you are, I walk away. I don't try to, I don't give you another chance to make it right. I'm not going to work with you on your foolishness. I'm out of here. 
good day, good luck on your journey. Right. That's how I've been. Like, I'm very much to myself. But sometimes I feel like I miss, like, you know, hanging out and doing certain things, even though, like, right now my focus is mainly on my stability. That's what, what I'm focused on right now. But I just want to heal my heart because I do feel hurt. Okay, so healing your heart, that's a you thing. And you right. can't go to other people that, that wasn't able, wasn't there to break your heart. You can't go to them new people and good people and say, hey, help me heal my heal, heal my heart. You can't do that. Right. <clears throat> okay. So with okay. that, so with that being said, you need to do some work on you. I will go to some therapy or even find maybe a group of people online, like or some type of group therapy, some kind of group you can go sit in for people who dealing with stuff like that. And that could be a that could be a tribe you have, but you can't look for new people to heal what old people did. You have to set boundaries, accept your accountability. You need to be accountability. Okay. Right. You need to be yeah. accountable. Right. No, I agree with that. Hundred and ten percent. Okay. What else yes. you want to know, Fran? Um, you said that I'll be moving. I was trying to move in July. Well, the reason why I'm I'm back at my mom's right now, um. And it's just because, like, with the economy, I have a really good job. It's just like... Girl, say that shit one more time and I'm going to lose it. Say one more time. I have a really good job, but what? So if you got a really good job, what is holding you back? The thing is, it's like, okay, I have a good job, but now the overtime is not as good as it was, right? So I was struggling this year. No, you reason you were struggling is because you got it on overtime. That's how you were struggling. Overtime is not money. If if your regular base pay ain't getting it, if right. your regular best best base pay ain't getting it, you can't overtime and surprise money, just like child support. When I help people do their budgets, I tell them, I say, we not about to look at child support. We don't count child support. That's surprise money. You might get it, you might not. So what happened was it's not like, oh my God, my job put this overtime. No, you start relying on something that wasn't guaranteed to you. You start relying on something that wasn't promised to you. So you need to figure out how to live on your base pay. And if you get extra money, then so be it. Pay some other bills down. Do something fun for yourself. Should I should I invest in the food? Like, should I invest in it? Like, start doing it again for extra money? Like, do you see that? You have to do You have to be smart about it. Well, if you get people to pay you up front, so you can buy the food and the stuff that you need. So right, if you're going to do, yeah, if you're going to do orders or something like that, then you have to be smart about it, okay? Yes. Thank you, you might you might want to get some of that coaching. Yeah. All right, friend. <laughs> it's open donation. Y'all right. Bye. Right. Y'all give it up for her. All right, y'all. So I'm just going through the orders that was online as well. And I'm about to keep on calling people, y'all. I got a whole list of folks that I did not call yet. So if you haven't heard your name, please do not be freaking the fuck out. I'm on the way. Hmm. So I got Davina, Shondell, Courtney, Katrina, and Shantae. Y'all coming up next. And then my, then my next five. Okay. Y'all, I used to get on live and say the next person that asked me to marry him, I would say yes. Until somebody asked me to marry him. Yikes. Hello. What's up, Davina? This is Coach Missy. What you need, friend? Okay. Um, this is my first time being on here, so I really don't know. Would you like to ask me um, some questions? I, up, I believe for the 90 days, something. I don't know. Okay, so do you have questions you want to ask me? Because I'm feeling like a 90 day ain't really gone. Uh, what question? What do you want to know? Uh, am I going to be rich? No, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, for, first of all, stop. Why would that be a funny question? You, is that what you want? I sure Turn me don't. down on whatever y'all doing. Y'all help her out. Help out she and beauty and give her the cash app. Turn me down on whatever you watch me on. Uh, because if you want to be no, yeah, turn me down on whatever you watch me on or pause okay. the live because I'm hearing it. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna get off of it. No, you don't hear it. No, I don't hear it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. What's funny about that? I can still hear myself a little bit. I don't know. But then we're going to work through it. What's funny about that? If you want to be rich, you say it. Don't laugh about it. Because what you did, what you just did, did you tell God, like, Lord, I'm really not serious about that. Or I don't even believe that to be true for myself. I'm not worthy of that. In 2019, I was homeless. 
I came here and I had to stay in somebody else's house. I had nothing of my own. The car I drove, I was ridden through Lyft, paying Hertz 253 a week just to have a car to drive. And I was, I t- and I had to drive the car uh, and pay the car off first. That was in 2019. It's 2024. That was Father's Day of 2019. I came back with nothing but the clothes on my back. It's 2024 and I have two homes. I have four vehicles. I have an office. I take naps during the day. I have a Kai. I have an amazing person named Kai in my life. I I employ my mother. I employ my son. I employ my daughter. I take care of my granddaughter. So what I knew back then, I said I was going to be, oh, I said I was going to be rich. I meant that. I wanted to laugh about it. So is that a question you want to know? Ask me. Um, what do you want to know? Let me move aside. It's okay. Basically, um, I lost um seven family members in two thousand twenty. Mhm. Uh, I relocated because I didn't want to have the memories of things, you know, like running away from me. Yeah. I was trying to kill. I was trying to kill myself. Yeah. Um. So my one of my daughters brought me where I'm here here at, and um, she moved on one side of town, and I stay on the other. So I have six grown kids, and it's like I feel like I'm alone. You know. Um. It's it's just my dad just passed. Oh, two. Two to three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, my ex, we separated. We needed to, um, cause he wasn't doing right. Mm-hmm. Now it's like um, I'm in a situation. It's okay. Hello. I just, you know, it's like, <clears throat> I want to, uh, the one thing I came over was being by myself. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it because basically I have not ever lived without nobody else, mm-hmm. meaning it would be my kids, my spouse. We'll be together, but you know, everybody don't grew up, they out. So now it's like I should be living my best life. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like my vehicle, it, um, the motor boot, um, so I had to get rid of that. Um, the job that I was that I want is to be a loan sherman. Okay. And um it's like, you know how people will, um, you will tell somebody what you want to do, and they'll be like, you know, like, um, you shouldn't do that, okay? Mm-hmm. So when I told my daughter I was going to be a truck driver, because it looked like I wasn't going to get a job at the port where I live, so she was like, mom, it's dangerous. You know, so really, I'm just, you know, I, I said, well, let me call you because I've been watching. My niece gave me your information. Okay. So basically, I've been watching your, you know, like you come on, you know, for the last month. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, it's like, um, ooh. so you want to know what? It's not dangerous. It's not. It's not. And the reason why you feel alone is because you're still craving those people. You never dealt with their deaths. You just ran from it. And you feel alone because you can't even really enjoy the people around you for mourning the people that you lost. Because everybody I meet, they, they, they seem like they're weird. Like, you you come to Georgia, you know, this supposed to be hospitality home. No, where are you, you know, from? I'm from Fort Lauderdale. 
No, that's not it. So here's the deal. The reason why everybody is weird because you still looking for the people that you missed. You still looking for the people that passed. You looking for a love that don't exist no more. Not in the physical flesh. So here's what you need to do. You need to go to a counseling. You need to go to a, a grief. You need to join a grief group. That's what you need to do. Get on Facebook and find a, a group, a grief, a grief group, right? For people mourning the loss of family members. You need to do that. You need to get outside and let some sun hit your face. You need to go after that job. She do need a deliverance. I just, you, she do need a deliverance. And you need deliverance, yeah. The reason I didn't offer deliverance because I'm gonna start putting the virtual deliverances up because I need to put hands on her. She got virtual deliverance ain't gonna do her no good. I need, I need to put my hands on her. That's why I need to touch her. So a virtual deliverance doesn't do any good. Not for her. That's why I didn't offer it to you. But people in the comment were saying that. Okay. What other question you want to ask me? Oh. Um. I've been in the house for 364, let's say, a week out of that time. That's the only time I've been out the door. Well, I just told you you got to let the sun hit you. God showed me that for you. You got to let the sun hit your face. You can't sit up in the house. You dying in that house. So right now, it's like I paid seventeen twenty-two. I don't have a job. I'm on Social Security. I try to do the best I can, you know. And it's like when I went out the door today, I was just like, oh, it's stink out here. They feed the cat, you know, and the cat is living up under the stairs. I'm like, why would they do that? So I said, there must be some new people that are moved in. So it's like I want to move. My, uh, my, my situation got a cousin. They got a house that he, these people moving out of. So he was like, um, you could come move in the house. You know, because me paying 1722, I'm not I, I I'm not rich, but I'm 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 trying to do, you know. Here's the deal. You they, can't do look, look, look. Let me take this to say that because I think you might need to book a private with me. You can't do nothing until you decide that you want to. The, the house is not keeping you there. The people outside is not the bother. It's your spirit. It's the depression that's in you. It's the loneliness that's in you. Okay, you know why outside stink? Because you didn't got so used to, to smelling inside that outside is foreign to you. It ain't about outside stinking. It's that the inside, you done grown accustomed to that, and you don't know nothing else. You need to book a private with me. Go to thisisseeingme.com or go to IamCoachMisty.com and go ahead and book the private session, okay? All right? Yes. All right, friend. I look forward to talking to you, okay? Okay. All right, friend. Bye. Bye. All right. Remind me to block Ryan on my phone. Okay. Okay, for real. Because what you're not going to do is sit up here and yeah, remind me to block Ryan on my damn phone while he's sitting up here giving his commentary via text message. I'm not doing this. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and keep the party going. And we're going to make it do what it do. Shout out to the people who signed up for open donation coaching. You can send it to me via cash app with your number. Or if you make a donation online and there's no place to leave your number, we'll go ahead and reach out to you via email and see what it is that you want to do. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and hit this list again. All right, Shandell, two truths and a lie. This is going to be fun. Baby, the circus is coming to town. Mm. Uh, no, I don't think it's that one. Let me see. No. She is fine. Remind me to block Ryan's ass. I'm sick of it. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi, friend. You ready? Yeah. Ripper, your two truths and a lie? I am. All right. You are going to meet somebody. First statement. 
you're going to meet somebody that's really part of a traveling circus slash fair. The circus is coming to town. She going to meet, what is it, a carny? She going to meet a real live carny. He found him. That's number one. You're going to meet a real live carny and hit it off. That's hilarious. Yeah, carnies be fine. Number two, number two, you're going to think about doing a job as a clown. All of your shit is clowning around. You're going you're gonna to take a job as a favor to somebody to perform at a children's party as a clown, and you're actually going to like it. Wow. You're actually telling to that red nose and all. Okay? Mm -hmm. The third one is the love of your life is 10 minutes away from you. Which one is the lie? The circus. Huh? Just putting on a clown outfit with the red nose. No, which one? You say the clown outfit uh, with the red nose. So you gonna you you gonna meet you gonna meet somebody that's with a traveling festival or traveling carnival or carny. You're gonna meet them outside at the store. The second one is that you're gonna be a clown, you can perform at a kid's birthday party as a favor for a friend, and then the next one is the love of your life is 10 minutes away. Now, the third one, I believe. The second one, uh, I'm kind of iffy about that one. <laughs> Girl, you ain't about to be no damn clown, okay? <laughs> and had you said you like red shoes and a nose, I was gonna buy you some, okay? Had you said, had you said any one but that second one was, was a lie, I was going to go and get your address, and we were going to go ahead, and we were going to buy you some red shoes. I'm going to have Kyle look it up right now, and I was going to send you that shit, and I was going to want a picture for the gram. Okay? No, ma'am. All right, friend. What question you want to ask me? That was a good one. Um, I was just more or less concerned about a a relationship that's been ongoing now for maybe five years. Um, concerned about what? It ain't going nowhere. What, what are we concerned about? Right, right. It's not going anywhere. Okay, right. So that's it. That ain't going nowhere. That's fine. The carnival you meet is going to knock your socks off, literally. <laughs> and you'll get a stuffed animal after you're done. And then the love of your life is 10 minutes away from you. You just got to You got to disconnect from this situation. You got to disconnect from this situation in order for that person to come into your life. Do y'all know sometimes you got to, you know, God is not going to allow confusion. Mm. Do you know that? Yeah. God is not going to allow confusion. God is not going to allow the, the things that you need to come in your life with the people that's not supposed to be there. That's confusion. That's confusion for everybody involved. It's confusion for you. It's confusion for them. It's confusion for anybody new. So once you disconnect from this situation that you have been going on for five years, then, then listen, they will start flooding in, pouring in. Okay. Okay, friend, you, you got it? I got it. All right, girl, keep clowning around. Get off the phone. <laughs> Bye. That was a good one. All right, we got Courtney, Katrina, Shante, Felicia, and Tiffany. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Misty. How are you? Hi. Hi, friend. You did you want uh, two truths and a lie? Yes, ma'am. Ooh, baby. Oh, Lord. You ready? Well, I'm ready, Coach. Okay. Number one, your mother ain't your mother. Number two, your father ain't your father. Oh, wow. Number three. A son is coming back. Which one is the lie? I'm sorry, you said a son coming back? Yeah. A son? Mm-hmm. That's a lie? Okay. The son is a lie? <laughs> yes. Okay. Why is that a lie? Oh, my God. Who son? My they say the sun is coming back. That's it. 
Uh, I'm not, I lost the baby. What did you lose? Was it a boy? A, a boy. How old are you? I'm 33. So the sun is coming back. Oh my God. Friend. Oh, Lord, that's, am, that's amazing. <sighs> oh, that's amazing. That's scary. Why is it scary? Talk to me. He said a son is coming back. Not from the dead, not Crypt Keeper. Girl, we having a fucking moment and you thinking some old girl. Ooh, oh shit. You up here thinking some tales from the Crypt shit. <laughs> girl, what the fuck? You know what? What time did I start this call? Because I'm not doing this no more. We about to get rid of two truths and a lie. Y'all ain't, ain't got to worry about it no more. Y'all ain't even got to worry about it no more. We're going to get rid of it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love it. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. said the sun is coming back. Okay. Okay. So, um, something that you think maybe God took from you. It'll come back. It wasn't, it wasn't the right time. Now, it said your mom ain't your mom and your daddy ain't your daddy. Which one is the lie? My daddy. You know that already? I think that I'm not hundred percent sure. When you gonna when you gonna talk to him? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Talk to him tomorrow, okay? Okay. You know, no matter the, the test say that's you know, but talk to him tomorrow. Y'all both deserve to know that. All right. What question you wanna ask me? I don't even have no question, please. All right, shit. She said, I'm ready to get the fuck off the phone. <laughs> Baby, she up here. Listen, listen, don't be in the house thinking I'm something. Broken. I'm, I'm broken. Huh? Because I'm heartbroken. Why are you heartbroken, friend? Because I always figured it with my dad, but I wasn't, always, I wasn't sure. Yes, ma'am. I understand. But listen, blood means nothing when it comes to love. It doesn't. Okay? Yes. Blood means nothing when it comes to love. Okay? Okay. But that sun is coming back, so. Let me know. I'll send a pack of Pampers, okay? All uh, right. Thank you. You're welcome, friend. Baby, the way that woman thought, the way that woman thought this baby was coming out the grave like Pet cemetery was too much. Oh my God. Everybody on here about to get emotional. Like, oh my God, friend, the baby coming back. She thinking on some old Michael Myers shit. I can't take it. I don't even know how I do this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. LaShonda Isley, I need your number. Um, LaShonda, you did a lucky number, but there's no phone number on here. So LaShonda, you ordered online. I need your number. Are you tired, Kai? Absolutely not. We'll be all fine. We're going to get these orders out the way. What order? Um, Who going to do that? Oh, I thought you said me. <laughs> Yanks. All right. So let's get it. So we got, who was that? Was that uh, Shondell? Yes. We got Courtney, Katrina, Shante, Felicia, and Tiffany. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, did we just call Courtney? Hold on. Who was that we just called? No, that was Courtney we just called. All right, Katrina, Shante, Felicia, Tiffany, and K Kilana. Oh, Lord, these Please things. Please put your number in the live. I need you to clear. That ain't her number. Hold on, calling the stranger. There's a stranger in my house. Thank you, Lord. Took a while to figure out. If you want to get in the live for tomorrow, if you want to get in line for tomorrow, Hi, what's up, Buttercup? What you need? Two truths and a lie? 
Yeah, and then I also got a pep talk earlier. I don't know if you want to do that today or. If you uh, to you got a pep talk? Let's do the pep talk first so people can see what it is. Okay. What is it that you need a pep talk on? Um, I just went through like a little trauma or a little situation. I went to Houston and then had to come back to California. What's the trauma situation? So the pep talks I don't read. You tell me what it is, and then I'm a I'm a read. That's a different type of read. What's the okay. situation? Um, well, I just got tricked. Um, had to go to jail for the first time in my life. Um, just got tricked out of everything. It wasn't what I expected it to be, but I believe that I had to go through that situation. Just to what did you think you was going to do? I um, started spiritual business. Um, just work on myself and just. Started. You went to California to start a spiritual business and ended up in jail. No, I went to Houston. And who's you supposed to start your spiritual business with? With my cousin and this other lady who was supposed to be like a mentor for me. Um, uh -huh. And she ended up not being that. And you went to jail because of what? She claimed I stole her purse and I did not. Where's your discernment at? I wasn't using it. I didn't trust myself to use it. So I, I'm trying to get back to, to that. You ready for your pep talk? Yes. I need you to believe that I need you to leave everything at the door. Let me look at the time and go. I need your raggedy ass to leave everything at the door and, and put your faith and trust in God. You understand me? You so yes. busy trying to be fucking spiritual that you forgot where the spirit actually comes from. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the real read you need. This is the real read. Welcome to Pep Talk 101. Huh? This is not something that you have to go through. This ain't no calm or anything like that. This is you being fucking dumb. Okay, that's yeah. what this is. This is you thinking that you are bigger than the almighty. This is you thinking that it's something up out there other than space and God. You understand me? You need to take your ass somewhere and fall on the altar and, and repent for your sins or the way you've been fucking thinking and stop putting your trust in all these folks and put your trust back in him. You really do have a gift. I know. And God gave you that gift. Yeah. You hear me? Yes. But God is not going to good. Listen, get, listen, you can't take direction from everybody else but God when it comes to what God has given you. Get your shit together. I will. Okay. Good pet I talk? Get yes. All right. <laughs> okay, friend. Now, let's get to it. Two truths and a lie. You ready? Yes. You really did take that woman's shit. <laughs> <Did I? laughs> Woo! Woo! Now let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. God, don't worry about it. This her shit. Damn. Gina. All right, friend. Let's get into it. Two truths and a lie. You will end up back in Houston to okay. finish what you started, not with this woman, but on your spiritual path, okay? okay? That's number one. Number two, your mother is trying to talk to you. She has something to tell you about your gift. Okay. Number three, you're gonna end up in some type of cult where you call a man daddy. It's only gonna be for a minute, but you're gonna end up in a cult where you call a man daddy. Okay, which one is the lie? The cult. Is it though? You're right. The lie about that one is not so. First of all, you're gonna call it a community, and you're not gonna call the man daddy. You're gonna call a woman daddy, and that's what that is. So number three, it was kind of a lie, but it wasn't really. You gonna end up in a community. It's listen. Ain't nothing wrong with exploring some different shit. I commend you. You know what it is that you want to do. You won't be in that bitch for long. You'll be out within three weeks. What question you want to ask me? Okay, so the um, group of women, the tour, you told me I got a 90-day free mm -hmm. uh, for the business. What kind of um, business? Because I don't have a specific business. I don't know what. A specific business of, about what? Uh, well, you said it was a community of women, but I just don't know. You so are you spiritual? What are you doing with spirituality? Um, right now I'm into cards. Um, I was, I believe I, I have mediumship as well. If you got it or you don't, that's what I'm saying. Fucking around. Yes, I have mediumship. Mm -hmm. Um, I do cards. I'm an intuitive reader. I get visions and things like that. So would it be involved with that? It's actually involved with some stones, gemstones, crystals, something like that. That's okay. going to be your business. What else? Which one? No. 
You sure? Uh, my person. Your person? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so your person is God. Get off my damn phone. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. All right, y'all, who next? Felicia, you got a 90 day? Mm. That was a good pep talk. So, Kai, what do you think about the pep talks? Hmm? What do I think? I Kai, I'm asking you again. I would they like your honest amazing. review. What do you think about the pet talk? I think they're amazing. They're wonderful. Hello. Hi, hey, friend. It's Coach Misty. You ready? Hi. Yes. Hi. 90 days. Listen, you say, when do I read for donations? <laughs> Girl, I read for light bills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you get a pep talk? That's one. All right. Let's get into it. April. Mm. April, friend, you and another female, April 15th to the end of the month, y'all gonna cut up. You hear me? Uh -huh. You and another female from April 15th to the end of the month, y'all gonna cut up. Friend, I'm proud of you. Have a fun, have fun, have a good time, okay? okay. That's all I got to say. When the police pull y'all over, have your story straight. Next, in the month of May, you're gonna go and travel somewhere. You are going, if this is your house out here, you're going straight down. So you're going south or your house is, you're gonna go for a weekend, a three-day weekend. Again, have a blast. God's preparing you to have an amazing summer going into the summer because in the fall, life is going to kick your ass. And I know this is a 90-day reading. Not your finances. You're going to lose people. You're going to lose people in the spiritual sense of them where they passing on. You're going to lose people physically where they separate from you. So but I, I know this is a 90-day, but I want you to have a blast. I want you to do whatever it is that you want to do. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Hold on, who the fuck is this in my comments? Did you get, oh, I asked because you said send a donation for a reason. No, I. you have to get in line, sis. Anywho, in the month of June, in the month of June, you are going to go in a full circle. So I know it's not around the world. It's not an around the world trip, but you are going to hit all of these different places. So let's just say you start at place A, right? Place number one on June 1st, you go out. The whole month, you're going to go on a full circle to the end of June. You're going to end up right back where you started. Um, it, it's almost like when you go in Costco's. It's almost like when you go in Costco's and you go around and get all the samples. And then you end up with the lady who had the, who had the sausage links. And you want another one. That's how your June is going to look like. You hear me? Is that you're going to start in place number one. And then you're going to go full circle and come back around. Amazing time. Amazing. And you're going to have some amazing food. Get you some stretchy pants in the month of June. What questions? You can ask me up to three questions. No lottery, no mediumship, no fertility. What do you want to know? You said I'm going to lose people? Yes. People are going to walk out your life and people are going to die in the fall. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I gotta tell you, I gotta give you what I see. I'm sorry, and that's one of the things I talked about the ladies in the shop today. You know what I'm no, saying? Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, I, I, this situation shit I'm in. I asked this guy not to contact me for a month. Will he contact me? Yes, he gonna contact you. You ask somebody to do something, he's doing it just to make just for you to go back on what you said. If you don't want nobody to contact you, block them. What's wrong? Hello? Confused. Confused about what? Do you want them or do you don't? Listen, if y'all want to deal with some bullshit, deal with some bullshit. Ain't nobody here to judge you. Okay? I was dealing with some bullshit. I knew it was bullshit, but I liked them a little bit. Right? And when I didn't want to deal with it no more, I didn't deal with it no more. Don't fight okay, your feelings. So that's exactly where I'm at. That, how, what you just said is how I feel. Okay, so if you want to deal with the boots up and deal with it, stop with the big dog. Ain't nobody here to judge you. You hear what I'm saying? Ain't nobody here to judge you. Okay. 
And when you're done, you'll be done. But at this point, telling him don't contact me for a month and all this stuff, putting yourself on restrictions or trying to put him on restrictions, that ain't doing nothing but bringing y'all closer together because all you're going to do is think about him. A wise man, a.k.a. Cookie, once told me, stop blocking me on your phone. That's unneeded energy. He said, and when you decide the day that you don't want to talk to me, you're going to have to block me. You'll see my number and just won't pick up. And that was the realest shit I heard all year, all that year. That was the realest shit he ever said to me and I was and I and I live by that now right if I'm blocking you that still mean that that means that I'm stopping myself from I'm stopping you from contacting me because I'm really stopping myself from contacting you if I don't want to hear from you no more I just don't want to hear from you you don't have to be blocked on my phone we don't have to do all that I just want to fool with you all right okay what else you want to know my son father my first son father he he was calling me from prison. He had a phone, and I have not. He have not been in touch with me. And that's not like him. Is something going on? Yeah, he in the hole. I need you to call up there and talk to the case manager. What else? Is he in trouble? He's in the hole. He had a damn phone. He ain't supposed to have a phone. He got caught. Uh, he okay. Got caught. All right, friend. Okay. What else? I have two teenage boys that is really, really, really love basketball. Will they be successful in it? The youngest one will. He'll play overseas. Okay. Okay. All right, friend. Anything else for hang up on you? Nope. I gotta do a personal with you. All right. Well, go online. You can use the I'm Coach Misty or this is CME.com and go on the book a personal. I'm here. And we can talk about anything okay. and everything, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, Tiffany, two truths and a lie. Yes. Yes. All right, y'all. Two truths and a lie. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, are we going to the office tomorrow or are we staying here? No, we probably need to stay here. I got shit to do. Hello? Hello? Tiffany, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Two truths and a lie. Statement number one. Within seven days, you're going to have your big toe in somebody's mouth. Mm. That's statement number one. Statement number two, you'll have three job offers by the end of the week. And today is Wednesday, so that'll be by Friday. Statement number three. Statement number three. Somebody's going to go half in, on, half in with you on a car in July. You just got to make sure that the, that the car is red. Which one is the lie? My toe in somebody's mouth. <laughs> Why is that the lie? Why can't you have your big toe in somebody's mouth? I, 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 I'm not like, I don't know, being sexual with nobody right now. I said within seven days. So they give you six days to figure that shit out. Yeah, but I don't want to put my toe in a stranger mouth. <laughs> That's why you ain't been sexual. Mm. <laughs> so you don't want to put your toe in nobody's mouth no i don't <laughs> you blocking your blessings so you feel like somebody is going to so have you been applying for jobs yes i really really have okay good job all right and have you is your favorite do you want a red car well i haven't thought about a car do you need a so car that might be the lie. do you but need a car you don't you know why you know why because if you put your foot if you put your big toe in this person's mouth that's the same one that's gonna go half in on the car with you i need you to see the bigger picture kai get your damn toe down i need you to see the bigger picture i need you to see the big picture here ma'am okay oh i didn't mean to hang up on her my bad hold on I ain't mean to hang up on her. Hold on, my fault. That was that wasn't like that. Huh? Okay. I ain't okay. mean to hang up on you, Stink. All right, friend. What question you want to ask me? I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you a new car. Shit, and your <laughs> and your, your toes ain't never been that clean before. Okay. <laughs> Look at Lovely. Tell about where he at, Coach. He can take my toe. Nobody wants that toe. Lovely, have you seen your toes? Mm mm. Come on, friend. What you want to know? Look, people trying to take your. People trying to take your your car, your toe, man. Mm. <laughs> okay, I um, I guess this will be reversed around like the job thing. Yeah. Because I'm um, I guess I'm trying to move back home. I'm trying to move, 
Um, because I'm trying to leave my baby daddy. So that's why I want the job. That's why I've been applying to jobs because I was trying to leave him. You won't leave him to the end of the summer. What else? Oh, shit. Maybe you put your so, toe in his mouth. Go ahead. What's next? So I'm not going to get the job? You're not going to leave him to the job? end of the summer. Oh, because I got to wait till my baby get out of school. But I am going to leave. You are going to leave. Yes, ma'am. What else you want to know? Okay. And um, when I leave, will I have my own place or will I stay with my mom and sister? You'll stay with your mom and sister for two weeks while your place is getting ready. Okay. Thank okay. You so You're welcome, friend. Thank you. Get off my phone. And bye. <laughs> I'll be trying to keep. I'll be trying to put y'all on the game. I'm trying to tell y'all go on and put your toe in this person's mouth and see how that's gonna work out for you. But no, nobody want to listen to Coach Misty. Nobody want to listen to me. I'm sitting up here telling y'all all kinds of stuff. People calling with all kinds of confirmations. And as soon as we talk about putting your feet on somebody's face, then it's a problem. Mmm. Okay, she had to bless my bill. She had two questions and a what the F three minute. I know you lying. I know you lying, Kai. You sitting up there yawning. And I'm over here surviving off of watered down Kool-Aid and ham and you want to yawn? Bitch, I kill you. All right, Kalana 90 day. I wish you would, you over here yawning and shit. And at 1041, and I got 74 motherfuckers to call, and you <laughs> look at ass. I know you lying. We over here burning midnight oil, and I'm over here sucking down water. Girl, you know, we got one more ring, and I'm going to go ahead and put you. Mm, she for tomorrow. Okay, she for the streets. Rosalind, you next. Y'all up here yawning and shit, stretching. Girl, if you don't wake up, it's game time. Don't look, look. Hey, I'm going to have you go downstairs and go get half of that thing real quick. I'm going to be like, ding, 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 ding. I ain't going to blink. What's up, Buttercup? You ready? I am ready. How are you? I'm good, friend. What's your one question? My one question. What's that confirmation to you, though? Mm -hmm. Hold on, friend. Let me get into it. Look, look, look. Okay, hold on. Let me put the time down. All okay. right. All right. What's the confirmation? Okay, you said I would move to Chicago and get a job at the university. I did in cancer research. My dilemma was I had to stop because I was harassed on the job by the trainer. 75 year old white man. What exactly did he say? And what was. I'm sorry. What like was it like 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 what kind of harassment racial or sexual? Oh no, he was just mean and rude. Oh okay, because I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh okay, it was that because I was gonna say. I mean, like you know. Anyway, no, friend. Okay. Look at me. I be trying to. I'm like you know. I mean. <laughs> All right, friend. So what happened? I did the job at the university. That was confirmed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm wondering what is my next move career wise. You left the university? Oh, Chicago, yes. Oh, God. Is there another university? You're going to work at another university. Really? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm with it. All right, friend. What other question you want to ask me? Um, you said you come to our wedding, so I ain't got to ask that. <laughs> hey, Stink. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right, friend. Yes, y'all got it. No, for real, y'all got it. Congratulations. Bye. Going to get another Bye. university. Hey, wait. Before you leave, listen. The, 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 there's a black woman that's the head of whatever department that you're applying for. Okay. You hear me? Okay. Yes. All right. So find it. Find the black woman. You got it. Okay. All right. Bye. You. you got it. Listen. Mm. Lord, these no. My nose is gonna be greasy as hell. Ain't no but ham juice on these things. I got Ashley. So Angela J did not send me a phone number, but she sent me a question. She said, is the foot surgery going to help? Yes, friend, the foot surgery is going to help, but I need you to take the rest that you need when you get the foot surgery because you're going to try to get up and do too much, and then you're going to strain the other foot. So yes, the foot surgery would help, but get the rest you need. 
Cindy said, what's next for love Love for me? I like men and women. So guess what? It is going to be a man and a woman, but they are not a couple. You actually are going to meet up with two other people and you are going to form a throuple. So you're not dealing with a couple. You're not the third wheel to a couple. It's going to be you. You're going to meet these people on hinge. It's you, a guy and a woman. You're going to meet the woman first. Right. And then y'all will meet the guy, but y'all not going to be a couple. Y'all going to be like friends. And y'all gonna decide, okay, babe, stop getting excited. Come on, come on now. Oh, she's the center. Oh, I don't know how this shit works. She the center? What you mean no, she the center? She's the center. She's the connecting piece. She's the connecting piece? Yeah, like a triangle. Like a, okay, so now you with the rock, now you Rockefeller, now you throwing up the diamond. Girl, fuck. Okay. So, anyway, I don't have time for this shit. Now you trying to show me. Did y'all know what a diamond look like? A triangle? I, I, I. I went to school. Why they call her the center? Listen, I ain't got time to be doing. Listen, <laughs> you know I like to do a rainbow, but Kai over here going doing poly, uh, parallelograms and and rhombus and shit. Cause well, if that's the center, then what am I? Listen, if that's the center, then what am I in my situations? What am I? Am I the line leader? What am I? If that if that shit is a diamond, what kind of shapes I got going on over here? Trapezoids? What, what am I doing over here? What shape am I, Kai? I'm an octagon? Mm, you just called me a hoe. Mm, oh, no, I'm an octagon. Girl, that's going to be my new thing. I'm not going to call people hoes no more. I'm going to call them octagons. Shut your octagon looking ass up. Okay? I'm going to text every dude I know. Oh, you out here being an octagon. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's the new word. That's my new code word for hoe. Joe Octagon ass. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, thank you. She said, she said I'm out here like an octagon. Huh? Hello. What's up, Buttercup? You got one question. How can I help you? Hey, Coach Missy. It's my first time. So hey, friend. Know. Welcome to Team CME. Welcome to the shit show. And what's up? Hey, <laughs> so let me know if this kind of question is not allowed, but I wanted to ask, um, will we be successful with IVF or should we move forward? Now, normally I don't do fertility, but I know you need this and there's a lot of money involved. You will be successful with IVF. It actually be two of them. Oh, two? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> It'd be two girls, and if you want to name one of them Misty, you feel feel free to. My offer still stands. <laughs> if anybody watching is naming their baby after me, I will buy a year's worth of Pampers and wipes, and I buy the good wipes as my granddaughter. Yes, okay, friends. I'm gonna let you get that. Yeah. So Misty is a beautiful name. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, friend, you got it. Bye. Don't none of y'all other hoes try it. I know she really needed to know. I like the first timers. This is dope as hell. All right, we got a lottery reading. Hold on, y'all. One second. Mm, I'm still, I'm still mad you called me an octagon. You said okay. Twelve applicants. You said. I told Jesus. I said, uh, no, you cannot name the baby. The middle name cannot be Misty. It got to be the first, first name Misty. Misty as a middle name is stupid. Your call the first. has been forwarded to vote. Oh, okay. Let's try that one more time. She might be asleep. Okay. Hello? What's up, Buttercup? You ready for this lottery reading? What you playing? Yes, ma'am. What you play? Pick four, pick three, and scratches. All right. Pick four, pick three, and scratches. Mm-hmm. All right, first of all, let's get into the pick threes. The numbers I give you are actually good for the next 30 days, anytime, anywhere. I just want you, don't get them with you when you're with your brother. Somebody at to let them know how to get on the list for tomorrow. Don't get them when you're with your brother, okay? Okay. All right, let's get into it. So, um, okay, so the pick threes is going to be 324, 776. Five zero eight and one two one. Okay. All right. You ready for the next uh, pick? You say pick fours. Uh huh. Zero four nine two. Zero four nine zero four. two. Okay. Three seven three eight. Uh huh. Twenty two twenty four. Okay. 
All right, it's 0070. 0070. Yes, ma'am. You ain't got no you ain't got no night night for this baby. Yes, I do. Where the night night at? Uh, on the dresser right here. Girl, you don't anoint this child. In the name of Jesus. Let me actually just woke up about an hour. Oh, okay. He just woke up. All right, yep, friend. One powerball, power one mega million. Okay, Sting Sting. One powerball, one mega million. And I'm gonna go ahead and if anything we miss, just send me a text, okay? All right. Oh, scratch it. Oh, scratch off the three, four, five, and seven. Three, four, five, and seven. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, y'all said, where's this baby at? Anoint this child at night night. Huh? Anoint this baby at night night. Portia, Al, Ruby, Shannon, Brittany, and Belle. Y'all up next. Mm. In the name of Jesus, we had a victory. Let me see if I can show y'all a picture of Zen Zen on Easter. Let me see if I save the picture. Let me see. Okay, you know what that means. Your call has been forwarded. All right, if y'all want to know what the price list is for tomorrow, I'm going to show y'all that. I was trying to find a picture of Zen Zen. Y'all can get these same. What's up, LaTroy? Y'all can get these same. I saw you said your thing. Y'all can get these same prices tomorrow. Send it to the Cash App. Take a screenshot. You can get in line tomorrow. Send it to the Cash App. All right. Let's call Al. Did he tell you which one to refund? Mm -mm, you said you don't have some when, you, when he calls. Is what you said? No, I said ask him. I did. He was asking. Karen oh. said she want a refund. Who was Karen? Excuse me? Hello? Somebody, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hold on one second. I have to call Portia. Karen, you want a refund for what? From where? Oh, she's telling me to refund her. I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. Al, which 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 cash app are we sending back? Oh, neither. I I told um we're not gonna do either. So one of the one of those cash apps are going to be mentoring for for my mom. And then another one is the other cash app is for oils for the church members. Do you want to get oils for everybody at church? Yes, it's uh, yeah, it's I need five oils. You want five oils for yourself? No, 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 no. The people at the church want it. Oh, at your church? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I didn't know what was I, going on. I, I All was right. Spraying, I was spraying my my tithe, my tithe envelope with favorite mist and money oil, and the the, the old ladies wanted to know what it was, so I had to. Do a little broadcast at church at the Bible study. All right, your mama get twelve minutes, twelve uh four twelve minute sessions. You have to send me her phone number. What questions okay, you need? What questions you need? Um, question, question, question. Oh no no no! So I I did I want to do the two truths and a lie. That's what I want. That's what. All I right, cool. We can do that. <laughs> Yes, chick for me. Ooh, you ready? Yes, all of us are alive. Yes. Go ahead, Father God. All right. Your husband got a baby on the way. I know that's a <laughs> Can I finish, please? Can yes, I finish? Please. Can I finish? Y'all take a screenshot of that. Can I finish? Your husband got a baby on the way. Okay. Your husband got a baby on the way. Your mama didn't met a new man. Okay. And you're going to win 10000 at the casino. Yeah, probably that first and then that second one. That's a lie. What's a lie? It's only one of them is a lie. So the first one about my husband having another baby, yeah, he ain't fishing in that pond no, uh, no, no time. So, um, And then my mom, she trying to get rid of her situation. She ain't right now, so I know she ain't met nobody. You don't know shit. <laughs> she would have told me. You don't that's know nothing. Trying, that's why she's trying to talk to you now, because she's trying to see what's going on. You don't know nothing. Next, what else? And what was the other one I told you? You're going to win 10000 at the casino. Yeah, I believe it, because I'm always in there doing something. All right. Oh. Your husband don't have another baby on the way. 
Mm-hmm. However, he wants to adopt a baby. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Okay. That was funny. He said, I know that's a lot. He ain't been fishing <laughs> in that pond. Hey, don't be over here talking about these waters. Okay. <laughs> okay. I listen. I, I didn't brought men back from interracial dating. I might be listen. I'm gonna deliver them one way or another. Okay. Okay, friend. What else you wanna know? What you wanna ask me, y'all? That's the price list. Y'all can still use this price list, but tomorrow, send it through Cash App with your phone number. What you wanna ask me? Anything else? Um. So this second season, I'm trying to uh, think about getting started within the next couple of months about the mobile. Um, DNA testing, like the drug tests and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I think, I think, okay, cool. I think I was going to get it started, like, through my LC in Dallas. Yeah, you can. That's actually something I was thinking about doing in my office in one of the mm-hmm. rooms. So that's something you want to work on. We can talk about that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was I, um, talking with a lady today. Getting, she's going to get my LC and all that started. So, yeah, once you I get started, no. we'll, um, we'll wake up. All right, cool. No problem. You got it. Y'all do it a foul. Bye. All right, Ruby, you next. Listen. Okay, he's talking about I ain't fishing in them pond no more. You don't know what's going on. I'm out here delivering people every day. Hello. Hey, it's Coach Misty, friend. You got a question. How can I help you? Hi, Coach Misty. This is my first time. So. Yay, first timers. Woo, 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 woo. All right, friend, what you got? Okay, I want to have a weight loss surgery. I want to know if it'll be successful if I do it. Hell no, nah, you got to stop eating. Uh, <laughs> friend, it. you eat you eat when you happy. You eat like, you you got, I, I can say that because I'm skinny fat now. You, you It really brings you joy. You got to be, look at you laughing and shit. What's the last good meal you had? Look at you. Oh my god. What's the last good meal you had? Mm. Oh, but I didn't make some enchiladas. I just made enchiladas. First of all, any black person that make enchiladas, you got a food addiction. You too, Kai. You have a food addiction, okay? So here's the deal. You get weight loss surgery, but baby, you love food. You need to find another way to spread that energy, spread that love. Whether it's cooking for somebody else or Whatever the case may be, or, or or making food on the weekends and selling it or giving away, but you you gotta you gotta find something else because you you have a, a sincere love of food and it's not even bad. It's just that you know you can put that shit down. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So you need to find another way to 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 send that energy. Y'all still need yeah. to hold this up or no? You need to find another way what to do with that energy. All right. You want to ask me anything else before we go ahead and go to the next person? Um, can I ask you one more question? Sure, go ahead, honey. Bro. With my current relationship, uh-huh. is it gonna, what do I need to do? <laughs> this is this is for real though. Like need to do it what? what? What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What is it that you want? I don't know. We've been together like fourteen. So there's that's what it is. So as long if you don't know, nobody else knows. If you don't know, don't nobody else know. So you need to sit down and decide what it is that you want from this relationship. And what's happened is you're going to be surprised that they actually want the same thing, too. They was just waiting on somebody to make a decision. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, friend. But listen, be fat, be happy, and eat good. Fuck it. <laughs> okay? Y'all be y'all see motherfuckers over there. Let me know when dinner coming up, okay? All right. Bye, friend. <laughs> Shit. Y'all have to be motherfuckers over there, okay? Okay. Portia. Now listen, you should answer the goddamn phone when I called. What's the question, I Portia? Why did you the phone didn't ring when you said What's that? the fucking question? I, I I'm depressed today, coach. About what? I don't know. I'm just I'm just lonely and I have been blessed with this whole money box. Things have been happening and things is great, kinda of, sorta, of, but I'm just I don't know. So what is it that you feel like you're missing out your life? A husband. Okay, so you ready for your husband? I am. Okay, when you get married. Like when you get husband. married. When you get married. We're going to manifest this shit. When you get married. Next year. Next when year. next year? When? Uh, 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 by December. By December uh, of next year? Uh-huh. So you want to get married on New Year's Eve or what? Mm, my birthday, Christmas Eve. So you want to get married on Christmas Eve? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Uh, so pick the day you want to get married. 
But we about to get delusional. What day you gonna get married? I don't know. Ain't no sense in getting delusional shit. I'm Why not? Married. Why too? I'm a real one. No, getting delusional and saying that's it. I'm not saying delusional as it is not happening. I'm saying like this is the faith that the Lulu faith. So when do you want it? I I said that I I put it on Facebook. Facebook is like my magical uh, uh, chalkboard. I put on Facebook that I was going. I put on Facebook last year that I was going to be in Christmas. On Christmas, I was going to be in pajamas with somebody's son. Right. Then had no idea who it was. I was in pajamas with somebody's son and his son and my son. We all was in matching pajamas. Right. I, anything I put on Facebook, I say it's going to happen. It happened because I'm putting it out there, right? Delusional right. faith. Boom. I said I was going to marry somebody's son. I put that on to the other day. People was laughing at my crazy ass. I said, I'm going to marry somebody's son. I'm going to be married by my birthday. I don't know who it is. I'm audition. So let the auditions begin, right? right? Listen, so let the auditions begin. Guess what? I have been, I got so many dudes calling me, hitting me up. I got all kind of dates, okay? A uh, Starbucks date, date dates, a uh, 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 sleepover tomorrow, like all kind of stuff. Let the games begin. You live in Dallas. I that has nothing to do. As long as you believe that the dating pool is empty, it will be it shall be empty. That's a that's a mind thing. You know that, Portia. Yeah, you out of all people is wild. So if you want a husband by next year, you'll have a husband by next year. You need to sit down and write it out like anything else you've done in your life. Sit down and write it out. You weren't even supposed to be a free woman. You should have still been locked up in jail, but you knew that you was coming home. I need you to have that same type of faith. You went all the way deep down and got in my business. You better come out of here. You better down know where I'm supposed to be free. Right. So you knew, when, but you knew that jail cell wasn't gonna hold you. You knew that. Cause my faith was unstoppable. Right. So it let your faith be unstoppable about, about this. Faith. So stop saying, "Oh, ain't nobody out seven here." Seven years, seven years of time. I knew in the beginning I wasn't ready. I had to heal emotionally. I, I've come a long way, but now I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready to give what I. I okay, I, so say it and go outside and and do be on your Snow White shit. Uh, in this white ass town, I hate it. Okay, well, listen. As long as you feel like that, ain't shit gonna come to you. Nothing at all. Anything else you want to talk about? Before I hang up on you. Goodbye, man. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love you, boo. Okay, somebody loves you, baby. Okay. When I tell you, when I tell you, I've been meeting them. They all been fine. I got blast from the past coming back. New ones. They uh, delicious and nutritious. I said what I said, I'm gonna be married next year. My husband not gonna play about me at all. Every man that I have talked to with one thing in common, every man that I've come in contact with since I put that shit out there on Facebook, do not play. Isha, do not play about me. What's up, Buttercup? You wanna coach Misty? How can I help you? What's going on, coach? How are you? I'm good, how are you? You got a confirmation for me? I do, you know I do, you know I do. Ew, let me get my time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, we them boys. Mm. Let me get my time on here. Come on. So on Sunday, um, I asked a question about if I should play the Powerball with the Mega Million. You said play the Powerball. I played it Tuesday. I got one number. It was number 19, but then I played the game today. And I actually hit one of the Powerballs. The only thing that I hit on my scratch I won like $12 off the Powerball. I need you to stop playing. I need you to start playing. Keep playing. Listen, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying because I'm trying to hold on to the face there, friend. Keep playing. Look on the back of the ticket. See how much it is that you hit. What is it, like two numbers in the Powerball? See how much that is. Budget that out. You said two numbers in the Powerball? Mm -hmm. See how much it is if you hit two numbers in the Powerball. Budget that out. I need you to keep playing. Because, see, I know oh, you. I know you, I know you're going to run me, huh? That number's small, too. It don't matter. You're going to keep doing that. You got it. It's working your faith up. It's working. You, you, you listen, you making plans for what it is that you want. Blessings come in intervals. That's the next step. And I know if you hit the mega millions of Powerball, I know you're going to give me my 10%. These other raggedy motherfuckers. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Hit the mega million Powerball. Bro, bro. Okay. That's what you got to do. What else you want to ask me? Um, just bought it. I really need some money. Okay. How much money do you need? You can win $500 off of scratch offs tomorrow. You need to buy a seven and an eleven. Um, go to the gas station that you've been going to before. If it's not a male at the, if it's not a man working behind the counter, a slim one, it's not for you. Walk out. 
Okay. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Tomorrow? tomorrow. If it's not a male behind the counter, it's not for you going to walk out. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Mm, Detroit, I know you just hung up, but the ticket is not a long one. It's going to be one of the square ones. The ticket you buying is not the long tickets with all the different things you scratch off. It's one of the square ones, okay? All right. Okay, y'all. Jesus, I don't even know who I'm calling no more. All right, we got Shannon, Brittany, Belle, Larney, Gwen, Kim. Y'all, the next one that's coming up. God damn it. We be, I'll be out here fighting for my life. Some of y'all going to get called tomorrow. At this point, I think I'm going to go and look. And then I'm going to call some of y'all tomorrow. So we are going to go to midnight. After midnight, that's why it's important to get in line. Everybody going to get called tomorrow. The people that get called tomorrow, I'll give you an extra question. What's up, Buttercup? Hey. Hey, friend. Um, what's up? You got a question. What's going on? Yeah. Um, one of the um, questions at the end, I asked was, um, I, a friend getting out of prison. You said, yes, but it's not going to be good for anybody. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's going to get back in. No, he's not, it's not going to be good for nobody about your friend getting out of prison. Because, thank you, Tisha, because your friend is going to be a menace to everybody oh, involved. Oh. Yeah, that's what that is. It's going to, it's going to, he's going to stress everybody out here to stress me out answering the question. Mm. 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 What else you want to know? Let me give you one more while I'm looking at something. What else? Okay. Um, so I need to walk away from it. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Thank what you. else? Okay, friend, you got it. Bye. All right. Y'all, right. yeah, let me write this down. Hold on. I'm going to say, I said I was going to talk to, I said I was going to talk to 50 people today. And then, so y'all, that's going to be the cutoff. We're going to do 50 people a day. Uh, I'm Lenore, you are still on the list. I hope you be up um, for your two truths and a lie. And let me go ahead and call the next person. All right. Um, who was that? Okay, Brittany Bell, Brittany Bell, Larnie, Gwen, Kim, Tamiko. Y'all coming up next. What is it, Kai? Talk to me. What is it, Kai? You're not, Kai, you're not your same uh, chill for self. What is going on? Wake your ass up. Just you to What'd they say? Nothing. Hello? Yeah, friend, you, all right, friend, you ready? What you got for me? Uh, my question is more so, um, I've been having a, a deeper feeling about my father, and I really want to know his is the person that passed my dad. Yes. That's lightweight medium shit, but yes, it is. Okay. All right. All right. Thank All you. right. I'm doing medium shit tomorrow if you want to try to talk to him, okay? Okay. Thank All you. right. You're welcome. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Who was that? That was Brittany. Bell, you up next. You got two questions. Baby, we about to, we about to rock and sock them. Shit. Mm-mm. So what time are you getting up in the morning, Kai? I got all kind of calls. I got to be up at 7 to answer. I got a phone call at like 7 o'clock in the morning. And I got to look at my appointments and try to get them together with people booked. And... Mm. Hello. What's up, Belle? You got two questions. What you what you got for me? I'm going to do that um, tonight. I'm just one of them. I'm, I'm going to be all right in court. Are you going to be all right in court? Yes. What you mean are you going to be all right in court? You're going to be all right. I'm not even going to make you explain. Yes, ma'am, you're going to be all right in court. What else you want to ask me? I'm going to be all right after court. <laughs> you'll be all right after, after court. court. Is all over with. Yes, ma'am, you'll be all right after court as well. Anything okay. else? No, this all. All right, friend. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Bye. All right, y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Who next? All right, Larney, you didn't send me a couple things, Larney. I think you didn't send me a, you sent me an order, you sent me a Zelle, y'all. We're not gonna do Zelle no more. It's too complicated. So please do not Zelle me after the day. Now wait a damn minute. Hold on, Larney, you didn't did all this and gave me a number, and it's not the right number. Jesus.
Larnie, are you watching this? I'm going to try this number one more time. This is the number you put in here. I'm sorry. But the oh, okay. You got it. All right, Gwen, you up next. I say, you got what? What? What I do? Huh? You got it. I ain't hey, listen. I be telling people get in line early, don't I? Okay, that shit ain't working. I be telling people get in line early. That's what I say. Y'all get in line. Y'all want to get in line for tomorrow and people be in. Eh. And then when I send out that raggedy ass email, here they come. Because it's raggedy. Hello? Hi, Hi, friend. You ready? Now she want to call back. What's up, Miss Gwen? I'll call her back in a minute. You got lottery. What you playing? Wait a damn minute. Hold on. Hey, this Coach Misty. Hello? Yes, ma'am. So I had called a couple times and the call wasn't going through. I called somebody else. You can either hold on and let me do her lottery and I'll come back to you. I'll call you back. Okay, I'll hold on. For okay, me. hold on for me. All right. All right, friend. What you playing? Um, I play three, four, five. All right, the fives are they zero through nine? Uh, yeah, zero through nine. Okay, you got your pen and paper ready? Yeah, playing. Yes. All right, let's get into it. Let's do them fives first. You ready? Uh huh. Five, five, four, three, two. Six, seven, eight, nine. You play six, seven, eight, nine on play six, seven, eight, nine on Wednesdays only. Uh, yep, on Wednesdays only. Six, seven, eight, nine on Wednesday only. Okay. Okay. All right. I also want to play three, three, two, one, four. Yeah, three, three, two, one, four. Okay. Uh huh. All right, who is this saying she paid what? Oh, put on a thing. We're going to refund Rosalind. She said she want to refund for mentoring. She don't want to do it. So put that on the list of Rosalind Perry. So listen, y'all, once, so I'm going to say this and say that. If you do something like that, because I'm going to have to send it to you through Apple Pay. Once we once we refund you, don't sign up for no more of my mentoring. You won't be able to sign up for that service again. Okay? So, Miss Perry, if you're listening, you won't be able to sign up for that service again. All right. So, let's go and do your pick four. Is you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Pick four is going to be four, four, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Two, four, nine, eight. Mm -hmm. One, eight, seven, six. One, eight, seven, six. Six. Yes. All right, you ready for your pick threes? Yes, ma'am. Pick three is going to be three, three, two. Mm. Why you say that? Mm. Three, three, two just came out. That's okay. Play it again on Friday. Okay. Okay, play it again on Friday. All right. And then you're going to play five, eight, seven. Mm -hmm. And two, five, six. All right. All right, friends. Scratchers are one, two, and five. One, two, and five. Put six on there too. One, two, five, six. Gas station only. Oh, gas station. Okay. Yes, and you can play these numbers for the next thirty days, anytime. All right, how you been? Huh? How have you been? I'm good. Yeah, I'm. I'm all right. Yes, yes ma'am. Yep, working hard. Okay. All right, friend. Thank you so much. And 10%. Yeah. And bye. All right, hold on. We got this other call. All right, friend. You ready? Turn me down on whatever you watch me on. Okay, I did. All right, cool. Now, you, what did you zail me for? First time, uh, I zailed you for the two truths and a lie. Ooh, let's get into it. You ready? Yes. Two truths and a lie. Let's go. 
First statement is, there's a man down the street that needs to talk to you. Not because he's attracted to you. It's because he thinks that you all are related. Number two, number two. You're going to be in a car accident. It's going to knock the front of the car off. You're not going to be hurt real bad. It's just going to be a little banged up, but you'll be able to get the car that you always wanted. Number three. The husband that you need is on the way by the end of this year. Which one is the lie? The last, the husband that I need is on his way. Why is that a lie? Because I already have a husband. Okay. How long y'all been married? 33 years. Okay. All right. The car accident one is actually the lie. Oh, uh, huh? The car accident one is actually the lie. Oh, no. I said it's the lie. It's the lie. So. You know why she said, oh, no. I know. Anywho. Oh. Mm. Now, let's get into what else did you have? You want, you got a 90 day? And you got yeah. Lotto. Let's do this Lotto first. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Let's do the Lotto. What you play? I play Daily 3, Daily 4, Power, and Mega. Oh, you are Ash a professional. Rapid. I play all the You're stuff. a professional. What does your husband play? <laughs> he plays um, Powerball. Okay. I'm going to give you something for both of y'all. You ready? Yes. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. So, Daily 3s. I need you to play these Monday through Friday, um, midday and evening, no morning. Midday and evening? No okay. morning, okay? Okay. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Three, three, four, seven, six, seven. Seven, six, seven. One, five, six. One, five, six. Two, five, two. Two, five, two. Zero, okay. 12, and zero, 12. And zero twelve. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Pick yes. you ready for daily four? Yes. Zero zero three nine. Zero zero three nine. Two six three seven. Two six three seven. Four five four six. Four five four six. One one two seven. One one two seven. Zero nine zero eight. Zero nine zero eight. Tell your husband to get four power balls this Friday. Okay. Let me see you and then let's go ahead and do for you for the Mega Millions. You need to buy six Mega Millions on Mondays and six Mega Millions on Sundays. Six on Monday and six on Sunday. Yep. Because mm -hmm. I know you're looking for that just to, that, to really retire and buy whatever it is that you want and have a seat. See, there's people yeah. like you that win. I know. It's people like you that be the ones that win. And you be like, oh my God. And he's like, I can just do what we want to do. Now I just travel the world. All that good <laughs> stuff. I love it. What <laughs> else do you play? I know. Yeah. What else Baby, do you play? I'm gonna mm -hmm. fall out. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just be get ready to fall. Listen, Kai, just just catch the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to hit the floor, though. I'm going to fall on this hardwood floor. At that point, I can afford to take a nap, okay? <laughs> I probably need to knock my damn self out anyway. All right, friend, what else do you play? I, um, that's uh, Scratchers. Scratchers. You ready? Three, four, five, six, and seven. And then let your husband get number eight. You play three, four, five, six, seven at a gas station or a grocery store and let your husband get number eight <coughs> from a gas station only. Gas station only? Mm -hmm. Okay. You ready? Oh, but it's yeah. 90 days? Yeah. For the month of April, you are going to win about $5,000. Does your husband drive you? I drive. You drive? Maybe you're going to okay. be in shock because he's driving the car. You're going to win $5,000. You want to go to the lottery office before the end of the month. Oh. Okay. In May, you're going to have a female, uh, the, the younger female that comes to your house to visit, but they really want to stay. <laughs> Girl, you about to make me choke. That, that, ain't, that, that ain't happening. <laughs> okay. 
And then, the, and then the month of June, remember I said you're going to get the husband that you need? Uh-huh. Your husband's going to get a little pep in his step. You Your husband's going to get a little pep in his step. You hear me? Uh, a, 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 I, I got you. You got, you got me? You know where I'm coming from? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's going to be brand new all over. She said brand new all over again. Yes, ma'am. What questions would you like? That took me all the way back. Uh, Okay. You can tell it too. Okay, okay. yeah. (laughs) Woo. Okay, friend. What? What question you want to ask me? I ain't got nothing else to ask. <laughs> I'm about to ask, ma'am, bye. Good night. Bye. That was a good, baby, listen. I know it was. I know it was. I know. I know. She was like, what? What do you mean? Baby, listen. Baby, she, that took her back. Back down memory lane. Mm-hmm. Baby, she said, okay. Shit, she, she, she about to rub. <laughs> Let me shut up. Let me shut up. <laughs> Let me shut up, Lord. Let me be quiet, baby. She about to rub on old Leonis today. Okay. She, she said, I don't know if I can wait till June. I, listen, she about, what is a, what's the honey pack, y'all? Somebody tell me that. Kim, Tamika, Traquan, and Ramona, Lashana, Takesha. That sounds like a girl group from the projects. Uh, what is a honey pack? Can somebody tell me what the honey pack do? It's an aphrodisiac. What don't you know, Encyclopedia Brown? You know all of it. It's an aphrodisiac. They sell it at the gas station. You can, but that's not the real one. So where you get the honey pack from? The real one? From the next Easter. Mm. Hello. Hello. Can I get? Do I take the honey pack or do they take the? Hold on a second. We're trying to find oh. out about a honey pack. I am too. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we inquiring minds want to know. They say honey pack is basically eat them. It's a liquid pack of honey. It has some type of aphrodisiac in it to help people perform. So do do the men oh. take the honey pack or do can it's, I take a honey pack? Oh, the men do. It's the men who take it. What happens if I take How, the honey pack? Well, however, there was a study with women that took um, Viagra. And what happened with the women that took Viagra? Got them all Oh my God! Let me get a prescription. Let me get a. It also caused extensive blood rush to go to their clits, and that was very painful. Oh, okay. I was gonna. Enough. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, but the honey pack. You said I can get that tomorrow. Both parties can take the honey pack, so mm-hmm. it's on Amazon. Mhm. Let me see. I. Okay. Okay, friend, we get friend, we're gonna get us some honey pack. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can just get some honey and bless it for y'all. Is that what we doing? Uh, hmm. Hmm. You gonna make honey pack? I'll make a honey pack. Somebody gotta test it out. <gasps> mm, I'm gonna get some honeys and strawberries. And I'm gonna do it for my situation. Mmm. I'm going to see if this honey do what it do. They're talking about I'll do it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm sorry. We all on wrong shit. 90 day forecast. You ready? I am ready. All right, friend. In the month of April, I see you and a friend going to help other women. You and a female friend are helping other women. So if you have thought about going to like some type of um, women's shelter or just giving back, now is the time to do it. Also, start collecting clothes to give. You need to you need to be in charge of like a clothing drive, even if it's really small. Okay. Mm. Why are you say mm? No, because I had just went to church and were saying that that I wanted to clean out my closet and I didn't want to take them to Salvation Army because I don't want them to sell it, but I wanted to give it to like a, a woman's shelter or women that need clothes for work, um, where they could get them for free, but it'll benefit them and they can start over. Well, look at God. That's what you're supposed to do with one of your friends at the church. Y'all going to do it. Okay. All right. All right. In the month of May, you're going to, so here's the deal. Your, your next 90 days are all about giving back and doing community service. In the month of May, you're going to go ahead and, and make sandwiches and stuff and just hand them out. 
It's going to be around Mother's Day. Oh. Just make sandwiches and chips and some fruit snacks and stuff and hand them out. Okay? This time you'll have more. It, it won't be two. It'll be four of y'all this time. What's wrong? Nothing. Fred, you crying? <laughs> Just go ahead. Okay, all right. And in the month and in the month of June, in the month of June, um the, the pastor or whatever at your church is going to ask you to like start up something, start up a new mission at the church. That's really what your calling is. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I do. <laughs> okay. That's great. That's good, friend. What questions you want to ask me? Oh, no, 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 no. I no, mean, I know it's tears about... of joy. What question you want to ask me now? Yes, yes. Oh, oh my question is, um, my client yesterday, you said about a woman being with me until um, she passes. And I just want to know if my client is going to live um, throughout this year. She's yeah, she'll celebrate too. Christmas with you and stuff. Okay. Christmas and okay. New Year's, but then her health will decline at the beginning of 2025. Okay, yes, but yes, everything you're saying, I, um, I'm i a giving person, and I know that that's my calling mm -hmm. uh, to give, um, but I don't know if this is the church that I'm supposed to be at. Um, that's the only <coughs> problem. But it's the church that you're supposed to start your mission because the people that come through that church is, and then that, that is where you're going to help. It's not so much about the church. It's the people that you're going to come and encounter with. They're... they're the people who are going to help you with these missions are the people at that church. I ain't worried about the leadership. Okay, right, right, exactly. Okay. Okay, thank All you. All right, so you're welcome, much. friend. You got it. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Bye. That was dope, y'all. All right, who next? It takes me all the way. Tamiko, let's see if you up. And I want you to stay. Hey, y'all, I'm about to cut off this, uh, the Instagram. I want to thank you, everybody, who joined me on Instagram. If you're watching it, come join me on uh, YouTube. I am Coach Misty. But the Instagram, I'll probably be cutting off in 15 minutes anyway. What's up, baby girl? You got this 90 days. You ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ooh, you are so a messy. Oh, uh, yikes. All right, so you're going to be in a messy situation for the next six weeks. Um, it's some he say, she say, not that you started it, but you damn sure are gonna finish it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, and it's involving uh, a couple, some folks that you know, and they both come to you telling you stuff, and you're gonna be in the middle of it. Then a third party is gonna come and start telling you some things, all right? And you're gonna have no good poker face. So when somebody asks you something, it's gonna be written all over your face, Aaron Hall. Don't look that up, okay? So that's that. Uh, in the month of, in the month, Mother's Day is going to be amazing for you. Uh, no worries about that. Um, get ready to receive flowers. Just remember that flowers upon flowers upon flowers. I'm not talking about verb, like verbal flowers. Like, oh, like, oh, you so great. I'm talking about like literal flowers. It's going to be dope. In the month of June, in the month of June, I see you in a pool. I see you going somewhere where there's a pool. Not a pool party so much, say. You somewhere you're in your bathing suit and there's a pool and you're gonna meet a guy there. You're with a woman and you're gonna meet a guy there and y'all gonna have some very intriguing conversations. This is not a love interest, but this is a person who will be able to be your friend and be able to help you in the long run when it comes to making certain decisions on business. What questions do you have for me? Um, first of all, when I move. Yes, you will move. You'll move by the end of June. Okay. Um, the second one is as far as business. I do, I wear many hats, but I'm trying to um, narrow it down. So that man that you meet in June going to help you with that. What's your third question? My third question, um, my son plays football, but we're having some issues. Will, and I took him out of school um, this semester. Um, and I, I kind of feel like that was a bad decision. It was a bad decision. It was? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep, it was. All right. So try to okay. get that together as soon as possible. Okay. All right. All I right. No problem. You. Thank you. Love you too. Bye. Oh, I needed that. She told me she loved me. I needed that. Like people be needing that. Like I be needing that. That's why I tell people I love them because you never know when the last time somebody heard that. So thank you for that. I love you too, friend. All right. Uh, Trey Quan. Oh, two truths and a lie. This is involving a pit bull and somebody baby daddy.
No, really, it is a pit bull in this one. Hello? Hey, it's Coach Missy. You ready? Yes. Now, I told you I got something that's involving the pit bull and the baby daddy. You ready? Choo choo, turn me down on whatever you're watching me on. What's that in the background? Okay, turn down. All right, got you. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so boom. You are going to have a baby that breeds pit bulls. That's number one. That's that's one of the statements, two truths and a lie, right? Right. Okay, all right. So um, the next one is your mother is going to have to come live with you. The third one is you're going to get fired from your job, but you, you'll get fired from your job they end up getting rehired within six months. Which one is the lie? The third one. The third one is the lie? Yes. Okay, why do you think the third one is a lie? Because I'm currently not working. Right, it is. So you like dudes with pit bulls, that's what we doing? No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you. <laughs> yes, you do. You have a baby daddy with pit bulls. That's what it was before I called you. I said, this one involving a baby daddy and pit bulls. Mm. What would you do if you knew what was coming? Friend, what you want to ask me? Um, well, confirmation, my mother already um, staying with me. Um, I'm still stuck on this baby daddy and pit bulls. But ain't nothing wrong with that. They ain't got to be at the house. What else you want to, what, what, what you want to know? Come on, friend. Um, so I have a, a older son that's in college, he's a junior, so yes. when he get out of school in May, will he um, get a job in May? Yes, he will get a job in May, absolutely. Okay, and when will the love of my life find me? Oh my God, the love of your life is already around you. <clears throat> Go to the corner store tomorrow. Go to the store. You hear okay. me? Go to the store tomorrow. They'll okay. bump into you. Literally bump. Literally bump into you. Okay? Okay. All right, friend. You got it. All right. All okay. right. Bye. You're welcome. Now, okay. that one girl. What you mean? And you know where your love of your life is. Mm. Ooh, belching. See, I know I'm on some bullshit. <laughs> oh, I was on some bullshit. Belching like that. No, I was see. trying to see. Huh? Same with you. Say. You don't want me to say what I'm gonna say, baby. Don't say what you gonna say. Oh, you get spicy, then the spice has arrived. You said what? You wanted me to get spicy earlier because I was sitting here quiet. Now, spice has arrived. The next love of your life already got somebody. Portia, don't be in my comments with that bullshit to my why can I get a clear answer? You did get a clear answer. That was a clear answer. It was a really I did it went with Portia. Let me tell you something, Portia. Portia, this is this is Kai. Your story is so amazing to me. Every time you call in and you give your testimony, do you know how much that just gives me goosebumps to hear what you went through? Your testimony is amazing. If you can overcome that, ain't nothing in this world that can stop you from doing anything, anytime, anywhere. Do you know how many people can't even make it two hours with the situation that you dealt with? You better come on and cut it out. And that's from the book of Kai. Mm. Period, Pooh. Thank you. Because I don't understand. People be like, why can't I get a clear answer? But Portia do that shit. Portia getting her getting her little funky moves and then she want to call up in here. And then if I don't give her what she's looking for, then, you know, she got something to say. I ain't got time for all that. Mm, who next? Listen, did you finish the book that you was writing? Mm, I didn't finish two of them. I got to go to the one of the stories first. I have to lay that shit out. The story.
story is done so we can go ahead and finish the book. I'm ready to type it. You ready to type the book? Yeah. I love you too, Portia. Hello. Hey, it's Coach Missy Friend. You still up? Hey, Coach Missy. Hey, Sting. Looking ass. All right, friend. You got Lotto. What you playing? It's fun. Girl, what the fuck? Get your, get your pen and paper out. I don't know why my phone is crazy. What's you mean? What's wrong? Okay, good. You got it? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. You want to start with cash three or cash four? Uh, four. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Three, three, seven, two. All right, all right, all right. Four, five, seven, six. Three, seven, two. Four, five, seven, six. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> Ninety-three, eleven. Ninety-three, eleven. Okay. Mm-hmm. Four, zero, five, four. Four, zero, five, four. Mm-hmm. Seven six eight seven. All right, all right. All right. What else you play? Pick three. You ready for the pick threes? Mm -hmm. Four three seven. Two seven one. Five eight six. Mm -hmm. Four seven eight, and that's it. That's it. You don't do no scratch offs. Sometimes I do. Do one, do one, four, and seven. Gas station only. One, four, seven. I gotta go to the gas station. Yes, ma'am. All right, and then I think I already called Erica. That's why she had two questions. I had called her already. Okay. And then uh, we are going to do one Powerball, one Mega Million every Monday for the rest of the month. Mm hmm All right. And then uh, anything else? That's it. That's, That's it. Play those for the next yeah. seven. Play them numbers. Play, play the pick threes for the next seven days, evening only. No midday. Seven Okay. All right, yeah, all right. All right, friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. All right, y'all. LaShonda. So there was a lady, LaShonda Isley. Let me check back and see if she sent me her phone number on Cash App. There was a lady, LaShonda, uh, LaShonda Isley. I needed her phone number. No, she didn't. So I'll have to mail her. She had a lotto. Takesha, Takesha, you got a lot. You got to bless my bill, two questions. And, ooh, y'all get to see a what the fuck for three minutes, a what the fuck session. You get to see it. I'm so happy. I hope she's still up. She, You get to see a what the fuck session. Mm. You sent me your number. Where did you send it to? Uh -huh. What's up, friend? Hi, girl. Hi, girl. First, let's do this. Bless my bill. What is it that you're looking for, God? To, what, what do you need me to manifest, help you manifest for in the next 30 days? Um, more income. How so much more? My What's the price? I'm, What's the thing? $7,500. $7,500? Yes. Okay, to pay bills? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Okay, one second. I'm writing it out for you, okay? Okay. All right. Girl, don't be in Walmart trying to do no slip and falls, okay? <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Girl, I ain't going into the grocery store now. Like, I'd be doing grocery good delivery, but now I won't be there. Okay, that's 75. Listen, that's 75. Be, uh, that'd be a little different. Hold on, who said something? They said this is interesting. Her vibe is different. I usually don't look at these, but I can't stop watching. You welcome, welcome to the shit show. All yeah. right, all right, friends. So we got to bless my bill. What two questions you got? Okay, my first question is: Am I going to get a new car? Yes, you are going to get a new car. Get that slip and fall out the way. <laughs> okay, just a little. Doop, okay, you can be in the spaghetti aisle. 
Oops. Okay. You want something? No. Just a little. Uh, you know what? I, do, hey, how long do you have? Have you been watching me? How long you been watching me? For a long time. You been watching me for a long time. Yeah. And what happens? Even though we laughing, okay, listen. It, it what happens? What happens when people call in? I tell them some crazy shit, and then they do it. That shit. I be listening to their confirmation. Uh huh. You ain't even gonna hurt. You ain't even gonna hurt yourself. They gonna pay you out just to get you out their way. They gonna Ooh. offer you seventy five hundred dollars. That mouthpiece. <laughs> Someone help somebody. They need to order my oil. Listen. I'm just saying, a little too, just a little bit. <laughs> I, you know, listen, I can only give you what I got, and you do okay. with it what you want. Okay, I heard you. I heard you. All right, friend. What other question you? What other question you had? What what question okay. you got? Okay. What will I mean? Will I meet someone on this date now? Popping You are gonna meet somebody. You're gonna meet somebody on Thursday. That's tomorrow. <laughs> mm, that was the bullshit. The belts came out. That's tomorrow. Okay. Uh huh. Go ahead and FaceTime them too. Don't be in, and stop acting all where well, we got to talk for seven to ten days and it's oh that up. Huh? Is that my, give me my confirmation. Don't play with me. I'm, I am. That's why I'm laughing. You girl. You want me to get out your business? No, to just go on and tell them. So stop doing that seven to ten days. Go ahead and FaceTime them, video chat or whatever. Make sure they are who they are. They're going to invite you for coffee by Sunday. Go do it. Please and thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, let me tell you what a what the fuck session is. You ready? For three minutes. This is almost like a coaching thing. You have time to tell me a situation that's going on. And I'm gonna tell you how this shit going what what you need to do. This is a what the fuck. It's almost like a venting se session with a little reading involved. So what the fuck? Like, I want you to talk to me like you're talking to one of your homegirls. Like, girl, let me tell you what's going on. So, boom. And in three minute time, it starts. And I'm going to tell you this what you got to do. Woo, 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 woo. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So, boom. What, what What's going on? What the fuck? Girl, I can't manage my motherfucking money right like I should be. That's the problem. It's because you need some dick in your life to balance you out. I do. You do. <laughs> you do. You need some male energy. You're not that you're not balancing your money correctly. It's really you spending it on privileged shit because you're really bored. Yes. Mm. If you get you a little deep. And I make the money. It's I know you do. Money. I know you do. You just you trying to fill that void where where a person should be with, with, with other stuff and you end up overspending. Mm. Mm. Listen, as soon as you get you a little D, so boom, this is what you got to do, okay? First of all, need to come soon. <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is what you're going to have to do. You ready? So boom. Because, yeah. listen, you gonna the first D you get is not going to be like the D that you're going to be with. But it's going to be the D to kind of get your mind back on track, okay? And they ain't trying to be with nobody no way. It's going to be a good time. You need to duck, knock the dust off that thing, all right? Now, okay. you actually going to meet them on the site, too. You're going to meet them on Friday. So don't be like, oh, I already made a date with this other dude. Blah, 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 look at ass. That's so don't worry about that. Because, see, the other one ain't got to know that, you know, and he is very, the one that you're going to meet for a coffee, he's very frugal. He's very, he's very good at that. So he's going to help you with that. He got some good D, too. But it's only going to get you right and tight and kind of get your mind back on track. Because you be out here like, oh, look at that. That's pretty. I'm going to go and buy it. Oh, let me see that. You see something somebody got on. Let me go get that. Okay. Mm, yeah. We're not doing that no more. You got to get, you got to, yeah. listen, you, you need it's to get back in line. Right oh, what do you say? What do you say? Girl, you talking about you looking good. I know. <laughs> tell him, tell him, <laughs> tell him you are too, daddy. <laughs> I said you as well. <laughs> Yeah, no, put daddy in there because we got to get you some. Okay. Yeah, okay. Say, you said you as well. That's too polite. <laughs> yes. Mm -mm, it's giving our tithe on Sundays and drink on Mondays. Uh -uh. No, tell him you too, daddy. This is, it is 11.44 here. It is, it's probably three o'clock on Saturday. Tell him, <laughs> tell him you too, daddy. Yeah, it's too late to be talking about you as well. No, he's trying to, he's trying to get in the, anyway. Oh. Uh, did you did you text him back? What did he say? Yes, I'm waiting for that response. 
Mm, hello. Friend. He gonna send you a little picture tonight for you to go to sleep on. I'm gonna let you go because my work here is done. Listen, listen, what I want you to do, you're gonna talk to him tonight. That's the one that's gonna break your back in. You're gonna talk to him tonight. You hear me? Okay. Y'all gonna talk on the phone. Okay. It's gonna get a little nasty. It's gonna get a little weird. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. The first time y'all meet up is gonna be the last time y'all meet up. And it's gonna be for that ooh, she wally wally. Oh, she bang bang. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay just keep calling them daddy. Okay. Okay, bye. Get off my phone. Mm. <laughs> what? Okay, damn. What you got? Hurry up. What? No. What was it? Okay, I had... You bless my bill. Two questions and a what okay, the fuck. I did. Okay, let me get off. Yeah, bye. Just call him daddy. Mm. That's the what the fuck session. It's like talking to your home girl. So if somebody said they sent me a dollar with their phone number, I don't know where that's at. You just made a payment for a 90 day forecast. Okay, that won't be till tomorrow. <laughs> a bitch is sleepy. Okay, I got shit to do. All right, y'all. Uh, Leandra, you are next. You had two truths and a lie. Lord, this one gonna involve a tiger and a bear. What the hell? Hmm. Did we talk already? Hold on. Did I talk to Leandra already? Hey, friend, did we talk already? Yeah. No, we didn't talk already, did we? No. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's get into it. We got two truths and a lie, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so first statement, you're going to end up going to the zoo, you're going to meet somebody at the zoo, and y'all going to go to first base at the zoo. Number two, number two. Someone who's like a brother or your actual brother is going to need to borrow a large amount of money from you, like ten thousand oh, dollars. And you <laughs> <laughs> can you at least let me get on my own? Can you at least let me get this shit out? <laughs> okay. Damn, y'all don't even play the game right. Do y'all need me? If anybody want to order oils, I'll put my cash app back up. Here, I'm going to put my cash app back up for y'all to order oils. Oh, shit. Hold on. Damn, you ain't even letting me get the shit out. It's about bullshit. <laughs> All right. So they're going to need to borrow $10,000 and there's no way you're going to be able to turn them down. <laughs> Stop laughing. Damn, you're not, you're not even playing the game right. See, this is why I ain't having... That ain't my cash app. Hold on, y'all. Wait, that ain't it. That's why I ain't having game at at my house no more, okay? Because black people don't even play right. <clears throat> okay. The third one is, the third one is, you're going to end up taking in a 7-year-old and 11-year-old uh, set of brothers. You're going to raise them for a school year. Which one is the lie? Oh. Number two? No, number one. Number one? Number one. What was number one? <clears throat> you said something about the zoo making first base. Yeah, about you going to the zoo and you meeting somebody and y'all get nasty by the by the by the monkey cages. <laughs> what? What is what is y'all laughing at? This shit can happen. Why you said a monkey? Because I saw it. No, you did. I did. <laughs> no, you did. I'm just asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Friend, why can't you get nasty at the zoo? Is it because, is it because, is it because you don't like the zoo? Or you just not that, it's not that, so it's not going to happen. You're not going to get hot and bothered at the zoo. Uh -uh. But you're going to take in a it's seven and a, it's too hot for that. But you <laughs> But, 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 <laughs> but you will take in a 7 and 11 year old and raise them for a school year. If I had to. You're yeah. right. That is, that's going to happen. Do you have a brother? Do <laughs> you think one of them going to need $10,000? I ain't getting it. 
that's gonna happen. You're right, you're not gonna get nasty at the monkey cages. You don't even do the fucking zoo. Okay, you don't even gonna do outside. Ain't enough covering up there. You be on the train riding around all goddamn day. Oh my god, friend, what question you wanna ask me? Ah, y'all don't y'all don't even play right when we play this game. I'm not doing it no more after this week. Oh my but girl, I'm probably going to end up in urgent care. I'd ate a half a damn ham in three days. Okay, friend, what 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 you want to ask me? Okay, my friend that has cancer, is she going to get treatment? Yes, she is. is. Mm hmm Yep. What else? So when is she going to start? Oh, she's not going to start to the end of April. She's stepping. Oh. Okay. Okay. Stay on her, all right? Okay. All right, friend, you got it. Don't all go right, to the zoo. Right. Don't don't act like that. Bye. Okay. Is it doesn't have enough coverage? The, the zoo don't have enough covering. Mm -mm. The zoo is a dangerous place to be when you're fat and old. Okay. Mm -mm. The zoo don't have enough covering. They ain't got enough seats. It's birds and shit. It's a lot going on. That's like when I went to Gatorland. I just want to ride a drink. When I went, okay, bitch. Never mind. Um, if y'all need to get listen, if y'all want to get in line, who wanna buy oils for tomorrow? What what we doing? What we doing? Uh, mm, I know I'm on some bullshit. Kind of background crack cracking up. Y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna do when she go home. I'm gonna be here lonely as shit. Every step I take, thank you, Jesus. Every move I make. Mm. All right, so we got Deborah. Well, Deborah, I don't have your phone number, so I got to send you an email. So we got Angelique, Michelle, Erica, Monique. I don't have your phone number, so I got to send you an email. Katrina and Tosh Minda. I think I talked to you last night. I said you got a body butter. Huh? They got a scooter at the zoo. Tosh Minda, I don't have your phone number either. Jesus, what? What you gonna do? You gonna text it to me? Yeah. Or show it to me? What? Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Because I know I talked to her yesterday. Okay. Y'all better thank Kai. Listen, if you want to get any of my blessed oils, we got the sets. One of them is 32, two is 57, three is 82. Or you can get five of them for 107. That includes shipping. And you'll get my new one to stay. Huh? Your man cheating on you? Spray to stay in the bed. Huh? You tired of your sneaky link getting up and leaving you in the middle of the night? You want him to spend the night? Spray that stay in the bed. Hmm? Maybe you don't get enough sleep. Maybe you need some rest. Spray that stay in the bed. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, we talking about honey. Okay? We talking about something else. What's wrong with you? What? That, that ringing in my ear. Okay. Well, talk to whoever want to talk to you. Jesus. Oh, that was an old flow box. All right, so all of these is for tomorrow. All right, girl, I stopped at 50. I said I was only going to talk to 50 people. I said that manifestation is real. I said I'm only going to talk to 50 people. Everybody else in here, they they ordered past 830, so they on the list for tomorrow anyway. Look at God. Mm. It's happening instantly. It's happening instantly. I'm manifesting instantly. I said I'm only going to talk to 50 people. What? You've been watching me just manifest just like that. This is crazy right here. This is crazy. I said it. I said, I'm only going to talk to 50 people. I said that today. I said, I, I made up in my mind that I was only going to start doing 50 people every live. And I literally, y'all, Tosh Minda was literally, I put the people down. Look, she's number 50. And I just looked and I saw that the next email was somebody that was from. Uh -huh. What's up, Buttercup? You ready? Yes, ma'am. You got two questions. What is it? Yes, I was um, trying to see if I'm going to move this year. You are going to move this year. It's going to be in October. What's your next question? It's gonna be in the house, huh? Yes, it's gonna be in the house. It might look a little raggedy, but it's a good house. It is. I'm gonna be honest with you. It ain't you know brand new and shit, but it's a good. It's a decent price. It's really below what you you know. It's really below what you was willing to pay. 
and it's gonna be something for you to build on. You know what I'm saying? You can, yeah, it's gonna be a little rackety though. What up? I'm be honest with you, that love, girl. You yeah, know what I'm gonna say? Uh, the, the love of Christ. Uh, <laughs> you gonna meet somebody? You gonna meet somebody that's um, uh, 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 they want to do better. They want to do better, but they just don't have the. They just don't have the know how to do better, and you can't. Uh, and you can't keep helping people with that. Okay. All right, friend. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, coach. All right, you got it, friend. Okay, yeah, bye. You didn't do a show Well, what was her phone number? She texted you. I'm trying to see. Who? Yeah, I need Lashonda. I, I she had Lotto. I don't have her mm-hmm. her number. I just had. I was gonna have to email her. Yeah, All she right. Text you. She texts you. No. Huh? No. Well, I'm gonna just email these people and say, hey, I need y'all number. Hey, Miss Michelle, it's Coach Misty. You up? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's get into it. So, um, you have two truths and a lie, okay? Okay. All right. So, the first one is is that you are going to end up living on farmland where you have two chickens, a cow, and a dog. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, you'll have to take care of an uncle until they pass away. Um, they won't live with you, but they'll live close by. Mm-hmm. Number three, number three is that you are going to get into a car wreck. First of all, this ain't even, no, let me go and tell you this. You are going to a car wreck. When I tell you you're going to walk away from this car wreck and it could have took your life, I can't even tell you that through the truth and a lie. That is the truth. That is something mm-hmm. out of this, that you're going to walk away with your life. The people are going to. So understand that you are protected. And when you get into this car accident, you're going to be the person, you're going to be the only person in the car, so you're going to worry about nobody else being in here. When you get into this car wreck, wreck you are going to have to come out, you're going to have had a spiritual experience where you are convinced that you saw Jesus in the okay. flesh. And you're going to tell people about it. And so the, whatever fears that you've had, God has put it on your heart. So let me go and tell you this. God has put it on your heart before to go and tell people about his love and, 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 and almost prophesied to them, but you didn't want to do it. But after you what after you walk away from this, you're gonna have no choice but to tell people what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's get back to the two truths and a lie. So you got the hen, you got the uncle, and you got a best friend that's gonna come live with you. Which one is a lie? Mm, the uncle. Huh? I think it's. I think it's. The it uncle. is the uncle. It is the uncle, friend. Have you ever thought about living on some farmland? Mm, no, not really. Mm-mm. You will end up doing it. It'll be later on in life. You will, and that's the funniest <laughs> shit to have. That's kind of animals. And a female friend is going to have to come stay with you. She's getting her life together. That's going to happen in August. What questions you have for me? Okay. Um. What is my future looking like as far as um a relationship you want to know when a love coming yes love is mm-hmm. coming your way in october okay okay i can i can wait till then kind of been waiting this long um and my finances am yeah. i gonna be making more money than what i'm making now yes you will yes ma'am <clears throat> um it increased okay. by ten thousand dollars in 2025 Okay. 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 All right. You got it. Thank Thank you. you. You're welcome. Uh, All right, Shonda. She sent me that within 1025. Hold on. Here you go, Kai. You say, how do you look for products on your new website? Hey, friend, click on the shop button. All right. You ready? What are you playing, Lottery? Um, I can do scratch-offs. Cool. You ready? Yes, yes. You can use these scratch-offs for the next 28 days. Not 30, not 21, 28. You said 28 days? Yes, and if you don't play no other days, you need to play Sundays and Mondays. 
Gas station only. You ready? Three, four. You got to give them in this order. Three, four, seven, five, and nine. Repeat those numbers back to me. Three, four, seven, five, and nine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. Ten percent. Thank you for hanging out there with us. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye. Bye. Oh, y'all, that's right. I'm gonna be live on Friday, so y'all better get it while the getting is good. All right, Erica. I don't know that I talked to her already. She said she had a thirty second pep talk. I think you did that. I think I did do Erica. Let me see. I was looking for her number and the thing. Oh, that's my knee. Mm-hmm. Does it hurt? No. <clears throat> it's an old football injury. Hello. Erica, this is Coach Misty. Did I talk to you yet? No, ma'am. All right. You got a 30-second pep talk. Now, did you watch when I did the 30-second pep talk with somebody else? Uh -huh. Okay. So, 30-second pep talk is you telling me, like, what you need to overcome, and I'm, I'm going to cuss you out in love. Is that okay? I'm going to yeah. motivate you and put my foot in your back. All right, cool. <clears throat> what you need? What what's 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 holding you back, friend? What do you need to pep talk about? Oh, I need a little motivation. I'm kind of down right now. Down about what? Um, I'm kind of sad, feeling emotion and stuff. About what? I what do you have to be sad about? What the fuck do you have to be sad about? What? <laughs> what is it? Oh. Nothing. There's nothing to be sad about. You are wanting to be sad because you want somebody to come and woo woo you up. Not that you're looking for attention. You're sad because you don't have somebody that will come there in your sadness. You have created a shell of sadness for yourself. Girl, get, get, stop playing. Sad about what? Hold up your hands. You got all 10 fingers? Yep. You got all 10 fingers? Look down at your feet. You got all 10 toes? Yes. Huh? Yes. You you out on the street? No. You, you got a roof over your head? Yes. Huh? You got full teeth. You hungry? Yes. You hungry now? No. Okay. You're not hungry. You're not homeless. You got all 10 digits, all 10 toes. What are you sad about? Get out your goddamn feelings. The people that walked away, the, the people that walked out your life was supposed to leave. Get out of here. Stop. It's getting weird. You just woke up, well, I'm going to be sad today, and that's what I'm going to do. The same way you made a decision to be in your feelings is the same way you're going to make a decision to get out of them. Today is a new day. Get it the fuck together, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, anything else, friend? No. Oh, not. be blessed, okay? I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was amazing. I feel good. Y'all feel better? I feel better. You feel better? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <sighs> Good job. Hmm. Oh, that was a good one. I got a little thirsty with that pep talk. All right, y'all. Do y'all like pep talks? Let's take a sip. All right. Oh, we got another one. Uh, Monique. Had two questions, but I only got her email address. Katrina, we got another pep talk. We'll keep pep talks around. I'm not going to do them every live, though. We'll keep oh, pep talks. I already got my pep talk. Oh, okay, I was going to cut you out. Be blessed. Yeah. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right. And we got another three minute of what the fuck. Hmm. What's up, Buttercup? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, so with this one, you're going to talk to me just like you're talking to your homegirl. It's the situation going on, and I'm boom, I'm going to walk you through it. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so what's going on? Um, my youngest daughter in school. I can't hear oh, you. No. I can't hear you. Your youngest daughter in school, what you mean, you don't know? Nothing serious. 
I can't hear you. Why your phone sound like that? Did you did we call her another time? Her phone's like it was underwater. Mm -hmm. Friend, we can't barely hear you. Sound like you like wah 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 wah. Let's give Charlie Brown. What do you mean your youngest daughter? How old is she? Hello. Hello. There we go, girl. Stop using them fake ass AirPods and talk to me. Y'all be buying them damn earbuds. Y'all be buying these earbuds off of TikTok and shit and got me up here uh, fighting for my life, trying to make up what you're saying. Because I don't want to risk losing a bad word. I ain't got the time. Jesus Christ. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, now what's going on? I'm sick of your shit. Yeah. My eight-year-old daughter, she, she goes to school all access and, you know, do what she got to do in school. Her teacher called me about every little thing. And I'm trying to figure out whether I got to change her school. She'll be on punishment, and she think punishment is a field day for her. Like she's still supposed to get. And she eight years old. Any other no, children? Not. I'm she's not. Oh, okay. She's not. Any other children in the house? I'm just waiting for this blessed hole to come. Any other children no. in the house? My oldest daughter that has cerebral palsy. So your oldest daughter had. How old is your oldest daughter? She's a. She's 17. She'll be 18. So she has several palsy, and this nine year old is running amok. Now, you said you wait on this blast door. Was you going to, what was you going to do with the blast door? Because the only thing you should be doing with the blast door is putting it on your hand and beating her ass. That's the only thing you should be doing with this blast door. That don't scare her. Hmm. You, you still not whooping her. What you whooping with, friend? She, it's okay. She, she, hmm? Right. And she, she, it's like she don't, she, she don't be scared. What do you mean she don't be scared? If I, if you even, if I was even telling like, listen, you don't listen, I'm going to give you a beating. It goes in one and out the other way. Stop telling her. You got to, you got to sneak up on them. You got to sneak up on her ass. That's what you got to do. You got to stop talking about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You see what I'm saying? She got to know that you are two types of crazy. See, here's the deal. So much of your attention goes towards a 17 year old with cerebral palsy. That this one of them is running a goddamn muck. Okay, and she thinks she's a golden child. And I know this is this is hard to fathom for a nine-year-old, but she thinks she's a golden child because she is quote unquote normal. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You got to stop talking about it and threatening her, motherfucker man. You got to you got to pounce on her. You got to be hiding behind the door. She got to know that you are cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Okay, that's what you got to do. You got to catch her little ass. She got to, she got to, she anticipates your every move. She knows what you're going to do. So there's nothing. You talking about if you don't listen, I'm gonna give you a beat. And if you said that, I laugh at your ass too. You understand me? You got to see. You you got to be standing in the dark. You got to be standing in the dark at eight sixteen at night. You understand me? You got to be had in her closet for an hour, okay? While she watching her show and shit. You just got to be in there, just not saying nothing. It's just you a belt and 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 a Capri Sun, okay? <laughs> you just got to come and jump out the closet on her. Okay, on her ass, and you got to. She, she, she. This is the problem. She thinks she knows your every move, and you tell me, "I'ma whoop you." No, you ain't got to say nothing. See, I used to line my kids up before school even started. I gave them a pre beating. I gave them a pre whooping. I pre a pre list. I'ma whoop your ass when the principal called me. This was a this was a pre parent teacher conference whooping. I whooped their ass a week before school started. I lined them up from oldest to youngest. Okay, okay, from bad, from worse to worse. It wasn't even from from worse to better. It was the two boys at the end. Okay, mm -hmm. come on, get this ass whooping right now, cause we gonna have a whole understanding. You understand me? Come get it right now. Don't worry, don't wait. We gonna go ahead and do it. It was on my schedule for shit to do. Y'all gonna get y'all this ass whooping this weekend and some shit I don't really even know y'all did. Y'all was y'all was sliding down of the clothes hamper shoot. Y'all going from the bathroom to the basement. I ain't whoop your ass from that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just get this pre-whooping out the way. All right, let's go ahead and get an understanding. She don't have understanding. She has no rules. You hear what I'm saying? She has none. And the teacher, the teacher is sick of her shit. And even if you send her to another school, she's going to do it. If you don't get a hold of her, maybe she's going to be in juvenile by the time she's in high school. You hear me? You got to show you crazy, for real. Get you nuts, for real. You got to show her that you don't know where I'm going to pop up at. Baby, I would be standing in the door of her school like Michael Myers. She wouldn't even know my ass was up there. Okay, I used to pop up on my kids and shit. I'd be on the goddamn wall at the school and just, boom, pop up in the lunchroom. What you doing? Yeah, because I get off 
work early enough. So you got to do it. You got to pop up on her. You got to pop up on her ass. You hear me? You got to pop up. She got to go to get her backpack and boom, it's your face. What you doing? You got to be like that. See, I and knew that. These schools, mm -hmm. The school that she's in now, though, they be a little bit iffy when you want to pop up. Like you got to have. You got to tell them what you got going. You don't tell your daughter that you come in, but you tell them what you got going. They sick of your daughter's shit. Yeah, because I'm sick of her shit, too. <laughs> so that's what you got to do. You got to pop up on her ass. You tell the school what's going on. The school is going to cooperate because they at their wits end with it. So that's what you got to do. You got, she, she, she don't, she, listen, she should be scared to go to the bathroom. She don't know if you're going to pop out the stall or not. Girl, I'll be here right there and hand her the tissue. What you doing? I was like that. I Listen, I had to be a gang. Listen, if I didn't, if I didn't run my kids and my kids didn't think I was too types of crazy, my kids still be, they, they grown as hell. And I'll do, i flinch and they, oh my God, my son's six foot six. And he's like, Jesus, mom, what is going on? That man's a grown ass man. He got his own child, but that's because they don't know where I'm coming from. Okay. They don't know if I'm cashing checks or getting a check. They don't know what's going on. Right. Because I had to play crazy their whole life. It was four of them. Cause if I didn't play crazy, they would take over. My oldest son, he was six feet at 12 years old. I had to, I had to square with him in the front yard. Okay, you want a slap box? I'm going to show you something. Okay, I had to show them, hey, your mother ain't always been your mother. Okay, I was dirty red from 116. Anyway, that's too much of my business. Listen, and you need to go back to who, who was you before you had these kids? Huh? Who was you? Who was I? Who was you before you had these kids? You got to go back to that type of crazy. Oh, see, and I think it's because of my second daughter that um, her father took her to Texas. He basically, you might as well say, like, he kidnapped her because I haven't seen her. But so when he took her, it was like that was it. Like, I questioned my own parenting. That's the thing. That, so you have how many kids do you have? Three, all girls. You got three. So your second daughter's in Texas, and then this is the baby. And now you questioning your parenting. No, I qu I questioned my parenting when that happened. It happened two years ago. Okay. So you still question it. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You better catch hold of this little one. Catch hold of her ass. Where her daddy at? He. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not that type of person to talk bad about her. where's her daddy at and sometimes you gotta let, listen you gotta no, let these no. kids know too i'm all right. you got you ain't gotta talk listen it's a way to let these kids know that you don't have any other options it's a way to let them know that without talking bad about the parent i'm all you got this is it michael no, jackson see, that's the thing i don't have to say she definitely sees it because you know when she acts to it's not like her father's calling her so let me tell you her. something children children especially little girls and I'm sorry, little girls who don't have their fathers, right? They will, at some point, they will make up in their mind that it was your fault. This is just some anger too, that their father is not around or some, cause you're the only one there to blame. So it, I, none of you like, well, he don't call her and this, that and the other, right? That doesn't matter because she still longs for him. And that's part of her behavior too. She still longs for him. So she's not gonna get mad at him cause she won't have him. That's how y'all have daddy issues at 36. That's when y'all daddy issues come out. But when they're little girls, there she's not gonna be mad at him because he doesn't call. She's not. She's not. She still wants her father, and for some reason, the only person to blame for her father not being around is going to be you, or another person that's gonna catch that work is you, not her father, because she still wants him around. But if, but if she acting a plum fool like this, you have to tell her, hey, little girl, listen here, little mama. This ain't what this is. Or if she was a little older, you might have to show her and say, hey, you know what? You don't know how to act in school. Let's pack this up and call your daddy. Oh, wait, he ain't going to answer the fucking phone. OK, let's call your daddy. Oh, I'm sorry. He ain't answering the phone. Where he at? Sometimes you have to do that because I bet you she wouldn't act like that with her father. He right. But he feels even when I have a conversation about him, he, it's not like he has a conversation with her. He takes her out. So instead of him having a conversation, so let so so so, so let him take her with let let him take her out and take her on. Let 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 him have her for a school year. 
If, if that's what he want to do and it's all shits and giggles over there, let him have her for a school year. So do that. Well, hey, you want to deal with this? You're not helping me. You're not being supportive and me with changing her behaviors. So I need you to go ahead and take her for a school year. Let that happen. Because yeah, it's not just like it's on me. I even try and get help, you know, from my mother. Grandparents, it ain't, so. it ain't, it ain't, that ain't, that ain't her thing. That, that ain't gotcha. the grandparents thing. So that's it. Boom. Let him take her. That's it. That's all. Let them, let them skip in the, in the fields together. Okay. Now okay. you can either let him take her or you can pounce on her ass. You can be, baby, I used to stand there. Oh, Jesus. Baby, I used to be in my kids' room with the belt and they just be asleep. I didn't had a water gun and I didn't spray them in the face with water before. Okay. I didn't gotten, I didn't had a thing. I didn't, anyway, that's too much of my business. It's too late to call children services because they all grown. But let me tell you, let me tell you this to say that. My 25 year old, she ain't got no kids, okay? Uh, Zoe in school, Zion in school, okay? And they know I would put my foot in their back like a toy soldier. You hear me? Fred, listen, and hopefully you learned something from this. You are my last caller of the night. Be amazing, be loved, be blessed. Pop up at that girl's school, you hear me? Yes. Or I mean, I can come and do it for you. It's whatever. We'll talk about it. That's that's another that's another feature. Yes, we got men, I got mentorship. So okay, yes. friend, we'll talk about it. You know, that's fine. All right, be blessed. Woo! All right, y'all. We had a time tonight. I said I wasn't gonna be on here for five five hours, and here we are. How did y'all like it? What what is it? What is it, guys? Someone requested a refund. Oh. I just know the cash app thing is princess. Princess what? I didn't even see that cash app. Listen, I didn't want to refund because if you put them to tomorrow, they'll, they'll be at work. So. so we can refund her? I put her to tomorrow. What? I don't even know her fucking name. When did she, when did she sign up? Tonight. She signed her tonight at what time? Probably after 8.30. Probably after 8.30. So we can go ahead and put you to tomorrow. Well, no. We're going to refund this thing and you'll be blocked on my cash app. So you'll have to get online on, online. So go ahead and send me a thing. So I'm listening. I, I listen and listen. It's all love over here. This, that, and the other. When we get to processing refunds and this, that, and the other, I told y'all rabbit hole hoes that I was closed at 8 30. I've been closed four fucking hours ago. Y'all want to get in, jump your asses in the cash app. It's okay. So that's fine. So I'm going to jump your ass out. We're going to go ahead and I'll block you on my cash app. So anything you do, so any specials I run, you're going to be able to do it or nothing of that nature. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh -uh. Don't worry about sweetheart. Don't worry about sweetheart. All right, y'all. I'm gonna do 43 yes or no's. How do you get the oils? Zipping cakes. Mmm. How do you order the oil? Okay. Blocked and blessed. You cash that for two oils. Okay, friend. We're gonna reach out to you. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. We're going to reach out to you. If you want to get the oils, uh, bullshit. I knew it. The belts came. Listen, if you want to get the oils with one of my moderators, please put the oils up. So here's the deal. First of all, let me tell you say that. If you want to get part of the 43 yes or no's, okay, you say what? You sent the jail sale yesterday. Oh, I had to call two people. It was one girl off the thing. Okay, so yes, yeah, me. Let me put you on a list for tomorrow, and I'm going to give you some extra. And then that's why I say I wanted to stop doing that Zell shit. Uh, cause I got to this too much work. We're not doing that. Will you be my mentor? Yeah, you can pay for it. All right, listen, y'all. Hit the star in the bottom left hand corner. You sent to Zell also, Shaquita. Okay. Hold on one second. All right, remind me to give y'all something else. Y'all, we're gonna stop that Zell shit because the Zell don't allow y'all to send me your number. If you sent to Zell, I think Yasmin, you did send me a text. Shaquita, send me a text with your phone number. My Zelle, my phone number on Zelle is the same as my text. At send me a text with your phone number, and I'll go through these text messages before I go to sleep. And y'all will be the first, y'all be number two and three of the people I call tomorrow, numbers two and three. All right, y'all, hit the bottom left star in the corner if you want to be a subscriber. That's how you get the free yes or no's, because I'm going to turn on my subscriber only chat. Okay, and it's $2.99 a month. You can, some of y'all can do auto pay. You up here paying for Netflix, Hulu. You don't even watch uh, Cinemax, and you got that. Okay. It's $2.99. Y'all be watching my ass like I'm a show. Anyway, this time this is a good show. What time it come on again tomorrow? Look at asses. Wendy Williams then fell off. And now here I am. You know what? That wasn't even called for. Long live the queen. That wouldn't even call for to talk about Wendy Williams. 
They didn't have to do it like they did on that lifetime thing. It don't let lifetime do me like that when I'm 76. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, y'all. Huh? She really gets a bad rap. Wendy all Williams is all right. What y'all talking about? All these Tasha K's and all these. They other that all came from William and Wendy and Williams. Wendy. And Wendy had to because Wendy been tell us about. You said I remind Puffy. you of Miss Pat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wendy been telling us about Puffy. Okay, listen. No, we ain't got church on Sunday. It's every other Sunday. God ain't working on me like that yet. We'll be back in church in April. Um, do you ask yes or no as a subscriber? Yes, you do. So subscribe. Um, what else? If you want oils, can somebody put the oils up? Can somebody put the oils up? I'm about to turn on the subscriber only chat. I need somebody to put the oil prices up. My cash app is still up. Wendy is amazing. I love Wendy. Okay. Okay. I love Wendy Williams. Mm. Okay. Listen. Okay, friend. It's all right. Let's go. 43 yes or no. I, I know they said they remind me of Miss Pat. It's because I'm fat. That was racist. <laughs> I always say that. All right. Does the woman that have dreads that told on Tony No. Are you extending the sample till tomorrow, please? No. Uh, the man that I'm supposed to meet, is he fair skin? Yes. Will I move in this house by May? No. Will, will this girl trip go well this month? Uh, yes. Um, you're going to have an issue with some water in your hair, but you'll be fine. Will I make money today on live? No, okay, because you ain't setting no goal. Am I at the right church? Yes. Will I get a job soon? No. What else? Thank you, friend. And that ain't how you subscribe. Well, I hear from him within the next two weeks. Uh, yes. Well, should I get Scott's uh, situation chance? No. Will I be with Lonnie? No. You said you asked about Lonnie yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, these I'm asking about these motherfuckers every day. Uh, yes, you're going to make some money on the live. Will I become a millionaire? No. Uh, 9 2024. Will I have sales this week? Yes. Will I get a car next month? No. Will I have a new job by the end of the month? No. Will I get approved at Mills Creek? Yes. Uh, will Coach uh, come to Charlotte? Uh, no. When, when will I move to your house when you buy a read? And this is a yes or no. When I move to a apartment or a house, it's a yes or no. Will I make money this week? Uh, yes, but not enough. I'm at $200. Am I in the right place in life? No. Thank you, Kai. If y'all want to get the oils, cash app that with your phone number, and Kai will tell you what oils we have. And if you do the five for 107, you will get a free, um, you'll get the full, you'll be able to get the full, not free, the full thing of steak. I'll get a new home this year. No. Okay. That was 20. What are we doing with a romantic relationship this year? Yes. Uh, what else? Mm, moving by the end of the year? No. Will my partner come this year? Yes. Will I get insurance money this month? No. It'll be next month. Thing. What else? Uh, will my transaction close with Raj? Yes. Should I get my mom a reading? No. Hell no. Will I keep with my crush? Yes. Should I get better income this month? No. Will I make money this week? Yes. Is Lynn being true about his feelings? No, that was 30 last 10. Uh, will sediment come this year? No. Um, have I met my soulmate? Yes, they back home. Am I on the right track to an HR certification? No. Um, will my finances improve? Yes. Uh, will Junior give Junior another chance? No. Is the person I'm going on a trip with? I don't know. Will HOA pay me this month? Uh, yes, but it was not going to be the full amount. Will I travel this summer? No. Will my daughter get a job this month? Yes. And hey, I hit my subscription goal. Woo, woo, woo. Will I have a successful business? Yes. And will my son pass a third grade? No. All right, friend. But he'll have a chance to go to the fourth grade in the middle of school year. It's a special program that they're going to help them with. All right. We had a time tonight. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Let's go ahead and, and, and do our thank you so much for everybody that joined. Thank you for being a subscriber. Welcome to Team CME. All right, y'all. Now, this is the best part of the night. If you are new here, this is what's going to happen. We are going to manifest together. Kyle, we can go ahead and throw this ham out. I'm done. I feel my ankles swelling up. We're going to do one, two, three, manifest for me, okay? One, two, three, manifest for me. I want you to put in the comments specific in detail what it is that you want to manifest for. Specific in detail what it is that you're asking God to do for you today, right? One, two, three, manifest for me, all right? All right. So be, if you want money, how much money and by when? If you want a house, where's the house at? What does it look like? If you want a car, what kind of car is it? What is the year is it? What color is it? You need to see it, believe it, and know it. The only way for you to get what it is that you're asking for, you have to see it, believe it, and know it. Say it with me, boys and girls. See it, believe it, and know it. Period, point blank. That's what we have to do. See it, believe it, and know it. Okay. All right, so put in the comments what you want to manifest. Now, we're going to breathe in, breathe out. Now, the crazy part about this is that when I blow, 
listen, listen. I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. When I blow towards the screen, you will feel it. I know you're like, girl, well, looking ass. There's no fan going on, going on in your house. You don't have the window open. Huh? You're not dreaming. When I blow into this phone, when I manifest, you will feel the weird. It might even have a little hint of ham on it. I don't know. But when I blow, shut up, God. When I blow into this phone, you will feel it on your side, okay? That's how you know that God is real. Because how can a stranger sitting in her house in Dallas, Texas, blow through the phone and you feel it on your end? Huh? If you don't have, listen, if you don't increase your faith after this, I don't know what, what to do. All right, so what are your manifestations for tomorrow? I know what mine are, okay? What are your manifestations, okay? When I come out with this stay tomorrow, so Kai, mm -hmm. we're gonna make $10,000 tomorrow. Okay. We're gonna make $10,000 in 24 hours tomorrow, okay? That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Oh, y'all, I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. All right. Y'all ready? I want y'all to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in, hold it. I need you to see it, believe it, and know it, and release. On the count of three, I need you to manifest with me. You ready? One, two, three. Hold on, you ready? This is yours. One, two, three. Again, if you felt something, say something. If you felt something, say something. On the count of three. One, two, three. I tell everybody that this is the best part of the night. This is the best part of the night. Huh? One of y'all want to cry. One of you all are sitting there. I feel it and you're holding it in. You feel it in your chest and your stomach. You just want to cry. Let loose. Yeah. She said, yes, I'm crying. It's okay. It's a lot of y'all out here that want to cry. It's all right. Here we go. As always, it has been amazing tonight. Amazing. Kai said, do you see what's happening here? That's what the one that was holding it in. Do you, Kai said, do you see what's happening here? She said, your lives are getting longer and longer because God is preparing you to have your own show. And you all are going to take multiple shows at one time. That's what Kai said. Kai said, it's getting longer and longer. I said, Lord is setting me up for the next step, for the next interval. People say all the time, people say all the time to me, oh, you should have more followers. You should have this. Well, there's, there's this, blessings come in intervals. And God had to get me to a place where I could do this, right? Where I could be online for four and five hours a night. This is the new norm. You hear that, moderators? This is the new norm. You hear me? This is it. We're going to do this every time, every night, any lottery numbers. Okay? <laughs> so, they say this show is amazing. Yes, we're going to do this every every time. A friend is already here. I'm not worried about that. It's already here. I want to say this. I want to thank you all. Um, know that tomorrow I will have the stay. I will have it. I will be able to show you it. We'll have some products. We'll have them online and we'll have an easier way for you to order them. 
okay? So Friday is going to, yeah, God is moving swiftly. Friday is going to be the last day. Well, I'm not going live on Friday. So we will do it. What day you leave? Thursday? We'll do it Sunday. Sunday is the last day that you'll be able to order things via cash app to 5 for 107. We're going to cut that off. And then you'll just have to order them off the website, which is $25 each. Or some of the things are more than $25, okay? Tomorrow, I will be on live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow is mediumship night. If you haven't did anything, go to this is CME. This is CME. That's Coach Missy Enterprises. This is CME.com. Oh, you're more than welcome, friend. This is CME.com. And sign up for my emails, okay? All right, y'all. I want to thank y'all so much for everything. Be blessed. Do not get scammed tonight. If you want to play something, play 11-11 and triple one tomorrow, okay? Remember, I do not inbox. I do not DM. I do not request you. I am not going to tell you I have a message for you. I am going to fuck to sleep and start and text and, and texting people about this coaching shit. That's what we're doing. I, if you follow me, no, nine times out of 10, I do not follow you back. My page has over 124,000 people. I don't have any backup pages that will contact you, okay? All right. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, YouTube. You guys have been amazing. Make sure you subscribe and sign up for my notifications. I love you because you love me back. Go sign up for my YouTube. I am Coach Misty on YouTube. Who is 313 me? Go ahead and send me a message, friend. Hold on. So 313 me, go ahead and send me a message and tell me what your cash app is. Or just go ahead and request a refund on cash app. And remember that we are going to block you on the cash app. So you'll just have to get in line on my website from that point on, okay? Okay. All right. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be amazing. Thank you so much. Bye.